Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's my birthday. And Jewelry Maker's my birthday present to you is going to be a show jam packed full of amazing birthday treats. We're gonna be taking loads of gorgeous items, some of your most luxurious, to brand new low prices, including master carvings of type A Burmese jadeite, including your beautiful genuine gemstones, Van Cleef inspired collections, and so much more. I hope you can tune in. That's this Thursday. Tune in bright and early at eight o'clock for my birthday show. coming from you just then. I get in a panic. If I get in a panic, I make funny noises and I was having some issues. <laughs> issues with your talk back. So yeah. is that clipped onto, um... <laughs> what's it clipped onto? I wear, I wear a belt under here. Oh! <laughs> I did wonder what you were clipping it onto. <laughs> so, so I have a belt underneath. Oh! <laughs> there we are, there we are. Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. Happy <laughs> Wednesday. Oh, oh, dear. And we've got the lovely Claire. Oh, McDonald's. morning. Guaranteed to raise a smile, you know, oh. darling. Without fail. Shattered now. Are you worn out? Yeah. You've done, well, you've yeah. because you've like, bent yourself in all kinds <laughs> of different. <laughs> oh, morning, everyone. <laughs> um, first, can I just start? with Claire's masterclass. <gasps> I know, yes. Oh yeah. my goodness me. Wait till you see these. Oh, they are so beautiful. So, Look at these shells. <gasps> they're unbelievable. And I don't believe we've ever actually had anything like this before. Oh, Claire. Look at them. How many did you get? Uh, I think you get is it four or five. Four or five? Yeah, they're beautiful. Hand-carved, beautiful. beautiful, beautiful shell. Mm. Coming up at 12 o'clock in Claire's beautiful yep. stunning kits. I mean, they are just... They're stunning, wild. aren't they? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely beautiful. When I saw your photograph yesterday on Facebook, I was like, oh, they're awesome. And it's nice to do, um, it's nice to do some wire work and, um, yeah, it's, so we'll do a bit of prong setting later, I think. But then... We'll do a few things, but yeah, I think we'll do that. Yeah, I mean, they could be a lovely pair of earrings, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, like yeah. Just like that, because it's shell, it's not too heavy. Uh, but then also, other kits. <gasps> now, these oh, are... You've, yeah. Firstly, there's two gemstones... Well, one we rarely ever see. The other one I don't know if we've ever seen in, in, in cabochons. I might be wrong, but I don't recall. We've got marcasite in cabochons, which is absolutely beautiful. It's that really wonderful kind of metallic silver natural gemstone. Oh, look at that. I know, they're amazing. So, um, <gasps> you know, because we normally go sort of labradite or maybe your onyxes. Or, oh, it's lovely. But to actually have marcasite they used to use as an alternative to diamonds mm, in Victorian yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, different selection of cabochons. And you've got that beautiful pink of thulite. 
Yes. Which I just it's love. It's so lovely. Look at that. They look really nice together as well. Yeah, amazing. And oh, huge, yeah. huge, huge cabs. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So these are coming up at, at nine, is that right? Yeah, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock for these kits, um, alongside your gallery wire, but... Um, not the sort of the gallery rewire that we first launched this is actually gold plated and silver plated and everything so yeah much 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 more affordable great opportunity for you to give gallery wire a go yeah it looks um, like we've got both don't, haven't we we've got the um, and rose yeah yeah got all the base colors. metal and the and the precious metal so it's really good oh, yeah. amazing. So yeah you can actually choose I me mean, look how yeah. beautiful that is look how amazing so um yeah if you want to work in the solid uh, solid sterling silver then we can do that if mm. you want to work with um the plated version the more affordable version still precious metal plated um then we can bring you that as well today so that's very exciting um at 10 o'clock your deal of the day is all about the magic the play of colour, the mystery, yeah, absolutely. That is clear. No. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that wouldn't take very long. <laughs> no, you're fairly magical and myst mystical. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. But I tell you what definitely is, Ethiopian opal. So yes. at 10 o'clock, we've got a lovely showcase of Ethiopian opal. I can't quite believe, last night when I was prepping for the show, literally rubbing my eyes in disbelief at the prices this Ethiopian going. Levion, who um, really is kind of the, well, it's the, it's, it's the name that all of the big designers will look to mm. to set the trend. Levion, you know, they did the same for Aquapraise um, a couple of years back. Levion have just announced that Ethiopian Opal is the gemstone of 2022. Oh, really? So we should absolutely expect high prices on this gemstone now as, you know, the global demand for this gemstone skyrockets. But yet, true to form, jewellery makers seem to have gone the polar opposite. Yeah, I can't believe the prices your Ethiopian Opal is going to be at today, honestly incredibly affordable I mean, and i mean prices like i don't know jasper prices basically. wow it's, it's a gorgeous stone isn't it yeah it's yeah gorgeous. and the quality that we've got it includes also fire opal which is again very very heavily used at the moment by the big designers we've also then at 11 o'clock got a showcase of grand digirite oh, i know yeah. how swanky are we yeah. one of the world's rarest gemstones and claire very kindly has brought in some of her beautiful grand digirite makes um, if you've never heard of grand digirite it is actually one of the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world and it is not being mined at the moment anywhere anywhere on this planet so totally natural look at the little selections that you've got i've got rounds i've got ovals i've even got a bundle of different cuts so they're coming up at 11 o'clock um your early bird this morning which i want definitely definitely want to show you thank you dan and your slider bracelets Ooh. but these are the plated versions so again there's absolutely a place for your uh, for your solid precious metals yep. but um to help oh. with affordability we can also bring you the um the plated versions shall we put them on pre-order because oh actually 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 the quantity's not huge we've got triple figure quantity only just um but yeah let me just show Claire. oh these are lovely let me just show you you know the price i told you this morning yes before the show yes that was wrong okay what and that is for three by the way oh my gosh shall i guarantee <gasps> shall i guarantee hang on hang on ross is just double checking now I've, I've, I've put that seed of doubt now in, in in ross's head i'm gonna promise these slider bracelets per slider bracelet less than five pounds no each. yeah less the, the the bundle is going to be less than 14.99 how brilliant i know and to have that lovely heart i know <gasps> i know i know i know and nobody would know that they were they were plated no. they literally look like 925 solid don't yeah they? yeah so you can shop ahead of pre-order on those we've got them in the gold the rose and also um the silver color but do you know what day of the week it is sometimes i don't know what day of the week it is ah <sighs> It's that day where we get the chance to make you that little bit richer with jewelry maker credits and also show off your fabulous, fabulous creations. It's the Wall of Fame. I've got to, uh, uh, well, I, if I had time, I'd have read them through and everything, but sorry. If you could have. If I, yeah. Yeah. 
No tricky words, so swear earlier really on. I'll do my best. <laughs> Mandy, these are absolutely beautiful. Mandy Cooper, your number four hundred and thirty-eight. Oh, That's a proper tassel, isn't it? Lovely Look at that colours. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Uh, and Mandy says, good morning, jewelry makers. Please find attached my entry to this week's WAF. It's uh, two tassel necklaces made from hot pink and turquoise glass beads and hot pink seed beads with tassel base metal uh, crowns, all from JM. Tassels from my stash. Uh, good luck, everybody. And a big thank you, JM, and all the team and the guest designers. You are amazing. Oh, Isn't that's that lovely. lovely. Uh, you're amazing, Mandy. Mandy. They're beautiful. Number 439 is from Janet. Good morning. Morning to you, Janet. Oh, Ooh, beautiful. Nice. Uh, and she says, Hi, Team JM. Here is one of the simplest makes of my JM goodies the new sparkly tube and double layer of jewelry maker uh, elastic. Forgive the grey hair, but I'm not dying it. It's too long for that faff. Don't it's blame an, it's me. It's like, like Rapunzel. <laughs> yeah, look how beautiful your hair is, Janet. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I don't, I, do you know what? I rock a bit of grey. Yeah, I've, got like I've a, embraced mine a bit. Yeah, more. me too. Yeah, me too. Not I've got bad. a I've got a streak that I actually quite like. So when I do actually colour my hair, I avoid it. Mm. I quite like my streak yeah. of grey. Um, uh, and she says, "Keep beautiful. smiling, you bonkers, beautiful people." She knows as well. <laughs> we are bonkers, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. Um, bless you, Janet. That's yeah. stunning. Lots Number four hundred and forty is from Vivian. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty colours, nice, pretty beads. Um, and Vivian says, hi all, this week's entry is a mixed gemstone necklace made with 6mm gems and 8mm blue aventurine, finished with a toggle clasp and bead caps. All except the bead caps are from Jewelry Maker. And she says, best wishes to all. And to you, That's Vivian. Lovely, Vivian. So pretty. Yeah. So pretty. I like the lace as well. Mm. Um, <clears throat> number 441 is from uh, Katura. I hope I've pronounced that right. Oh, wow, look at that. That's amazing. Again, look at the detail. Uh, hello, all at Jewelry Maker. Hope you are all well in front and behind the scenes. Attached is my entrance to the Wall of Fame, a beaded bracelet made from four millimeter uh, Czech pearls and 11 OC beads, inspired by something I've seen on a useful site. Um, I was pleased with the result and will be using gemstones for the next one. Um, hoping for a win. Good luck, everybody. And that's from Katura. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Gorgeous, Katura. It's beautiful, isn't it? I yeah. like photography as well. Amazing. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> I've got 442 and this is David Wilson. Oh, oh that's lovely. Gorgeous. Hi, my wife Leslie has uh, been at it again, this time making a birthday present for our neighbour, made from amethyst and seed beads from JM. Please, oh, please tell her I love her as I'm working away from home at the moment. Oh, and that's from Dave. David. Oh, so Leslie, David loves you. It's oh, lovely. A beautiful work. I love a little bit of romance. That's really morning. nice. Beautiful. Oh, he's lovely. Uh, good luck. Uh, right, so we've got now 443, and this is Erica Cotter. Oh, stunning. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Hi, this week I've been playing with Super Duos. Hope you like it. All the components are from JM. Wishing good luck to everyone. And that's from Erica. Erica, we love Erica. it. That's gorgeous. Yeah, good luck. Uh, here we go, I've got 444, and this is from Katie. Wow, that's beautiful, isn't it? Amazing. Um, <clears throat> hi. Uh, hello. My entry this week is a sterling silver pendant with white sapphire, rose quartz, and sky blue topaz. I wanted to make a special gift for someone, so I chose her daughter's birthstones along with rose quartz to represent unconditional love. The colour difference is quite subtle, although when out in daylight, it really comes alive and the stones all show their personalities. That is stunning. Love Absolutely that. stunning, Katie. What a thoughtful, thoughtful gift. Beautiful. Lovely. Uh, next, I've got 445, and this is Joan Barron. Wow, that's lovely. It's nice presented as well. Yeah. Hi, JM. This week's entry are rosary-linked uh, pearl opal earrings in gold and silver colourways. Gems and wire from JM, of course. Everything is crossed for a win, and good luck, fellow waffers. And that's from Joan. Good luck, Joan. Amazing. I've got 446, and this is Angela Smith. Morning, Angela. Let's have a look. Wow, look oh. at that. Oh, that it is looks like stunning. a bit on the set of something like Great Gatsby. Gosh, or, that's incredible, or, isn't it? No, that's not what I was thinking. Downton Abbey. Yes, yeah. Angela says, hi, everyone. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace using size 8 and 11 seed beads and rainbow moonstone drops. All components are from JM. Good luck to all fellow waffers. Love that. 
And then I've got 447, which is who's Jill Taylor. Oh, that's lovely. Amazing. Really girl. lovely. Hi, hi everyone. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's the beautiful Galaxy Tiger's Eye modeled by my equally gorgeous young granddaughter. <laughs> Her neck is far more photogenic than mine, <laughs> lol. <laughs> I struggled to catch the fabulous colors of these stunning beads with the camera, but they are amazing in real life. Love to you all. And that is from Jill. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. That literally yeah. looks like it'd be on a magazine. Yes. Doesn't it? Yeah, it it's does. Magazine. It does. Aren't you all yeah, clever? Good keep luck, those everyone. Coming in. Very clever. Yeah, we'll keep everything crossed for you as well. Yes. Now, you never know, because I have been lucky before and, and literally we've chosen somebody that we've read out. Yes. Yeah. So, do you want to do the winner today? Uh, yes, please. Go on, I'll give it a whiz. Thanks. Or do you want to whiz it? You oh, whiz it. Thanks. Give it a whiz. There we are. Right. Right, receiving £100. Is that one? Is that, that's just one, isn't it? Here we are. <gasps> Number... 430. 430. Oh! oh. Melanie Kia! Yay! Well done, Melanie. Well done, lovely. Well done. Um, a deserving winner. Right, here we go. Let's uh, see if we can be lucky. Runner-up receiving £50, credited to their jewellery maker account, is number oh. 412. Chantelle Grosser, you are our runner-up as oh, well. Well, well done. done. Well done, everybody. Oh, congratulations, congratulations both. I know. Receiving some jewellery. I love, I love doing That's the way to start a day, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's the way. Yeah. Just giving money I'll enjoy away. those wins. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do that every day? It would. <laughs> it would. <laughs> no, but in actual life, that would be quite yes, nice, Yes, yeah. It? That would be nice. It would. But unfortunately, I can't afford it. Yeah. Anyway, pre-orders open on the slider bracelets, um, and they are absolutely flying. What was that then? Sorry, Ross. I, uh, I, uh, I could not decipher a word of what you just said to me. <laughs> Were you yawning then? He was yawning. <laughs> um, have a little look at all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, and if you uh, click on Watch Live, there we are. Click on Watch Live. Um, and then scroll down just a little bit, you will see pre-order. And just there, just below, there are the slider bracelets. Uh, Ross, Oh, You said... Oh, my what God, he said. Well, it's already under 14.99. It's already, already <laughs> under 14.99, right? Look at him. Start eating those bananas. How many bananas have you got? I mean, got yeah, in there? yeah. How many bananas does, do, do two men need? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there what we go. Today? I haven't, no. No, not me. <laughs> um, he says that's actually lower than he intended on closing those, so there we go. You know, the rose and the yellow were meant to be what? Eleven ninety nine. Yeah, four pound per slider brace. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Um <clears throat> he hadn't decided on the silver yet. But there we go. So snap them up because ten ninety nine um on pre-order. Um <laughs> do it again, Adam. Please. You technically you're not eating. You just <laughs> getting his energy levels up. I just want to know who the third banana's for. Who's the third one for? Never worry. He says, don't you worry about that. OK, fair enough. <laughs> Shall we get cracking? Yes. Let's, let's get cracking. Shall we start with some... Oh, Ooh, beautiful multicoloured barrel saucers. These are sweet. Oh, look at the sparkle. Oh, that's lovely. What I knew you'd strand. like this. It's a very oh. you strand, isn't it? Oh, that's it? lovely. Look, so you've got morganites, you've got your uh, beautiful aquamarines, goshenites in here, multicolour, an abundance of morganite. Let's be honest. This could be a Morganite strand. We could just literally... Go, well, that's what it is, really. Look at the photo. Look at the recording. You pay a premium that's, for Morganite, yes, don't you? Yeah, that's <clears throat> so pretty. Love that. In a beautiful saucer, two by one millimetres. So 
I mean, we saw some lovely uh, Seagbeat designs in the Wall of Fame earlier yes. on. Um, nice additions to that. But also, how about Claire? Yes, Claire. So, the I'd Ethiopian say opal like that's this. coming up. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, designs amongst... like that where you've got, you know, lots of, um, you've got lots of sparkle, but a little bit delicate, lots of movement. Beautiful. So just pop a few <clears> of those. But we're at four ninety nine. Wow. Four ninety nine. We're not even stopping there, though. Says Ross. He's on form this morning. It must be the banana. Not even stopping there. <laughs> uh, are you on form today, Adam? No. <laughs> <laughs> Finish that banana and you'll be all right there, won't you? You'll be all right there. Are you on form today, Michael? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, cool, cool. That's good. Michael's on form. Uh, Dan's always on form. Claire, you Oh, on Dan is, yeah. Dan is, yeah. He's, uh, Dan he's is always on form. He's always on form. So he's, he's, he's on the ball, on, isn't yeah, he? He, he, keeps, is. he keeps this show going, does he's Dan? Doing, yeah. He's that vital cog in the wheel. He is. Don't know what we would do without him. Um, we're not even stopping at 4 99 How many do we have available? 30? Oh, well, London snapped these up straight away. This, this would also be amazing alongside your Thu light, and it would be stunning oh, alongside would, things yeah. like your Grand Digirite. Yeah. What about any slider braces? Slider braces, perfect. Little, and and with the other, um, you've got another barrel strum there, haven't you? I if do. You to, I do. That would look nice together because you could almost do your spaces, couldn't you? Or do a lovely um, like Mandy. You know, Mandy had done like the long line necklaces with oh, the tassel. Oh, beautiful! She could do gemstone tassel. I can't believe we're bringing genuine gemstones at less than this. You better believe it, says Director Adam. Two pound ninety nine. I mean, oh, seriously, on what planet though? This is. I know. This is, uh, you, it, we've called it beryl, but let's be honest, it's morganite because mm -hmm. it's all pink, which means you should be paying you know, a higher premium for it. Um, and it's, it's definitely morganite in the sense that it's got that wonderful quality and saturation of colour. It's an absolute giveaway deal, but we only had 30 opportunities, so do snap them up. That has to be a clearance price. Do we all agree? Definitely. I mean, should, for the cutting alone, we're mm. a big fan of these sources, aren't we? I, d I think you just you get, it shows off the gemstone really well. You get a lot of sparkle, don't you, with them? Yeah. Even then, then they're usually quite a lovely, <laughs> delicate size as well. And so. even though, they're, you know, they're, 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 you know, relatively dainty, mm. you know, you are still seeing that colour, aren't you? Yes. You've definitely yeah. got that yeah. beautiful Morganite saturation. Yeah. Hello to you, Carola, Kim, Linda. Hello to you, Tracy, Natalie, West Midlands, Lynette, London, new customer, Sandra. Well done. You've all got yours. Lots of you multi-buying as well. Um, it's on the verge of selling out. Please do stay where you are on those phone lines. I'll leave that one with you. Shall we do a little bit of leopard skin? Mm. Leopard skin, Jasper. I can't wear leopard skin. It doesn't suit me. This is a bit. This is a you bit. You are a little bit leopard skin. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, yeah. it would go nicely with them. Um, with your outfit, because it's, it's got a bit of pink in there as yeah. well. I can't do it. I do end up looking at that lady off um, Coronation Street. I know. I know what you mean. I Bet Lynch. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I. I would say go for the pattern and then maybe not the colour. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Although I have got some um, running shorts in, in that. Have you? Yeah. You've got running shorts yeah, I'll in leopard photo, skin. Yeah. I need to see these. Yeah. Uh, two pounds. One pound and 99 pence. Gosh, totally and utterly natural. Natural. Natural? Natural. Natural. Uh, leopard skin jasper. And you can see where it gets its name from. It's got that really lovely patterning. Um, how many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 14. Natalie is on mm. it. Kim is on it. Uh, Heather is on it. Tracy's Tracy, on it. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Well done. There were only 14. And hang on a minute. I can't. Uh, my maths. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We're. Oh, I can't yeah. keep up and with maker, it. Maker, Carmarthenshire. Maker, Olivia. Yeah. Hello, Carmarthenshire. Nice to see you as well. I hope you're all well. Oh, 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 oh. News. News update on the whole passport thing. <gasps> it's here. Yay. The passport is here. Uh, Thank goodness me. There is a very valuable lesson to be learned in, 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 in everything that I've been through the last week. Check your passports. <laughs> and yeah, big up the Scots for sorting me out. Well done. Um, <laughs> let's do some that, that, that strand of... Um, yes, that's lovely. Peril. You think I should sing Flower of Scotland in honour of the Glasgow Passport Office? Yeah. A flower of Scotland. No, I've got a rubbish voice, though. Yeah, I do think they've got one of the best national anthems, though. I love their national anthem. Mm -hmm. Much better than ours. I don't know. Welsh are good singers, aren't they? Yeah. Gotta say yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. I do like a good national anthem, mm. and I like Flower of Scotland. Uh, 110 carats of natural beryl. Again, look how pretty that is. It's like... And by the way, I like our national anthem as well, before anybody tells me. <laughs> 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 because people were like, oh, there's nothing wrong with our national anthem. No. I know. I like it. I'm just saying I like the Scottish one, too. And the Welsh one's good. I mean, all right, just stop. You can like there. what you like, Al. Exactly. Thank you, Claire. 110 carat star cut. Look at that. You've got beautiful... Uh, you've, we've got Heliodor in here, haven't yeah. we? That's that beautiful, they're still singing anthems in my ear. Um, you've got Heliodor, you've got Aquamarine, you've got some lovely Goshenite, you've got some Morganite, and guess what? It's also sold out. Well done. Surprise. Um, wow. Should we do some Iolite? When we say nuggets, I think that, that underestimates just oh the gosh, size of these. Oh my gosh, they're huge, aren't they? They'd be lovely with the first round. Yes, <clears> they would. Wouldn't it? That'd be pretty. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. I like one of the most clear quote gemstones out there. It's got, uh, not only will you see this lovely indigo blue, you also see flashes of pink, beautiful reds coming through. Um, um, uh, yeah, magical gemstone, steeped in history as well. Uh, but one we very seldom ever see, not just here at, uh, you know, at Jewelry Maker, actually across the entire partner, uh, partnership. Love it. If you're not really into, say, I don't know, the, um, the Tanzanite or the cashmere like sapphire blues, um, this is a darker version. It's so more like of a midnight colour. Yeah, like an ink, I was inky. Like inky, inky blue. That's a perfect description. So, Do you remember the days when you used to write in fountain pen in high school? Do you yeah, remember? Yeah, but it's trauma. I've told you this before. It's it, it's Why was trauma it traumatic? Because I wasn't allowed. I was t you had to have neat writing to do it. And, and I managed to do neat writing for a day and so got moved up to writing in pen. And then my writing went back to normal. And then I got moved back down they to take writing it? in pencil. Did they? Ah. Oh. I, I just still remember it now. Is that scarred you? It somewhat? has, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. this. But to be honest, when you look, look back as well, it was right faff, wasn't it? <laughs> and, and actually putting the cartridge in and everything. Yeah. Go and then did you, do you remember collecting the little the little balls at the end of the? Um, <laughs> yeah. How you could uh, how many of those Sorry. you could collect? Sorry. Yeah, I do remember the things. Uh, ch school. The school days are tough, aren't they? School days are really tough. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah. Good luck to everyone going back to school. So yes. Lowe's going back to school. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yes. And um, same conversation that I had with my little and my little one went back to school yesterday, and I was like, remember, always be kind. Be nice, and if you see um, anybody upset, then you go and give them a big cuddle. Aww. So, yes. And she's like, I will, oh, that's mommy. Nice. I will, mommy. Um, right, first price that you are going to see is not where we are closing for beautiful, warm, autumnal, red banded agates. Always be kind, people. Yeah, absolutely. £4.99, but we're not stopping there. The clock is ticking away. Have I got quantity of these then, Roscoe? Roscoe? <laughs> 40. Um, he disappeared for a moment there. Disappeared. We're going even lower. I mean, Agate, it, it, Mark always says it as well, doesn't he? It doesn't get the credit that it deserves. No, and it's a beautiful stone, isn't it? it but really yeah, if you pop... Sorry, I interrupted no, I was you just, No, I was just going to repeat myself. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a beautiful stone. It's a beautiful stone. So you... <laughs> I, I do apologise. <laughs> I'm never so sorry. Shall I, shall I say it again? It's a beautiful stone. It it's a, a beautiful stone. It is. It is. It is a beautiful, is a beautiful stone. stone. But if you like, does Mark say that? Yeah, he does. Succinctly yeah. as yeah, that. Yeah, just repeats it over and over. <laughs> um, but if you pop along to somewhere like Lola Rose, then they yes. use agates all the time. They do. They do because it's a beautiful uh, stone. <laughs> it is a beautiful stone. I would get in as well. It's such a beautiful stone. It shouldn't be four ninety nine. No, either. it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Cause it's got that carnelian look. I'd yeah. be putting it with the eye light, so maybe like Ooh, deep nice. blues. Nice. Autumn's definitely set in, hasn't it? £3.49. Yes. I don't know about you, but I even put my fl fluffy dressing gown on this morning. Did you? Yeah, I know. I've like declared it now. Right, that's it. Fluffy dressing gowns yeah. out. Three forty nine only. I like the winter, winter months. Yeah. It's just all cosy, isn't it? It is cosy. And I'm looking forward to mm. see it because obviously I'm in a different house now. So you don't know, do you? You've got to get to know the house, haven't you, in different oh, seasons? Your house at Christmas. I mean, it's literally, I it's, it, gonna be it's a... like off a Christmas card. So it, it'll be lovely. You're like quintessential. Christmas at Wooden Warren. <laughs> I'm hoping that um, Jude Law might come and. Why Jude not, Law? Like in the holiday. Oh, right. Like I, see what you mean. I see what you mean. <laughs> I was like, Does it, is he a neighbour? Can you Jude imagine? I'd, I'd worry about him, to be honest, if he were. 
<laughs> Jude Law Films. Uh, mm, talented Mr. Ripley's good. That's good. That's a good film. This is a good film. Quite, quite disturbing, but it's good. Text in. What's your favourite Jude Law film? I don't know. I don't know. I can't actually think that many he's been in. He has been yeah, in loads, yeah. though. Haven't he? Uh, yeah. yeah. The Holiday's a good one. Yeah, I like The Holiday. One. That is a good one. Um, well done, everybody. Now, the perfect addition to go alongside your red band of agate. OK, let's just... Rather than just Jude Law, who's your favourite actor? And that oh. might be for four reasons, or it might just be for talent. Who's your favourite actor? Ooh. Have a little think about that one and text in. When's your birthday, Claire? My birthday? Yeah. January. January the... 29th. 29th. Yeah, we did celebrity birthdays. Oh, really? You, did, you never told me who was, who was on my birthday either. No. Oh, was it, was it, was it was mine not great? OK. 29th of January. 29th of January. Um, beautiful banded. Oh, look at this. Lovely and glossy. And you've got Ooh. those wonderful sashes. Elizabeth's first, the first birthday is today. And Easy E, whoever that is. He's a rapper. <laughs> Quite similar people. <laughs> I don't know who Easy E is. Ah. No, I've never. I, I'm so out of touch, though. I don't know who Easy E is. Do you know who Easy E no, is? No. Do good. they know who Easy E is? I think they're, they're, just, they're just. I think they're just basically pulling our legs. Claire, you've got some good Ooh, ones to share a birthday with. Oh. Oprah Winfrey, oh, that is a good one. Adam Lambert. Oh, I like him. Tom <gasps> Selleck. I love him. Is he the one with the, with the tash? Was yeah. He, was he on th um, uh, Three Men and a Baby? Yes. I fancied him on yeah, that. Yeah, he was very... Yeah, yeah, properly fancied him on yeah. that. Yeah. Fine moustache. The Rag oh, and Bone yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah, good, good, yeah, good. Yeah, very good. good. <laughs> <laughs> not not the local rag and bow man as in the singer rag and bow man yeah he is good he is good <laughs> the plumber down the road that's good they're good ones aren't they make sure you check out if we've got completely off the beaten track with this one and don't forget to pre-order on your amazing slider bracelets who do you share a birthday with that's what we were talking about do you know who you share a birthday with michael queen the Queen! Oh, I mean, Michael. sorry. I'm sorry, No, Claire. Michael's got it. But Michael yeah. has literally yeah. taken your crown. He has. He's he taken has. the crown. Yeah. The Queen. I've got who? Oh, Paul Walker, yeah. Two chains. <laughs> the two chains? <laughs> the two chains. Who? Who? George Jones. Don't know. I don't know any of these. Jesse Owens? Who's Jesse Owens? Oh, the sprinter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barry White. Oh, oh yeah. Your first, my last, <laughs> my everything. Hans Zimmer. I love Hans Zimmer. He's awesome, isn't he? Like any big blockbuster film, he's done the music for, hasn't he? 100%. I love Hans Zimmer. I play him in the car all the time, you know, when I feel a bit dramatic. <laughs> We share the same birthday. Amazing. Uh, beautiful Dalmatian Jasper coming up. Yeah, if you want to just be a bit dramatic on your own, just put some Hans Zimmer on oh, in the background. I remember that. Yeah. Um, totally natural. Look at that. Beautiful little these. speckles. In your puffy hearts. These are really been a while nice since hearts. we had puffy hearts. <clears throat> a bit of a random fact about my... Uh, random fact about my birthday, which... Um, uh, okay, Peaky Blinders premiered on my birthday oh. in 2013. Well, there we go. I've never watched it. Have you ever watched Peaky Blinders? I have, yes, I have. Yeah. I th I, I, well, my husband had it on and, and I was like, oh, this isn't for me, it's a bit gory. I watched it quite recently. I didn't watch it. But, it's yeah. a, bit, a bit gory for me. Well, it's, a bur it's set in Birmingham, isn't it? Yes, it yes. is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dan was in Peaky Blinders? Uh, I auditioned for Peaky Blinders. You auditioned for Peaky Blinders, but did they say you were too gorgeous? Yeah, basically. Sorry. Too gorgeous, Dan. Hello, Victoria. I share a birthday with Tupac. Aww, now, I know who Tupac there is. There you go. <laughs> not, not the Tupac. Yeah, no, Tupac. 
He doesn't need a the. He's that good. He is that good. California love. Good song. Da, 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 da. Oh. oh, I love this one. I share Very a birthday good. with Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah. Love that. Very good. Love that one. He's awesome. These, I mean, these names. Yes. The fact that we're having yeah. the same conversation, Vincent van Gogh and, and, and literally Tupac. Um, hello, Te uh, Kayla, saying best actor for me would be Eddie Izzard mm. and Brad Pitt. He's brilliant in uh, Bullet Train. Cam thought it was so funny. Oh, I'd like to go and see that. <clears throat> Is that a new film? Yeah, it's quite, quite new. I remember seeing the, seeing the trailer for it. Yeah. No, you're messaging about favourite actors. Robert De Niro, because he's so versatile. I That's agree with true. you. He is awesome. Mm. I do like him in Meet the Fockers. Yes. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's very, good very at that. Good. He's, he's very, really good. Yeah, he is very, very versatile. Good. He'll do funny, won't he? But also... And I liked him in um, Cape Fear. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Terrifying, yeah. that, isn't he? Has to be Bruce Willis. Uh, we have grown old together. Do you know what, Tracy? My Tom would 100% agree with you, although I will st say it again. Uh, Die Hard is not a Christmas film, but Bruce Cole, uh, but, but Bruce Willis is. Don't you think? No, no, I'm sorry, no, it's not. Oh. He's in bare feet. It's set at Christmas. Okay. But I do like Bruce Willis, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of romance in it as well, isn't there? True. Alan Rickman, he was in that. Was I loved him? I haven't forgiven oh. him. I know. I love Alan Rickman, but I still haven't forgiven him. <laughs> from Love Actually. Oh, I know. Yes, I still haven't yeah. forgiven you, uh, forgiven him for that. Yeah, uh, Lemon Court. <laughs> Look at it. I haven't, still haven't quite forgiven Alan Rickman for Love Actually. Have you seen Truly Madly Deeply? No. Watch that, and then I think he might redeem himself. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And I know it actually wasn't him personally before anyone messages it. Uh, 9.99. This is a pretty strand, Claire. That is lovely. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on. Imagine this. Yeah, with the gold. With nice. your slider bracelets that are coming up. You know they're ten ninety nine on pre-order, so make sure you shop ahead and grab hold of those. You get three of these silver-plated, gold-plated or rose-gold-plated slider bracelets for, well, ten ninety It's on the website, so you can shop ahead. They are quite limited. Six ninety nine. That's... that's <gasps> it looks got everything so much there, more expensive, yes, doesn't it? Really it really does. Because you've got the colour, haven't you? You've got the clarity. You've got a lovely sparkle. It's like a canary diamond. Mm. You know, that's the joy of lemon courts, top quality lemon courts. It's, you know, when it's not so insipid that it literally, uh, it just becomes almost like a, um, I don't know, like, like trace amounts of yellow. Mm. Um, when it's like this, it, you know, it's so reminiscent of canary diamonds at a fraction of the cost, quite clearly. How many do I have of these then, Roscoe? 22, Lancashire, uh, sorry, Lincolnshire, hello to you, Caroline, Angela, Heather, a new customer on the phone line. 6.99, absolutely love lemon quartz. The, di the only difference between lemon quartz and citrine, because it is essentially the same gemstone, is just basically uh, um, the, the, the saturation. So mm. um, if it's a little bit more orangey and golden, then it's obviously your citrine, but it's, if it's a little bit more fresh it's, it's a good than tone. lemon quartz. Yeah, it's a good tone though, isn't it? Because it went really nicely. See, I'd probably be tempted to put citrine with gold yeah but that that it, yeah, looked, it went with both didn't yeah, it yeah it did yeah it totally did um shall we do what sorry i don't have them here some red jasper rounds red jasper rounds coming up I ideal opportunity for you for me to talk to you about your early bird today it is going to be a sellout i can say that mm. with complete confidence you get three of your uh base metal uh, slider bracelets but they are precious metal plated um <clears throat> and you can shop ahead they're 10.99 for all three of them they're absolutely flying out the door coming up at the top of this hour um let's stick to the warmth the autumn warmth of jaspers um, we call it red, but it's actually more of a, like, it's, it, I don't know, it's like a, a burnt red, isn't it? Mm, quite Does that make sense? Cottery, isn't it? Yeah, it's got this wonderful warmth to it. I don't know, who's, who, who's actually got all their winter clothes out the loft or storage? I'll start to get a few more jumpers, yeah. 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 I think we're going to need them this year as I well, aren't so. we? I think so, yeah. Yeah. We're going to heat two rooms in the house, we are. Two? <laughs> Maybe more than two, but yeah. But yeah, and, and just basically layer up on the wool, woolly jumpers. 40 carats of beautiful natural red jasper, £4.99 pence only. Um, and faceted rounds too. I mean, there's so much potential with strands like this. You mm. saw on the Wall of Fame earlier on, we had, uh, we had was it Mandy, the first? Uh, yes, our first yeah, entrance yeah. Those lovely Marla <clears throat> yeah. uh, necklaces. And we've had some um, 
<coughs> CB designs as well. You can cut, it literally crosses it at multiples of mediums. Simple stretchy bracelets. Four ninety nine an absolute giveaway deal. Hello to you, Lincolnshire, Linda and Surrey, Linda in Hampshire, Christine, Anne, Lorraine, Marilyn. Hello to you, Barbara, Angela. You're there. Keep those text messages coming through. We're talking about favourite actors. Who's your favourite actor, Dan? I feel like you're um, going to give me a good one. Uh, Tom Hanks, pretty great. Yes. Um, a bit okay. more obscure. Sam Rockwell, great actor as well. Sam Rockwell. Yeah, oh. you've seen uh, Three Billboards. Great film. It's great. Is it? Is it really yeah. good? Uh, totally with you on Tom Hanks. And Al Pacino. Did you Al Pacino. see Tom Hanks in um, Elvis? No, I haven't seen that yet. Um, Tom Hanks stri strikes me as a thoroughly nice chap as I well. I think he is, isn't he? I think he is. He comes he? across as a really, really yeah. nice chap. Mm. I like him a lot. Um, now, we definitely saw this on the Wall of Fame. This is the Galaxy, isn't it? Galaxy Tiger's Eyes. So, yeah, one of our lovely entrants actually, uh, as, as already worked with this, and actually created it and sent a, sent a photo in. Um, it's absolutely it's beautiful. I, I, when I first saw this, and it was Carol that actually launched it, I, you know, I remember the moment that I realised Tiger's Eye could actually be dyed. But to actually get a multitude of colours in one stone, I find absolutely amazing. So to get, like, purples and and blues <coughs> and pinky colors all in one gemstone you still get those wonderful displays of chatoyancy i think galaxy is the perfect description it really you? is isn't it now this is a bundle it's amazing it's amazing it is fabulous yeah. isn't it look, 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 let's, let, let me just show you let's get let's get up close it's they're like wow. little planets amazing so look you've got your sort of golden colors just here your blues. Oh my gosh, and then the, the purple. I can see that there's a one that's sort of, yeah, look at that. Oh, they're lovely. They're amazing, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. Let's do a one price crash. It's been on oh, air once. Lovely. Final 18 available today. There was a triple figure quantity, but yeah, they've been incredibly popular. And straight away, Caroline and Liz have got theirs. You're getting all three strands, so that's the three sizes, 10, 8 and 6. Wow, 29 pounds and 99 pence. How beautiful. I mean, you could literally just single one out, mm. couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, and make it look like that, that almost like a, a planet, couldn't you? They're really reminding me of, do you remember, and I love them, do you remember mood rings? Oh, yes. It's sort of like a, you know, it, it would change colour slightly because you've got all the different, the different dyes. It reminds me of my one. girl that, that does mood rings. The, is it the film? Yeah. I don't know if I've seen that. I don't. It's really sad. Oh, is it? Yeah, really, really oh. sad. Oh, I, okay. I don't... I, yeah. I, it's a good film, but it's a sad film as well. My girl. Um, do you know what this reminded me of? When I remember you telling me that you'd been to see a seminar with Brian Cox. <laughs> Tell me what happened, Claire. <laughs> Brian Cox, you know, one of the most... The, 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 the I biggest think he's on this brains, weekend as well. Biggest brains of the planet. Do you know what, do you know what she did, Ross? Yeah. <laughs> She, no, I, I, I did. I did fall asleep. But after <laughs> I'd had, I had a I was like, and I had I'd been teaching all day. It's <laughs> my excuse. I had been teaching all day. I hadn't Brian. eaten anything. I had a very big glass of wine and I was listening and I had a moment of, <gasps> I actually understand the universe. <laughs> Poor Brian, he was stood so, there. So close, I think I've got it, I understand. Sharing his... No. No, she hasn't got it now. Um, sharing his wonderful it knowledge. Was it was brilliant. And then but... looks into the crowd, tears Claire. <laughs> Dribble him. And you know when you do a proper... <laughs> Oh, did anyone see me fall asleep? Yeah, you, yeah. Well, you were 100%. He, he, he's incredible. I bet... And the guy, I think it's some, Robin, someone She's who's... trying weird. to redeem herself yeah. now, isn't she? <laughs> Def desperately trying to redeem herself. And I, I bet you did one of those as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, voice One of I did a, oh. <laughs> We've only got six of these available. Sorry, Ross. Ross is desperately trying to bring it back to the gemstones. Um, beautiful rainbow <laughs> tiger's eye. Love this. Absolutely love it. Again, look at all of those colours in you know in individual little stones. So pretty. These have flown out the door. Um, so you've got that's a very confusing uh, 560 and a half carats across all three strands. 29.99. They remind me of a certain sweet. There's a sweet. Yeah. Oh, rosy apple. Is it rosy apple? Yes. Yes. Have we, I feel like we've oh, had this conversation. I love those. Yeah. Used to break your teeth though, didn't they? Mm. Yeah, rock hard. Mm. Uh, hello, Patsy. Hello, all favourite actors. Morgan Freeman. Yes. yes. Selma Hayek oh, gosh, and Charlie yes, Theron. Yes. yes. Yes, I agree with all of those. Just yeah. realised uh, I like loads more. It's quite hard <laughs> to choose. Absolutely. Yes. Charlize Theron's incredible and absolutely stunning, isn't she, as well? Yeah. I mean, she was, she was a model. 
And I, but I think, um, yeah, Salma Hayek, she's just ultimately sexy, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, she's a complete she, bombshell. I can, yeah. I, I, you know, when men say like about their their dream woman, I totally get it with yeah. her. Totally, totally yeah, get it. She's, she's like, she's, she's like, um, you know, off. Uh, what was his name? The bunny. What was his name? <laughs> Roger Rabbit. She's like Jessica Rabbit. Oh. Isn't she? <laughs> Sorry, did you see what I was going for that? Could have gone wrong. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. Um, yeah, got a gorgeous, gorgeous strand. Now, um, serious hat on. Uh, now, Onyx, we've always brought you Onyx. However, the white Onyx is completely and utterly natural, and it has only recently been discovered. Prior to that, most, uh, most if not all, 99.9% .9 of onyx out there will have undergone a dyeing process. And that's absolutely fine. Just recently, there was a discovery in Brazil. Um, one single uh, mine source that uh, was offering to just a couple of the biggest jewellery houses in the world, this what we call Blanca Onyx. Um, now, we can get this again, let me just explain. We can absolutely get this again, but what we cannot get um, is the translucent variety. In fact, I showed you a jeweller over in New York City that actually has white onyx available within their... In fact, that is one of their most successful collections, but it is completely opaque. Really beautiful, don't get me wrong. You're really lucky and fortunate in the fact that you've actually got that level of translucency. There is no dying to this. You know, you look at Tiffany's and Co, they're onyx, it's dyed. You know, you look at, I can't remember the other designer houses, currently, pretty much all of them. Oh, what was it called? Uh, we'll show you in a second, yeah. Um, but they, 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 you know, they are dyed, whereas this is totally and utterly natural. And it has this really beautiful ethereal-like colour. That's exactly, uh, yeah. It's, 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 it's totally haunting. Ethereal, yeah. The yeah. only place that we could actually find a necklace, a full necklace of onyx was from, was this one? Not faceted, firstly. Do you want to see what website we found it on? Ah, oh, it's only Gemporia, isn't it? Do you want to know how much, how much that's sold out for, by the way? £214, which is unbelievable, by the way. But could you make that? Yeah. Uh, you absolutely could. You absolutely could, and you'll be able to make it with change. We go lower than 214. Bleaker and Prince offer natural white onyx, but it's opaque and it is very expensive. Very expensive. Um, here we are, cocktail attire, last chance, £6,925. They are beautiful, don't get me wrong, of course they are. The constellations of white onyx there, $1,780. It's beautiful, it's opaque. Yours is the rare translucent, which we've been told, quite frankly, is irreplaceable. Uh, what about this? The Enchanted Donut, uh, white onyx, £1,290. And that is set with black diamonds, rubies, um, white diamonds and 14 karat gold. So, yeah, just so we know the level of luxury, you can get this entire strand, a full 360 necklace of your, uh, of your Blanca onyx. Not for 199, which is already amazing and already beating our sister channel's price point. Today, 79.99. Again, moving forward, we will be able to bring you white onyx. What we cannot bring you is this is that that, that translucent variety, which, as we said, it's just got this wonderful ethereal, like else, heavenly like presence, mm. doesn't it? Yeah, I totally agree. No, no other gemstone can actually compare to natural white onyx. London, you've got yours. Uh, we're massively over allocated. What? 20, 20 quid. You can get it home for 20 pounds on your split pay. Patricia, Lorraine, London, Helen, Olivia, you've all got it in your baskets. And as you can see, there's only, uh, there's only one of them left. So speak to our call centre. Um, that is an absolutely unbelievable price point. Again, moving forward, yes, you'll see white onyx, but um, uh, yeah, but but yeah, yeah, but n not with that translucency. Um, oh, I always, I always struggle to pronounce his name. Is it Joaquin Wa 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 Phoenix? Yes. Amazing actor in The Joker, so sad. Yeah. Totally, Diane. Yeah, he's brilliant. I, brilliant. I, couldn't, I couldn't watch that. I don't think... I, I, I worry about me watching that film. I think it would actually have yeah. an impact on me. I think, yeah, you do... Yeah, 
But it's a good, it's a good film. You want yeah. it to have an impact, don't you? Yeah, but, yeah. I suppose. You might I need suppose. a little, like a cuddle afterwards. But do I need a cuddle? I'd have a, yeah, have a little cuddle afterwards. Because well, it's like, it does make you think and it's, but it's very good. Yeah, he is an awesome actor, yeah. Mm. An and awesome isn't there, actor. Isn't there, there, there going to be another one with um, Lady Gaga, yeah? Is she going to be in it? A musical? Oh, wow. again, she's awesome. Lady yeah, Gaga. Yeah, she's incredible. Absolutely amazing. Right then, where should we go next? Is this what I think it is? South Sea Pearls, seven to eight millimetres. So from the shores of Australia, Ross is just telling me the price. He says, you've never seen a Mel. Madness, that's madness. There are four available. Because I think most of us know, Akoya, Tahitian, Edison, naturally coloured pearls, South Sea Pearls, command a premium don't they that's like i don't know d to a diamond basically it's the, it, it it it's the echelons of luxury and the reasoning for that particularly your south sea they are some of the most deaverish of mollusks they require the perfect perfect conditions to form these beautiful pearls now these are totally and utterly natural colors stunning aren't they so you, when we talk about South Sea, it's the golden colours, it's these beautiful, pure whites, famed and celebrated for, for some of the finest of lustres. Eight millimetres in their size. They require, um, and I, I, I saw Charlie the other day, so I worked with Charlie the other day on our sister channel, Gemporia, and it, 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 I'll never lose sight of the fact that the, the amount that goes into actually producing a pearl in South Sea. Mm. Let's not forget, these are shark-infested waters. You know, there's sea snakes in there, nasty mm. things that mm. are out to get you. Um, and these pearls are lovingly cared for. Barnacles chipped off them every other, sing uh, every other day. The water temperatures and, uh, uh, and conditions are literally filtered so that those mollusks feed um, perfectly. The end result, though, is one of the finest pearls in the world. Um, and by the way, each mollusk will produce just one single pearl. So extreme rarity. I only have four of these available. The early bird is coming up literally straight after this. To say that you own South Sea Pearls is pretty fantastic, to be truthful. Very few people on this planet will actually be able to say that. Um, or if they do, they will have certainly uh, had to invest, invest quite uh, considerably because they're, they're not cheap. They are expensive. There's no denying that. Literally years goes into um, the culturing process of each and every single one. Now, there are four available. I, I know the price this is going to. Ross literally, he says, L, you've never brought these to air. First time I've ever actually seen them. And that's ridiculous. You heard it, Claire, mm. as well, didn't you? Yeah. For South yeah. Sea Pearls. Yeah. yeah. If it was there, that's still amazing. My experience of South Sea Pearls is that they are four figures and then some. Do you think that's good? £499? Because mm. I, I don't think I've seen a strand before. It's incredible because you're thinking, aren't you? Like that, that's your. I'd have one on a one on a chain. So I'd have one single pendant, earrings, and then I'd probably do a bracelet. I think. Like. Okay, so if you made one single pendant mm -hmm. and a pearl in each ear, mm. you would up. You should absolutely sell it if you do sell your jewellery for more than the price that we are mm -hmm. taking this strand to mm -hmm. London. Well done. Not leaving anything to chance. I can see you there, Mary uh, Marie Claire. It, uh, this might well be. In fact, I'm going to say this out loud. I think this is the most affordable South Sea Pearl strand we've ever done. I don't recall ever doing South Sea Pearls or what you're about to see. Never. Is, <clears throat> I've never seen South Sea Pearls. At, that's, you know, fact. I've never seen South Sea Pearls at a double figure price point. Not a strand. Mm. Uh, maybe a single pendant somewhere in a clearance but a single strand mm. for 99.99 or 24 pounds 99 on your split pay beautiful natural colors i am down to the final one of these um absolutely incredible the quality in fact you know what this alongside maybe your natural white onyx would oh, be absolutely amazing you know these are probably some of our, our most luxurious acquisitions oh, within they really our portfolio. complement each other don't they they do don't they Loving those. Um, hello to you, Veronica. I can see you there. West Midlands, I can see you there. London, I can see you there. People on the phone lines. I'll leave that last one with you. Well done. Um, now, the early bird. 
is up next. Now, three separate auctions. We've got the gold plate, the silver plate, and also the rose gold plate. These are your base metals, but still with your precious metal plating. Look at the price tag. That is for three of those slider bracelets. Now, they should have been... What Ross has actually, had actually promised you all at the beginning of the show was 14... They're going lower than 14.99. Well, that's normally like his opening point, and then he'll chip down. I'll say it. They were meant to close at 12.99. Uh, you've been pre-ordering ahead at a better price point than that. My only issue is there's only 100 of each of these, so make sure you don't hesitate. It's your early bird. Oh, and it's a cracker. It's up next. Now is not an ideal time then to say that we've made a big boo-boo. Because uh, somebody's just stepped in the gallery. I haven't done anything. And the thing is, Ross, do you know, the thing is, Wayne, neither's Ross or Adam or Michael or Dan or Claire. None of us have done anything. Do you know who I'm, go do you know who I'm going to point the finger at? You. <laughs> Wayne. Look at your early bird. Look at the prices of the early bird on the web. We, they were meant to be under £5 each. Oh, he's passing the buck to Caroline. <laughs> Wayne, when's your birthday? 25th May? Yeah. You've got Mike Myers, Killian Murphy. Ooh. Ian oh. McKellen, oh. Octavia Spencer. I think, I think was she in, um, oh, what's it called? Water. The, what, sorry? Shape of Water. Shape of Water, I don't know. I don't know. Who else? No. It's not the Queen, though, is it? It's not Tupac, though, is it? <laughs> One of our viewers had a Tupac. Who else did we have? Who else's birthdays were you sharing? There was some really good... Michael's is the queen. Yeah. Right then, anyway, enough of that, because this is going to literally cause mayhem on the phone line. 60-second clock on our screens. We're going to start with the gold-plated. You do get all three of them, which is utterly madness. So wait a second, that's working out at, what, £3.50 per slider bracelet. I mean, with seriously. That feature, with the feature slider. Yes. So you, nobody is going to know, Claire, that these... Are gold-plated base metal, are they? No, but I think it's, it's like you said that it's, it's different budgets, isn't it? And different different styles of jewellery, and, you, and you, it's what you, what you put in it as well. It's, it's just lovely to have. You've still a, got, you've still got quality, just because they're yeah, not you know yeah. solid nine yeah. two five. Yeah. They're still, in fact, the slider on these is absolutely amazing. It's really, really secure. Um, so they're going to really grip into place. Oh, holding them all. There we are. Um, I'll get there in the end, won't I? All three, you know, on the website, £10.99. pence. In seven seconds, we're going to melt the phone lines. Um, now, I have literally 99 of these available. Um, oh, I did. Half the stock's oh. gone. Uh, Ross is actually correcting me right now. I don't oh, blame gosh, you. Yeah. We can't even crash at fourteen ninety nine to show you what, what you know. Oh right, I beg your pardon. I said twelve ninety nine. Ross is going to take them to eleven ninety nine. That's amazing. Four pounds each, but you got to go lower, Ross. That's what it says on the web. You know this isn't what we're paying. All around the world, getting involved. People multi buying sixes, twos, threes. That's already a great deal. I think we all agree. You watch ninety nine sell out like that. Literally like that. Oh, morning, Dahlia. <laughs> Hope you're well. Dahlia, who's, who's shocked ahead. Do you want these under £10? Under £10, making them, what, £3.30 something. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? So good. You know, they are. there is precious metal. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful precious metal. Look at the quality of them. And again, you've got a really amazing grip within your slider mechanism. So inside your heart, um, there is a, sort of like a silica, and that's what basically protects the metal and also holds it into place. Claire, could I stamp on these? I, I would certainly have a go. I mean, the lovely thing with brass, though, it's a really, you know, it's a, it's a good, it's a hard metal, so it's going to be really, really hard wearing. Um, so I'd, ha I'd have a, maybe have a go. 
Well, at three pound thirty-three, it's well, exactly not the end. It's, it, it, it's not know, the yeah. end of the world, yeah. is it? And to put it, um, I was looking at. Um, let's have a look. What's he going to do? Three pounds thirty-three each. That's crazy for a slider bracelet. <clears throat> I appreciate this, like this is, is about the name, but um, Lo was sending me a uh, potential uh, <laughs> a wish list for her birthday presents. And one of them uh, was a Vivian Westwood bracelet oh. that's 150 pounds. And when I looked at it, that's a, that was actually um, gold plated um, brass. brass. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't always use precious yeah. metal. Yeah, so it's it's you for know, 150 it's pounds. Hundred, yeah, yeah. So I said to Lou, you know, you can have a, have a few of them, obviously, because you're, you know. Oh, she's having a few Vivian Westwood yeah. bracelets. Yeah. Is she? No. <laughs> Claire, you might, she's got Claire McDonald as a mum. Come on, Lo, you don't need Vivian Westwood. You've got Claire <laughs> McDonald. I'd go for your jewellery any day of the week. Oh, thanks. Totally would. I'll tell her that. Yeah, oh, oh, and I mean it too. £3.33, the phone lines have gone into complete and utter yeah. meltdown. So Brilliant. make sure you do check out those baskets. I can see you on the phone lines as well. Patricia, Maker, uh, Mary Claire, I can see you there. Marge, I can see you there. Pamela, I can see you there. Um, literally, there's a double row of calls, uh, of names on the call screen. And you've also got, a f well, three rows. Three rows of names already. Valentina, Keith, hello. Hello to you, Sheila, Muriel, Christina, Kathy, Georgina, Rachel, Julie, Lynette, Susan, Kamarvinger, Yvonne, Natalie, Maureen, and Tony, Dahlia, Valentina, Keith, Lorraine, Robert, Paula, Sue, Denise, new customer getting six, Lynn, Sharon. I mean, that's the joy of a, you know, a, of a slider bracelet. <laughs> and by the way, was that Vivian Westwood one a slider bracelet? Was no, it? no, it wasn't. Oh, just it wasn't, a bracelet. Yeah, it was just a just bracelet. bracelet. Yeah. But the joy of a slider bracelet is what? It's so easy to make high-end jewellery. Mm. If I literally just flip this round for the benefit of those people that maybe are new to using this component, you've got, what, the two jump rings there, Claire, which mm -hmm. I, what, bead directly onto? Yeah, so you, well, you can do anything, can't you, onto them? You could you could use your wire, um, you could use your beading thread, mm. um, jump rings you can, you can pop in. Um, yeah, lo loads of things are really, really secure. And across all different mediums. I mean, yeah. coming up, you've got, yes, it, you read my mind. Claire. Yeah, so that would be really lovely, wouldn't it? Like peas in a pod, you and me. <laughs> Literally, just do a little bit of uh, a, a gallery wire wrapping. Yeah, nice. Lovely. Because these are gold plated yeah. too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, moving on, because I've got how many did you say? A hundred available of the rows. Um, again, there's only a couple left of the gold now. They will, will be a, a sellout, I think. 17 left of the yellow gold. So keep, go, keep dialing through. You know what's going to happen, don't you? You know it's going under £10. They were meant to be, by the way, 11 99 Ross was just saying. Yeah, well, that would still be awesome, wouldn't it? Still be awesome, but we don't like sort of showing you the website price and just holding it there. We like to give you a little bit of a live TV deal. In 50 seconds, that's exactly what's going to happen. Loads of you have shopped ahead. Um, in terms of their length, they're about nine, uh, nine inches, but the, another reason, joy of a slider bracelet, it's one size fits all, basically, mm, isn't mm, it? And yeah, like you say, so easy, isn't it? To, you can add whatever you want in there because you've got those the loops at the end. We mentioned Levion earlier on, didn't we? Levion, um, it was actually the beginning of the pandemic. So what was that, 2019? Um, was it 2020? 2020. 2020. Um, it's all a blur, a big blur mm. that uh, the past couple of years. Um, and they actually said the feature of the year in jewellery was adjustability. So that's when you started seeing all ah, your slider bracelets, right. plus all the big designers. And have you noticed how it has all, it, it's kind of maintained mm. popularity. Because, you know, if it, from, from, from a giftable point of view, you know, um, my best friend, for example, she's tiny. She's a little dut. So I'd always be really worried about buying her jewellery because yeah. it might yeah. not fit. Whereas a slider bracelet, it would you know fit. Go, yeah, I, yeah. I know it's going to. Yeah. £3.33 each for that beautiful blush rose gold colour. We say it every single time, Claire, but, you know, pop along to somewhere like... Marks and Spencers or Topshop or Next, Next got, or yeah. H&M, yeah. where they yeah. sell costume jewellery, which aren't basically plated with precious metal like these are, you'd pay more than 9 99 for one. Yeah, yeah, you would. Much more. Yeah. In fact, you know what? When I had time to kill in Glasgow, <laughs> a lot of time to kill. A lot of time to kill. 
I uh, went, I, I stumbled across a little a little jewelry shop and had a little mooch round, obviously. And it wasn't like it was costume jewelry. And I bought a couple of pieces. Like I like a anklet, so I bought a nice little anklet for holiday. Yeah, I love an anklet. Mm. Um, and it was it was cheap as chips. And I bought some really big earrings. Um, but they were double the price. That's what what's on your screen. And they were not plated with anything. They are literally base metals. They at least these are rose gold plated. I know some people, every time I say that, people are like, well, you buy jewellery from... Uh, of course I do. Yeah, of course, because I can't get everything that I like in one, mm -hmm. you know, under yeah. the, the Gemporia umbrella. Yeah. I mean, I can mostly, yes, let's be honest. But every so often, and I, like I said, I had a lot of time to kill. It's worth it, though, you've got to say. It's it worth was it, worth it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Big up the Scottish crew. Yay. Yes, coming through with the passport. Yeah. I, how I love you all. 9 99 only again. Well done, everybody. <laughs> I have absolutely learnt my lesson. Absolutely learnt my lesson. Never again. Now, the last and always the most popular, Claire, mm. is the silver. Now, we know that. Our buying team have bought as many as we possibly could. They've actually bought 150. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> underestimate that quantity, though. <laughs> don't underestimate that quantity, because, again, that will still sell out. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Kids' passports are not 10 years. They are five years. Um, anyway, right, back to... <laughs> now you all know. Now you all know. Uh, beautiful... Most of you are going, I already knew, Al. <laughs> Of course, makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Now, now I think about it. Yes, it does. So, look at the quantities. Oh gosh! Oh my goodness yeah. me! The cold screens are, are already full. Already full. Perfect. You could enamel onto these. You could milliput oh, onto be these. that'd nice. Yeah. You could cerulean onto these. Oh yes, you could, couldn't you? That'd be lovely. Yeah. Stamp. Yeah. Okay, I think I just I look because it's a heart motif. I just think, and they are nice hearts as well. It's a nice shaped heart. It's a definite You could heart, use it, you know, if you've got the little, um, remember that little pen we did, the engraving pen? <gasps> yeah. I'd probably may, maybe be more, more inclined with that to have a go. And you could, you, you know, put your stickers on because you've got a big surface area stickers? there. Stickers? Do you remember when I put the sticker on? Because you've got a lot of metal, so you put the sticker and then you, you so you just... Oh, etch over the yeah, top? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so it's a, a bit good more idea. Of, um, is you don't so, have to do it as freehand, really. And so giftable. You know, I had a conversation in the, um, in, in the school playground with one of my, uh, um, one of the other school mums. And she was talking about Christmas and she was like saying, so basically, you know, she was, you could see she was trying to approach the subject about Christmas presents and everything. And I was like, look, just don't, just not do it. Cost mm -hmm. of living is, mm -hmm. and, and whatnot. And she was like, no, 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 I want to buy, I want to buy the girl something. And I said, well, if something little, it doesn't have to break mm -hmm. the bank. I mean, my girl is six years old. I mean, something like this to give to uh, a six-year-old, they'd be, they'd be over the moon. Yeah, they would. And it's costing, what, three pounds something. We're already under 10 pounds. We're going even lower, though. But at the same time, not just little children, grown-ups. And especially if you personalise it, that yeah. makes it, doesn't it? It's, it's completely unique and you've put all the thought into it. It is... Ah, yeah, you've got three gift Christmas presents mm. there that you can maybe do a slight variation mm. of. And there's been some really, um, some really nice examples, aren't there, there, of the, um, see those ones there? Can you see though, that there's examples of them there, isn't there? With the oh, so I didn't, thank you, Claire. Oh! So you can see how they've been... Claire McDonald, she's on form today. So She's on form, so it's not just, Anne and Sue, it's not, aren't it's they? not just yeah. bracelets. You can actually use them in necklaces. Calm yourselves. Um, you can actually use them in necklaces too. So look, there's the silver, just a few of your hematite hearts that are coming up in today's show. But look how beautiful they are in a finished piece of jewellery. Yeah, loving, loving that. So again, yeah, just literally a few gemstones of your choice or maybe a connector. Everybody pays that final low price tag. We had well, an extra third in terms of quantity. Oh. oh, three quid. It's good, isn't it? I'd pay eight ninety nine for one. Yeah. I would literally eight pound ninety nine. Seems like a great price for just the one. 
Tons of you getting involved. Four rows of names. Catherine's got four. Rachel's multi bought. Alison's multi bought. Uh, Linda's multi bought. Joanna's multi bought. Caroline's multi bought. Carol's multi bought. Uh, Devon's multi bought. Christina's multi bought. Julie's multi bought. Uh, Sandra's multi bought. Rosalind's multi bought. Lynn in Buckinghamshire's multi bought. You get the idea. Literally four rows of names. I only had 150 of them. Again, it seems like loads, doesn't it? No. It, it literally they'll sell out they'll sell out come the top of the hour uh, top of the hour and if they don't then i think there's some people here in the studio that'll be snaffling mm. them up for sure because perfect christmas gifts we're in september now i think most of us are kicked into christmas mode come on claire you've got to kick into christmas mode I now know. yeah i know when's lola's birthday October. Do so you wait till Lola's birthday? I think that's why, because it's both, it's both of my girls' birthdays in uh, October. I get so. that then. And then I'll start thinking about, which I know is wrong, because you should be doing it. Not really. And being a bit more organised. No, I get that. I get that. So you let, let, let the girls have their birthdays and then you go into... I'll allow them to have yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, birthday presents, these would be quite lovely, wouldn't they? Yes, they would. They'd be lovely. Yeah. They were. At that kind of price point, I mean, it can be just because, or maybe Secret Santas. Now, I've got one more auction. It's a little bundle, which, again, would look absolutely perfect alongside your early bird as well. You've seen uh, uh, Anne and Sue have created some lovely hematite jewellery just here. Um, we've got which one? Which bundle? Um, six. This is lovely. <gasps> oh, Claire. Look at these. There's only 40, though. So you get six strands. Oh, look at that. Genuine hematite. <gasps> Beautiful metallic luster. A lock. That's incredible, isn't it? Shall I just hang on? They're so Is it really tactile? So, uh, yeah. Yes, I'll give it. Uh, you can actually. Oh, that's nice as well. Look. <gasps> look how oh. stunning that is. And you could probably make, what, two wraparounds because I've got mm. all of this this side as well. And that's just without any additions, without any sort of spacer beads or additional charms and things like that. Ah, oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? I could have done with these, actually. Yesterday I was making a little bit of holiday jewellery. Could have done with these. Uh, I know, I know. What did you do? Um, some necklaces. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Quite proud Very of good. Uh, how about £10 each? How about five pound five pounds each? Wow, yes. Genuine please. hematite. Thirty pounds for a beautiful hematite and these lovely smooth tubes. Twenty nine So much you can do with them. I mean they look lovely, don't they? Like that. But if you you know, Morse code jewellery as well would be perfect. Little Dots and dashes. Dots and dashes, wouldn't they? Love it, love it. That, well, I do love that together. That's you could you could actually use these in things like your looming, couldn't you? Yes. You could lose yeah, to get that lovely effect like that, yeah. Alternatives to bugle beads or spaces. The clock is ticking because yeah. we are going even lower. In fact, I'm going to say it. We've only got 40 of these available. You're going to get all six strands of gorgeous, lustrous, genuine hematite for under 20. Under 20 pounds. And all the different colours. So you've got that lovely multicoloured hematite strand just here. And you've got your silvers. They're a great alternative to a sort of classic state, uh, uh, spacer bead. Mm. Um, there's your, your, your sort of more traditional uh, hematite colour. You've got that lovely blue. And then you've got a sort of a mixture of your silver colours and then that deep, wonderful bronze. Um, if you see bead, then there's not a, an alternative to your bugle. Or if you use them maybe as spacer beads, it's going to create a really lovely linear light design. Under £20. Uh, again, so many of you there. Durham, Justine, Lincolnshire, Susan, Carmarthenshire, Ted, Alison, Cumbria. Hello, Lavinia. Hello to Surrey, Pearl, Antoinette, Julie, Lorraine, Linda and Catherine. Make sure you do check out your baskets. 40 Aww. is not many, is not many. What would you do with these, though, Claire Good oh, morning, Ted. It's Hi, Ted. Ages. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I think I've never tried looming, but I think I would like to have a go with that because I do. I love that where it's all. It's a know, very you that, look. That, 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 you know, like a, a big surface area, haven't you? I think um, you'd take to looming. I think I would. I think it's just having the, the time and, and headspace to have a go because I love, I love the, the effects of it. Um, but yeah, maybe on the, your memory wire as well. Would nice. Be, you know, if you had like a multi. 
Nice. Multi they do tend to have on. quite quite generous drill holes, don't they? Hematite. So if I double the strand over, can you see just there? Um, uh, yeah, generous drill holes. So even some of your thicker elastics and wire mm -hmm. will go through these. I'd also maybe try um, like a, a bubble style as well. Ooh, so nice. I've not tried a bubble style with that. So but with tube. tubes? Yeah. Because yeah. you just get you get really really different bubble your different tubes. looks, don't you? With whatever you you know, if you use different shapes. So something like, say like that, you'd have the reverse of that. Oh! So you think about bubble style um, with doing rounds, but say that's with a flat. Yes. Um, so you'd get a different look, wouldn't you? You'd get... Um, oh, I like that idea. Or mix them all up together. Yeah, yeah. Love, love, love that. Well done, everybody. So lovely to have your company this Wednesday morning. I hope you're all well. You'll love the kits coming up next. Yes. Um, marker site, which I don't think we've actually ever done in cabochons before. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, I apologise. But, um, yeah, a gemstone that they used to use back in Victorian time as, uh, you know, as an alternative. To, well, not as an alternative. It really was the diamond, if you like, of the um, Victorian era. Um, and then uh, lovely Thula. Mm. coming up but we've got uh, gallery wire both with your precious metals and also um, your plate coming up so making it really really affordable don't go anywhere demonstrations from the gorgeous Claire McDonald we'll be back after this <laughs> Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's my birthday and Jewelry Makers, my birthday present to you is going to be a show jam-packed full of amazing birthday treats. We're going to be taking loads of gorgeous items, some of your most luxurious, to brand new low prices, including master carvings of Type A Burmese Jadeite, including your beautiful, genuine gemstones, Van Cleef inspired collections, and so much more. I hope you can tune in. That's this Thursday. Tune in bright and early at eight o'clock for my birthday show. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 
If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Oh, I've got do you want some better ones than that then? I like these. I can't see. I literally can't see. Try these yeah, let's ones try then. Those ones on. Hang on. I love putting on a bit of pair glasses. Get so ready for these. This is going to turn me into a, a bit... an awesome jewellery maker. All of a sudden. Why, why, why? I can't see a thing. <laughs> literally can't see a thing. <laughs> they're just, they're, they magnify a lot. Oh, oh they're God. lovely. Literally. You can yeah. see now. thing <laughs> wow they're lovely though well they're they're quite good because they're i'm not sure i can't remember what magnifier they are but if i forget you know my big Maybe overhead ones times. yeah <laughs> um <laughs> ready <laughs> i can't you. see anything now totally they suit you um right we were just saying that we, we were just discussing the fact that you know again could be deemed as a bit of a masterclass. I think today is, is a bit of a double masterclass, isn't yep, it? Yeah, yeah. Basically, yep. because if you've never actually done, um, if you've never actually thought of gallery wire or, or, or um, purchase gallery wire, then today is definitely an ideal opportunity because we've got them at two different price points. So we've got the, the solid 925 sterling silver and we've also got the plated variety as well um, in the different colours too. So if you've got it in the silver, um, the yellow gold and also in the rose gold. Now we're going to start with marcasite, uh, which marcasite is a gemstone. We, I, I mean, I, I may well be wrong, but I don't think I've ever brought marcasite to air before. I don't know. I, it, definitely not in a cabochon this is the this is a gemstone that really if you look at things like your edwardian or your uh um uh vintage jewelry um if ever you saw sort of like will look like parve diamonds but like a silvery diamond it would be marcasite because this is what they used to use instead of like these days where we have diamonds accenting almost everything don't we but it was marcasite back in the day um it's one of the most metallic and beautiful gemstones um in a cabochon because again i'll be honest the only time i've really ever seen marcasite was in little melee stones um but when you actually see it in these beautiful Beautiful cabochons you've got these wonderful metallic displays that sort of, sort of explode across the surface of the gemstone it's, I'm just looking at that it's got an element of you know if you, have, you know like when you see dichroic glass it looks yeah, like that yes it, it does that's, um, with the, the foils in there that's that is incredible beautiful absolutely beautiful now, obviously, you'll get a selection, different varieties, different shapes. You can see this one. You've got some ovals. You've got a pear. You've got a triangle shape and a square. Um, the ones before us, Claire, I mean, let me just hold up a couple. Um, again, I've got some really beautiful ovals just here. But every single one will be completely and utterly unique. I, I, don't, I don't recall ever, ever, ever having marcasite in no, cabochons no. before. In fact, I don't, I don't recall ever having marcasite full stop. Um, I might, right, I yeah. might, I might be wrong, but I don't recall. Um, now I'm going to start with the silver. So it's the only marker site that I have with silver. Um, so this is the nine three five. So it's pure in mm. the nine two five sterling silver. I don't know if Ross knew that because he's just gone whoa. Um, that's amazing. Mm. So yeah. slightly softer than nine two five yeah. sterling silver. Yeah. And look at the pattern on it. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? Wow. In terms of the strip length, how much are we getting? Because it doesn't say on my specifications. I can always give it a measure. Um, and Claire will talk you through how to actually work with, uh, with your gallery wire. It, it, it's a revolutionary idea in terms of gemstone setting, isn't it? Oh, it's a, yeah, absolutely brilliant, um, brilliant product because it does, it will cut down because of the, it's so uniform, it's machine made. So it's going it, to, it just makes your jewellery look very, very neat, professional. It's very secure. The time that you'll save... Yeah. Um, and we can do a comparison, actually, because I'm going to do some uh, wire work prong setting later. So you, you, can, you can see the difference, there, actually. So the, the, two, the two demos will hopefully go, go well together. Um, but that actually, well, I didn't get the, um, 
uh, this kit, but you can see how well that would work with that the sort of the shapes. Yeah, absolutely. Of, of the cabochons. Because these curve over as well, don't they? So the yes. actual crown will actually curve over the top of the cabochon. Yeah. Um, to uh, to s s basically set the gemstone. Yeah. So you're creating your own um, your own mount. I yes, suppose. yes, you are. And, and so what you're seeing there is you're seeing the, the maximum as well that, that you might want to use. Um, uh, so you, there's nothing to stop you, which I've, I've done on mine, a different stone, is that you can um, cut some of the, uh, the detail away if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, all the little, it's almost like a little fleur-de-lis, isn't it? It's going to yeah, fold over, over the side of the, um, over the top of the cab. I'm just going to give this a quick measure because I don't have uh, the, the details on my graphics right now. So there's... Well, there's six inches just there. I think it's 12, yeah, 12, 30 centimetres or, or, or 12 inches. And obviously you're going to be able, you'll cut that down. So yes. you won't use it all in one particular design. Um, now, I think the first time we've ever actually had marker site, it's 935, not 925 precious metal. Now we've brought this wire on its own, myself and Claire. And we sold over a hundred of these at the price that we're going to take the whole kit to. So you're basically getting paying the, buying this at a discount, and you're getting all 170 carats of your marker site for free. It's uh, we need more marker site. I'd go as mm. far as we need to do maybe showcases of this gemstone. Lovely. It is beautiful. Hello, Stella. I love marker site, and I've always wondered why I've never seen it on Jewelry Maker. Now, come to mention it, Stella. So do I. I don't know why we've never actually had it. Mm. I don't know. It would probably maybe be uh, I don't know maybe an accessibility issue i'm not entirely sure i'm not sure because it's beautiful isn't it um it's for me no disrespect to pyrite and i like pyrite but it's the more lustrous isn't it mm. you get much more patterning you get much more of that metallic fascination that metallic beauty um so yeah we have actually launched claire and i we actually brought this strip your 935 gallery wire strip at the price that you are about to see um so you're basically getting your uh the 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 cabochons yeah brand new premieres for free wow but that's 935 that's amazing isn't it that is and i've got more than enough to literally cut to, to, to actually gallery wire all of those that's unbelievable I was... that is and it's a it's a really um i mean i love all gallery wire that that design is a really useful because if you when you're looking at gallery wire you're always thinking so if it's the uh, precious metal like that you can always you can uh, put it onto a backing plate mm. uh, absolutely no problem um, if you have a look at because what's the lovely thing there so if I just move this over um, if you're looking so at so, pretty. so it's different stone but this is the this is so that uh, that wire there so if you're looking at it you can see you've got lovely depth there you can see so as I was saying I've taken off a couple of the pieces but there's nothing to stop you because you've got that you don't have to use a backing plate so you can see I've just made some jump rings but because of the way the gallery wire can you see oh, the they different layers it? yes so I've soldered those onto it but because you've got that great design so if we look at the on the inside of it. So if you could sort of like compare the, the two, can you see how, so it's, it's all lovely and molded, but you've got this great strip here in that, that almost like a little yeah, um, yeah, like a a valley there. And that's where- <laughs> A valley. A valley. Yeah. Uh, that's where they're gonna sit in. So again, all the time you're thinking about, if you're thinking about soldering, it's a, it's a good fit and it's a lovely guide to follow as well. And anything Amazing. you have like that makes your work just really, really, it's even neater. That's so it? beautiful. It caught my attention on, on social media. I mean, they, there is a limited quantity of these though. So make sure you check out your baskets. There's only 14 remaining. Melanie, Linda, Carmarthen to Rachel, Hilda, Shara, new customer, Angus, Dorset, Christine, London. Um, again, multi buyers getting involved in this opportunity. I mean, it's so professional. I remember the first time I ever, we ever, uh, it was yourself that launched it wasn't it yes the first yeah. time that we ever actually uh saw gallery i was like oh this this is ingenious absolutely it really, it, it, genius yeah, it really is um, it's a brilliant product i tell you what let's do the through light next yes yeah um and all the gallery wire kits are going to be available on pre-order they are very exclusive we don't have massive quantities of these gallery wire kits can you show me a photograph of the next kit because there's two which are quite similar 
Okay, that's this one. <gasps> oh, Claire. So yeah, it's, I mean, a Thulite. I'm, I'm not sure I've had a uh, Thulite in a kit before. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful Discovered in Norway, it? named after an, um, a mythical town Ooh. that they believed existed. Yeah, beautiful. It's, it, it's so stunning. Pretty. It's a really pretty, pretty sort of mm. powdery, mm. like pink. You've got a gemstone of opacity, and obviously that's the same gemstone that, that Claire just showed you. Um, so with this one, you actually get, what, a pack of three, pack of three, to seven pieces so you might get three you might get yeah you would guarantee the 160 carats um but they will be a big size because through light is one of those that actually comes up larger than you would actually expect um beautiful it's kind of got this really lovely um sort of a creamy strawberries and cream mm. opaque like pattern to it um so you're getting three of those gorgeous cabochons they're stunning aren't they it's one of those gemstones that you could kind of uh, well you could you could get lost in oh and this is from the original location of source as well so it's from uh from norway plus then you're getting uh your uh 935 um gallery wire so this is a six inch length 20 centimeters i beg your pardon 20 centimeters more than enough for you to actually sort of gallery wire each and every single one of these pieces i'm just going to borrow that amazing ring that claire's actually just so this is solderable yes yeah very yeah. exclusive kits i mean how much would you expect to pay for that amazing piece of jewellery from an artisan market? I would definitely expect it to be over uh, over the price that's on your screens. And you've yeah, got and more than to that's, make... Yeah, exactly. So you've got, that's, that's one cabochon. And mm. by the looks of, you know, it's one of the smaller ones that you're going to get. Um, yeah, yeah that's a lot, a of, that's of, a lot the... of precious metal. Yes, yeah. We're going to take this entire kit though, Claire, even lower. So much so... it's gonna go under 30 pounds. Now we've actually brought you this 20 centimeter strip of gallery wire, 935, and we've actually closed it higher than what you're gonna be paying for the entire kit. That's why we always say you get it. Some it is better to actually get involved. If there's components within the kits that you're after, um, then get it because you will get a massive, massive saving, considerable saving. So, well, yeah, when I mean, you can buy this on your own if you want to, but you'll pay more than what's about to appear on your screens. On our website, this this wow. gallery strip on its own is more than twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence. But you're also getting the through light, plus all the skills and the talent and the knowledge from our lovely Claire McDonald, Rachel, Patricia, Sharon, Heather. Hello to you, West Midlands, Janice, Sandra, Tracy, uh, Sarah, and Corwin, uh, Cornwall, Alan, Susanna, Lorraine, Belinda, Jacqueline, Manchester, Mary. You're there as well. Hello, Alan. Make sure you do check out your baskets, folks. These are very very exclusive kits. So we won't have massive quantities. Where was that lovely ring that you were just holding then? So, you know. Yeah, so, so that's, yeah, you can see. So Obviously that's different that gemstone. Design. Yeah, but you can see how... Um, same how techniques, well it, though. Yeah, absolutely same techniques. But that, again, that's a... If you have a look in that one, you can see there's... Because um, if you're looking at... That might show it a little bit better. And we can mm -hmm. talk about that as well. So you're looking uh, at that design of, of, of gallery wire is really good if you're wanting to do something with real depth. So I'm just looking at the jade eye uh, carvings you've got if you wanted to great idea. You know, work with those. But if you're working with uh, maybe your rose cabs or, or, or thinner... Um, uh, cabochons there's nothing to stop you from putting you see that little layer of, of, of wire in there so you're sort of mm. elevating the stone um, uh, and, it, and so it works really really well like that too really well is that a tanzanite I can see yeah yeah beautiful tanzanite yeah. in there great idea with the jadeite carvings uh, yeah great really, idea. Uh, and, and the and the other thing don't forget if you've got you know if you wanted to cut that in half and then um, so you're almost putting it so you've got your two strips so some so if you popped the other one, would you mind passing me the other one? That's uh, sorry, the other oh. yeah, from the other kit. So yeah. Um, so if you if when you're when you're soldering, there's nothing to stop you <gasps> creating one really it, big. Yeah. So if you wanted to <gasps> like put the two together, that then gives you uh, you know you've got your 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 prongs at the front, prongs at the back, but it means that you can you can basically set any shape something with real depth so something you know maybe like that this one yeah you know it would absolutely work with that where you've got the depth there but it's, it's because it's such a clever clever product you know it, it means that there's so many so many different variations really really cool it's nice right. nice way yeah of rather doing than it, just it? using the drill hole actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah um 
Um, yeah. Some people would like to see the reverse of the three light <gasps> ring. Is that all right, Claire? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. So talk us through this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's um, so standard. I think it's probably a 1.5 ring shank, um, and then there's some uh, there's, uh, some silver at the back, and then I've used scraps of silver as a granulation and put them the little, little balls at the top. The little ball details. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. You're so clever, so so clever, and it means obviously your gem uh, the through light's not going to fall through. Yes. Um, yeah. the actual ring. Yeah. That's amazing. Right, I'll leave that kit with you. Well done, everybody. Um, OK, one more kit before we dive into uh, into the demonstrations. But again, you can shop ahead on all your gallery wire kits. Um, another through light opportunity, slightly different gal gallery wire. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a sweet. Yeah. So this this one is this one. So that's the one I've used on the um, oh, that's on the, the ring. Uh -huh. But to give you uh, to give you an example, if I show you that one, so that's the same. You know the technique we've just talked about. If you double <gasps> double up, you you know it's giving you that uh, incredible okay. you know filigree look to it. I mean, you look at all the detail there, and that's just lining it up. Um, and then you've got a really, really gorgeous decorative ring. You are shank. so clever, Claire. Oh, thank you. I think this is this is actually more the the product, but thanks, I'll take that. No, take it. It's 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 really it, honestly, it just the difference it will make to your to your jewelry making is yeah, it's, it's massive. Um, massive deal, says our producer Ross today. Again, this is slightly narrower in terms of its height oh sorry um in terms of the actual height of the gallery wire and um, beautiful detail almost like queen of hearts isn't it which mm. goes so aptly well alongside um alongside your through light now in 60 seconds one minute we are going to take this kit even though it is still 935 metal silver so purer than 925 um, 160 carats of beautiful Norwegian natural through light. We're going to take it where? Under 20 pounds. That's incredible. Do you remember, like, when we first ever, I mean, I know that we've, we've, uh, I don't know if we're making our own gallery wire now. I'm not entirely sure what the answer to that question, but, um, but when we first launched gallery wire, it was 100 pounds. Yeah. It was 100 pounds. Yeah. Each, do you remember? Yeah, I do, yeah. It was 99, 99. Yes, yeah, yeah. Now we're, we're promising precious metal plated gallery wire for under 20. How has that even come about, Ross? That's amazing, isn't it? You think it's, uh, you think it, yeah, give, uh, give, give credit where it's due to our amazing buying mm. team. But yeah, when we first launched Gallery Wire, they were. They were 99.99, and they absolutely flew out the door. I don't know if it's a case of we're making the Gallery Wire ourselves now. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, that, do you know when I was prepping this, more, uh, this afternoon, rather, um, yesterday, uh, I assumed that these were all plated. That's incredible, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I didn't think they were actually silver. Not even 925, 935. I just assumed they were all plated. In fact, I think I said that on air. Didn't and, I? And have a yeah, and have a have a go with your. That's that is amazing. I, I don't I don't get that at all. That's that's really really good, really good. And again, so different. So you can see there. So so that if you have a look at that that ring, you can see again mm. the versatility versatility of that that design. Yes, what? So, versatility. <laughs> Versatility. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see, it's, it's, it's. I can't even speak now. <laughs> You'll have to take over. Oh God, that's trouble. Um, yes, oh God, definitely no. <laughs> so you can see that's, a, that's a quite a flat. Yes. Cabochon. Yes. Uh, and it's it's really securing it Ooh, nicely there. Oh, is that a sphene I see in there? It, the the tourmalines, they're lovely. Are they? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and again, oh, that so one's that one. lovely. Look at it. It, it literally it's wonderful, isn't it? Angles. It's almost ninety degree angle. So you can see two different ways there. Of um, so that one, if I turn that's it, that's the, the back, versatility. That's the versatility. Versatility. <laughs> I like that word better. <laughs> versatility um, of that particular gallery wire. And is that the same gallery wire as what we're yes, so that's, right now? That is that one. That inverted heart, which is a really lovely. It's a lovely design to work with. We love the you, blood. Claire. <laughs> we do love you. Very, it doesn't bode well, does it, for she's the demo? She's very versatile. Versatile. I, I love it. I love it. Well done. These kits are absolutely flying out the door. How many did we... I'm not surprised. Like I said, I do... Cast, how many of you remember this? When we first launched Gallery Wire, it was in the old studio, the Livey House. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and it came with all that paperwork and whatnot. 
Which, yeah, it came with all the paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were ninety nine ninety nine, weren't they? I think that's right. I think that was the price. I know they were, and then then they went down to about to about eighty nine. I think. I think they dropped the price a little bit. Now under twenty, you can shop ahead on your base metal ones as well. So we do have those, but nine three five silver here. And also your Thulite. The marker site is part of your base metal gallery wires, um, which you get three different patterns. So if you're brand new to gallery wire and you're thinking, oh, I like the sound of this. Um, it's not just one mount per strip. You can get loads out of there. This is your girl to show you how to use it. And I would say if you if you if you have used it before and even if you haven't, I would say go on the jewelry maker um, and the YouTube the website yeah. and the channel and have a look and if you if you search for gallery wire there's lots of different demonstrations there as well so and the more um the more you can see of those because you'll see it go around different shapes as well because we're talking about cabs now there's nothing to stop you from uh working with these with uh pearls or yep. three-dimensional um objects as well so it, that it works very very well like that too yeah so uh, if i sort of show you like a basic um how you would cut it, uh, form it. Um, so the first thing I tend to do, although it's that 935 is lovely and soft, um, but so I would anneal it first. So just heat it up and you almost like just watch it um, sort of like, like relax. sigh and yeah, relax. And that makes it just really, really malleable because the whole mm -hmm. idea is we want it to follow the shape of whatever um, the pieces that, that we're going around. So the, the cabochon or even fasted stones as well, you, you know, you can work, uh, work with that. So you just want to have it as nice and as malleable to follow the shape around. So if we have a look, something like this. So if I just pop these mm -hmm. around. So I'm going to um, pop that on there. It's like strawberry ice cream through it's, light, isn't it's it? It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? So what I'm going to start with, and this is, a, and I do find that a, a pear shape is quite a good um, uh, shape to start with because you've got, you know, you've got a definite point here. What can help is when you're soldering, I wouldn't do your solder join here. Um, I'd try and do it on one of the long ends uh, around there. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start. So I know that I want one of the ends to be coming around here. So we can see this one here. Then I'd be going in, so tools uh, wise, that's the lovely thing as well with gallery wires. You can work with quite um, basic tools. And, and if you are going to get some of the, uh, the base metal gallery wires, then obviously you don't need to um, work with your soldering. You can, you can do your, sort of your cold connections. So you can see I've started um, following it around. Then we've got, so if we look at the shape of the cab, we've got this, this smaller area around here. So what we ideally want to do is we want to have less silver so if I show you where I've gone in with my chain nose pliers, and if we just have a look, what I've tried to do is I've tried to get the, the point of the, um, you can see there, so that's where the actual point is. So I've tried to get it so it's in between uh, two of the hearts, so one either side. So if I turn it like that, you can see, so ideally then when we're pushing the prongs over, we're not gonna have too much silver, um, too much metal at the top. So if I pop that in, Let's just see that that's going to sit in there. I'm going to follow all the way around. So remember, what we're trying to do is trying to get that joint somewhere along this edge. So I'm going to start and just mould this round. And I'm also going to look now at, if I have a look at where the best joint is going to be. So let's have a look here I'm gonna go I've already got I've got half on this side so that was obviously from um, maybe when I'd done the ring I got that left there so you can see can you see that I've got a little black line there so permanent marker there okay so that's from um, the design I'd done before and you can see so I've actually got half a heart in that bit so I'm gonna push here and we're gonna try and get it to line up as best we can and sort of on that so let's have a look that's coming about there i'm going to take that so i'm coming across this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to go a little bit longer than i actually need because i can either file it down or trim it down let's just take that there you can maybe keep that for something else Let's have that going around here. So it's really important that we get, you know, a, a nice snug fit. So let's see. Yeah. 
So I can just get, take a little bit more. So we're looking at it from all the way around. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see uh, a sort of a gap, any air in between the, the stone and the, the gallery wire. So I'm just going to hold here. I can already see. So if you can see it from that angle, you can see there, we've, we can see we've got a gap there and it's a slight overlap. So I'm taking tiny, tiny amounts. So I'm just going to see which end I want to try and get uh, a little. I'm actually going to take it off the end with the uh, permanent marker, I think. So I'm just going to take tiny, tiny bits until we stop getting that overlap. So I'm going to take a little bit more. And we can see how we can try and get this to marry up a little bit better. Take teeny weeny bits. So I would say think about um, all the time that you're going to save that you're not, you know, you're not going to be making the prongs yourself and just take your time to get a good, a good fit. So I can already see I can take probably a little bit more off on this side here. Okay, so I'm going to go back and just trying to keep it so that it's nice and straight too. Teeny weeny bits, you can see them coming off here. So let's just now bring that. And pop that back around. That's looking a bit better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, and don't forget, you can also, you can shape this as well after you've, after you've soldered it. So a bit like if you're making a ring shank, it's entirely up to you, you know, whether you, some people choose to do um, solder, um, uh, have it as the round and then solder like that, or they might uh, sort of do a squash shape and then form it on the mandrel afterwards. So in the same way, I know that this fits, Double check. Okay, so now what I want to do is you'd be going along and let's get, we want to have that so it's a good join. So it's not gonna, when we introduce heat to it, that it's not gonna pop out of shape. So I want to get that so it's, so it's in its sort of a relaxed state, it's gonna sit uh, neatly. So uh, not like that. <laughs> We know what you mean. Yeah. So like I say, so take your time with this bit because this is the bit, you know, you're saving so much time. So don't race this bit because you want to have that in the same, same principle, you know, with all soldering, you want to have a really, really good, good join. So I'm just going to go back and forth and let's get that. So it's going to sit more like that. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's just, it's almost like when you're, um, you know, working with a jump ring as well, you know, just moving it maybe slightly exaggerated movement so that it, that sort of that memory of the metal goes back and you would take your time to to get it so it's sitting yep. sitting nicely okay so so that's how you would then form form it around same principle um, with and then so you do uh, you would solder at this point so it depends on what you're going to make so you do a hard solder on this bit because this is the, this is the first uh, layer of soldering that you were going to do. So I'll talk through a couple of a couple of bits. So you would, that would be your first layer of soldering. Uh, so you'd use your hard solder. What you'd then do if you wanted to have it on um, the uh, the backing, if you're going to use sheet at the back of it, that would be your next layer of soldering. So you'd take your you take the, um, the setting, the gallery wire, you place that onto the sheet and then you would maybe use your medium solder um, to solder the, the gallery wire to the sheet there. And then if you're going to do a ring, your next layer of soldering would be your, your easy solder, which is the soldering the, all of the setting that you've made yourself onto the ring shank. So you see that's how you'd use your, um, your different um, solders so if you look at this one here you can see so if we if we imagine that we've soldered and that's going to give us something uh like that so my or it's different design but same principle and then you would be popping your stone in here so let's just push that in a good tip if you've got because i've seen some there's some really lovely uh uh, round cabochons. If you find that you've done it as a little bit too snug, there's nothing to stop you from um, using your ring mandrel. So popping the um, popping the round setting that you've done and just rolling that round. And what that will do, that will increase the size of it. Just, just stretch the metal ever so slightly. And then what you should be able to do is then take that and then tiny millimeters 
and that should then um, be a better size. So you can see now, so if I pop this in, that's gonna go in. And then you can use, if you've got, um, if you've got pushers, brilliant, or you can just angle your chain nose pliers just really carefully so you're not scratching the silver. And you can see how I'm gonna start and push those down. So you can see I've pushed a few of them there and how easy it is. So the setting the stone would be the very, very last bit. We would have buffed all of the, um, you know, polished, tumbled anything, all the silver. So you can see how easy that, that is mm. to work with. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so there you much, uh, Claire. So make sure you check out your baskets on the 925 Sterling Silver. Now, we do have three other kits to bring you in the gallery wire. Now, this is maybe not saying that. The ring you've made me is gold plated and, and that's soldered, isn't it? Yes. And yes. I wear it's filled, it. that one is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I wear yeah. it all the time. Yeah. All the time. Now, these are plated, but... So you don't have to be a solderer to actually work with gallery wire, do you? No, so the, the great thing with these is so you, no soldering here because um, they are, it's, it's the plated metal. So mm. what it allows you to do, the, the designs that, um, that we've come up with here mm -hmm. mean that, um, so you can use them with all your cold techniques, so like your wire work, jump rings. So you're basically you're holding the stone in place with, uh, with tension rather than the solder also look at the selection of the gallery wire that you're actually getting now these are um you, you get a, a set of four different designs exactly the same in terms of how you how you actually incorporate yeah. it so Just you know when patterns. i was like following it around so you're always looking for that that longer that longer side i would always have the longer side of the join if, if you're gonna um uh maybe for for neatness like that but you what you're thinking about here is you're thinking about making your um, uh, your design, your gallery wire around, but then making the bail out of the same okay. piece. And okay, that's yeah. the tension that pulls it all together. But look how beautiful these patterns are. You've kind of got a, a, a lovely kiss cross. You've got a very, uh, almost like Roman, uh, like a Roman vine, I suppose, um, leaf-like pattern. Then you've got these beautiful hearts um, and also more of a, a sort of crown. Um, each of those lengths, do you have the lengths there, Ross? Because I don't have the details here. It looks to be about, I don't know what, five, four, five inches? In terms of its length? And I could get, I'll tell you what I can do. I'll tell you what I can do, get the trusty, Trusty ruler out. Hang on a minute. Six, six inches. Six inches that you're actually getting here. So, and you get that times four, four of them. Um, and of course, your different, uh, your different cabochons. Now, it's got, uh, it's under 20 pounds. You've obviously got different varieties of your gallery wire here. The fact that we can bring you gallery wire and also what we believe may well be the launch of marker site here at mm. Jewelry Maker. This was stunning. Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I would really like to see a marker site showcase so that we can mm, really so talk about the history of the gemstone. Um, obviously, it's about the techniques, but do your research and you'll find out lots um, about this beautiful, beautiful gemstone. But four different patterns. I've never seen these patterns before in your gallery wire. So things like what your point four wire would you use? Yes. Yeah, so what, what you're looking at when you look at uh, the gallery wire like that is you're looking at the, the design of it, like but then one. you're also looking at um, the spaces or all the the, the holes or the areas in it that you can add in uh, wire. So you can see, so that one that you've just picked up there, really nice and deep. Yeah. And there are elements there that we can turn in with our pliers, almost like little tabs. Can you see that will grip um, the top or the bottom oh, of, the, yeah, yeah, of the, yeah. the stone itself? So Just um, in here. Yeah, so you can really easily get go in with your chain nose pliers. So you're turning those in different directions to support the stone. And it will be different every time, depending on what, uh, what your stone shape is you can see so the little diamonds all together that that molds around really really nicely you can curve those round um your your stones as well sick i can't get over 16 very, pounds very 99 good, and i would expect to pay yeah. that for the marker site at the very least yeah uh, but you do get uh what four six inch lengths of your rose gold plated uh, gallery wire too well done i know these kits are quite limited so again if you've got your heart well, great we have starting gallery wire mm. as well isn't it you know mm. it's not breaking the bank um yeah, yeah and it's it, it's giving you an opportunity um to have a go i suppose yeah and it's a, it's a lovely i think gallery wire is a really um lovely uh confidence as well whenever I've taught gallery wire workshops 
um, people are always really, really pleased, you know, with what, what they come away with because it, it does look very, very professional. And I, I always say about, um, I taught a workshop once and somebody came on it. So they came with their friend who was the, the, the jewellery maker, but they hadn't actually ever made any jewellery. Mm. And their pieces were exactly the same. You know, yeah. if you go into it with an open, wire, open mind and it's, it's just, it's basically like a different sort of wire. Yeah. Um, but it just allows you to, to, you know, capture those stones really securely. I'm loving this kit. I'm absolutely loving it. The gold is stunning. Mm. Really, mm. really compliments the marker site, doesn't it? £16.99 pence only. Again, you've got, what, four six-inch lengths um, and then your lovely natural marker site in your various different shapes. Guaranteed 170 carats. Any questions that you might have for Claire, do text in because we are live here in the studio. So, um, yeah, Claire can help you. Mm. Uh, yeah, anything whatsoever. But if you can basically wrap some four-millimetre wire around gallery wire... Um, relatively neatly, then you can you can have a go, can't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. That's what, what the gallery wire is all about. You don't have to be a fully fledged silversmith. You don't have to be a solderer um, to actually work with gallery wire, which is you know one of the reasons why I love it so much. Now, um, I've got one more kit to bring you. Again, sticking with your beautiful uh, marcasite cabochons. This one, ah, uh, let's have a look. Oh, so it's got different, different again. Yeah. Oh, these are lovely. Yeah. I'd just, I'd be tempted, Claire, also, to just make li li literally little stacker style rings. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. They're quite delicate, delicate design. And you're getting your half hard wire as well. Um, so that's what you can use. Is that, am I right in saying this? Um, that's what you use for sort of winding and binding. Yes. Yeah, so you know, we talked about the um, making your bail. So your bail is sort of like an integral um, mm. part. So that, that wire will then go through... Um, uh, sort of like the areas um, where you haven't got prongs so you can see so on that one you'd be looking you might decide that you're gonna um, almost do like a, a t half netting mm. and use the the little round bits there because remember your cab is going to be here so that will actually be a closed off yeah yeah uh, hole which which means you can then um, secure in that is lovely, love it, it? Really, really, really beautiful. And again, like Claire said, it's not just cabochons. You can use these with your round gemstones as yeah, well. Yeah, faceted stones, pearls, uh, you know, irregular shapes. It works very, very well. Works with, with all the above. Yeah, yeah. And not to be left out. Well done. Um, make sure you check out those baskets now. Um, you can also shop ahead. Um, shop, uh, where? Um, you can also shop ahead, by the way, because we've got an amazing opportunity, particularly to go alongside the th 935. Um, we've got the last remaining quantity of this beautiful silver chain spool. Now, there is 10 metres. There's 10 metres on this spool. So great. Sorry, five metres. I beg your pardon. Five metres on oh, this spool. Um, great to go alongside uh, the kits that you uh, may well have just purchased. Now, um, the kit on your screens right now. Oh, it's just sold out. Well done. So that, well and that one is that one is your brass. It's it that, that's a, a mistake actually. It's not a bare copper. It's not. Well, it's, it's not bare copper. So it, it's it's. Uh, I think you've got a copper core, and then it's it's sort of antique to look like. Uh, like an antique brass. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank that. you for collecting that. Gal uh, te that was a graphical error. Uh, yeah. We've also got one more. What? Moonlight. That silver-plated base metal oh. with labradorite. Oh, that's <gasps> gorgeous. Two hundred of these sold out on the original launch. That's pretty. Fourteen ninety nine. Amazing. <gasps> sold out. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, now. I do have the uh, the gold filled. So again, this ring that you made me yeah. ages ago, um, and this is gold filled, isn't it? So yes, you've it is. This. Yeah, yeah. I wear it on a daily basis. Never ever take it off. Aww. I don't. I don't. Um, and you can't see where it's been soldered. No, you can't. So you get. And so this one, you're getting, aren't you? You're getting the. Um, you can absolutely do all the soldering techniques if you wanted to with yeah. this gallery wire. Now this kit, you wouldn't just make one ring. You could make it a, hu a huge amount. Mm -hmm. Also comes with the uh, instructions, that we, which are uh, exclusive to us here at Jewelry Makers. You won't find these instructions anywhere else. And they are literally front and back, pages to pages, photograph and written word. Um, so in terms of length, how much are we getting in the gold filled? Let me get my, my, my trusty ruler out again. Six inches. Um, six inches on, uh, on each of these lengths. Uh, and again, different shapes 
and different patterns. So um, you would obviously not use just one, one of these six inch strips unless it fits your gemstone, I suppose. But that will actually do multi multiple pieces, won't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously every, everything, you know, depends on what it is that you're um, you're going around. But but that's, with something like with this one, I think um, it, the, the instructions are so comprehensive that it's almost, it almost like holds your hand of mm. going through. So True. say if you've got, uh, you're looking at a fasted stone, so it will talk to you, uh, well, not literally talk to you, but it will tell you uh, that probably this this one, um, the inverted heart is, is probably the best uh, to work with there, yeah. which that's really, really useful. So if you, if you are new to working with it, um, it's just really, they're lovely, uh, yeah, lovely instructions. Now, we've only got 17 left of this kit. It's gold filled, not gold plated. Mm. The difference is the amount of gold that you've actually got. You've yeah. Got. Have we got, we've got, have we still got that slide, Ross, that describes the difference between gold plated and gold filled? Because it's down to percentages, basically, um, how much precious metal there actually is um, in gold filling. Um, the price that you can see on your screen is actually where we launched this kit. Again, it does come alongside um, the actual instructions too. Now, because we've only got 17, we're going to do a closeout deal. I don't know if we're re remaking these. I haven't seen them for no. a long time. Launched at £129. I can see you there. Go on, Ross. Do an extra special closeout deal. You can get hold of it as well on your split pay. Who wants this under 100 it's gold filled, not just gold plated. Close out deal for you today, the final 17. Wow, it's a lot of the 100. Let me just show you the difference because we always get asked this question. So what's fit gold filled, what's for male, what's plating? Um, so starting at the top types of gold jewelry, you've got gold plating. So lowest cost, um, you, as you can see there, it's got a relatively uh, sort of a thinner layer of, uh, of gold on the, on the circumference. Gold for male, um, so basically again, that little bit thicker. Gold filled, again, thicker again, and then obviously solid gold. So it's about, the amount of gold that is invested so gold filled it's quite a, a, a misleading description i suppose it almost looks mm. like it would go through the center mm. i suppose as mm. opposed to the outside um but no it's actually the thickness on the uh, of the actual um coating i suppose yeah so and that's what you want if you are going to introduce heat to it um you know because it doesn't uh, it doesn't come off whereas say if you if you uh put your torch on you know some of the the, the gold plated mm. Uh, say earring mats or something like that that we do um, it, it would come off and, you, and then you'd see the, the, the sterling silver underneath so yeah. with this it doesn't it, it stays at that colour um, close out deal for you today use the split pay as well wow 26 pounds and 33 pence that's the lowest price that i've ever seen uh our gold fill kits um for the instructions alone that does seem like a great deal those, yeah those instructions are absolutely brilliant keep hold of those because yeah. that's so uh, yeah. you know, that's information at your fingertips you've also then got what 24 inches of your half hard round wire which is what you'd use what for binding yes yeah so that would you, yeah you'd use that again going through going through the little spaces in there and yeah, you can, and you can also, um, if you hammer that as well, it's, it's actually struck because it's half hard, although it's, it's, it's finer. You can do your findings as well with it. So if you right. want to do earring wires, you can. 50 pounds off, that's a good deal, isn't mm. it? 50 pounds off where it originally launched, down to the final two, well done, making most of this amazing closeout deal. The last one, uh, well done again, loads of you with it still in your baskets, and I can see you there on the phone lines, first come, first serve, we can't say any fairer than that. Um, yeah, there's the difference between gold filled and gold plated, and for male, it is all about the thickness of the gold on the exterior, um, and you don't just get one different pattern, one pattern, you get three different patterns, plus your half hard. I mean, if you Imagine. I think when there's a photograph in here actually. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that actually shows you, is it this one? The pearl. Yes, I think it's on, is it on that side? There. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's, you can see. I mean, how good does that? It's just a really different way of, um, you know, presenting the pearls, isn't it? Love yeah. it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, okay, shall we do a massive deal on a spool of chain? And I think, you know, on the back of your gallery wire, if you've, um, and also you have to say your masterclass, which mm. I just love, because mm. um, you're going to be doing wire wrapping, aren't yes, you? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, we in, are. Yeah. In, in the masterclass. Um, 
you, the, the, the gallery wire that you've just seen, you're going to need your chains. Now, this is precious 925 sterling silver, um, very affordable way of actually uh, customising, I suppose. It's basically the equivalent, and it's quite it's easy to overlook this. What's on this spool is the equivalent of 10 18 inch chains and extra because it looks it's quite compact there isn't it yeah it's deceiving on that that small wheel beautiful luster diamond cut yeah 10 18 inch chains and extra now we brought this to air with mark Mark was very excited. He was talking about the fact you don't need to solder this. You can literally just put a featherweight head yeah, pin nice, or your yeah. 0.9 through the links mm. and just wrap loop it. And on that auction with Mark only last week, 195 sold. Wow. And we're going to match that price point. There's a reason why. Because And I remember this very vividly. Because not so long ago, the biggest auction that I've ever done here at Jewelry Maker was, was just over 2,000. It was on a metre long length of sterling silver chain. Colin was in the studio with me. It was some years ago, no pressure. And the reason why it was one of the biggest auctions was because it went to, can I say it? Yeah, but what's it overall? Yeah. We did one metre for £14.99. Yeah? One metre. You're getting five on this. Wait until you see the price point. I know we, I knew there wasn't many. Yeah, 45 chances remain. A five meter spool. I mean, you can do beautiful sterling silver tassels. You That's can, what I was, it's a, an ideal chain oh, for that, isn't it? Because it's a fabric, isn't it, Claire? Yeah. Yeah. It's really soft, diamond cut. That's why you've got that beautiful mirror-like luster. Five metres on a spool. And just remember, 2,000 quantity auction that I did, equivalent thickness and everything, by the way, if you're wondering about maybe, oh, was that, was that a, bigger car, uh, a bigger gram weight? Well, there's 10 grams on this spool right now, and I can tell you, no, it wasn't that, that, that different. The price of sterling silver, gold, platinums, all of the above have absolutely gone up. They haven't gone backwards, and yet... I don't know how. I don't know how, but Jewelry Maker keeps on bringing you some of the best deals that you could put, ever possibly wish for um, for uh, 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 Mother Nature's precious metals. That's right now twelve ninety nine per eighteen inch chain. Yeah, twelve ninety nine. That's a good deal, right? If you pop along to H Samuels, you you pay more than twelve ninety nine. You would. You might find somewhere maybe online. You might find a good deal at Argos. Are they diamond cut though? I don't know. The slight, slightly longer this peak, this necklace that I'm about to show you. Sterling silver, thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. And as you can see, twenty-three customers have left glowing reviews. Mm. Fabulous! It's a good deal. Don't ever think that I'm saying otherwise. I know you've got to add your, your clasp and you've got to take a factor in a little bit of your time. I think that's quite nice though, because if you are doing something like that, I mean, so when, when I work with chain like this, so what I'll do, like Mark said, so you're going with either your 0 0.4 or a featherweight head pin, but then it means you can add in, you, you can add in like an accent gem. So oh yeah, lovely. And when you're sort of almost doing like a one rosary link into your, your jump ring and then on the other side into your clasp, which I think is a really nice, a nice touch, you know, something a bit different, isn't it? Right now, how about an 18 inch chain for £10? Bearing in mind that you can make, how many do we say? 10. 10 18 inch chains on this one spool. And you'll have some left over, maybe for bracelets. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't know, maybe four, five bracelets as well. So, £10 is a great deal. I know where this is going to. And this is no way near. I only have, what did you say, 45? 45 at the beginning of this auction. Uh, we have got collectors already shopping ahead. It, it, it's fantastic in the sense that it's a classic curb chain, which I love. It doesn't actually try and compete maybe with the pendant or the design that you've created. Um, it's diamond cuts. So you've got that mirror-like luster. 
That's £10 per metre. So already we are hugely, hugely surpassing the deal that I did with Colin, however long ago it was. Yeah, when we had over 2,000 and they were like, melted the phone lines, the screen. It was the busiest auction I think we've ever done and certainly the highest quantity I think we've done here at Jewelry Maker. We're at £5 a metre. Sorry, £10 a metre, £5 per 18 inch chain. It's lovely luster on there. It's gorgeous, it? isn't it? Yeah. Susan Audrey London, Suzanne, new customer, London, Manchester, Angela, Richard and Anelia, Chris in Cleveland. Do you think we close there? We're not done. Not even remotely. Not even remotely. I find it, I, I find it impossible to, uh, to get my head around how our buying team are still mm. getting deals like mm. this. Because we, we know, Caroline even went to the effort of sending us all an email, you know, saying, look, I can't, I can't keep up with this anymore. There's no way that I will be able to sustain sterling mm. silver prices. In fact, do you know what? You're actually getting closer to 11 18 inch chains. Closer to than you are. It's only a millimetre off, which you're not really going to notice. It probably is, to be honest, Ross, especially when you actually take out the fact that you need to add clasps. And on the on the other side, isn't it? It gives you the the I say that word versatility. Yeah, versatility uh, of of doing your own lengths of chain. So you you might decide that you don't want you know eighteen inch standard. You know you might have a customer who wants something completely different. But that's allowing you, isn't it? You can do totally. And a half, How often yeah. do we do twenty four inch chains? How often do we do mm. twenty inch chains? Not that often. How often do we do thirty inch chains? Not that often. Thirty nine ninety nine. That's now working out at eight pounds per metre or four pounds per 18 inch chain with leftovers. It's one of the best deals I think we've done over the past, uh, over the past year. Um, big gram weight, you've got well over 10 grams here, 10.4 to be exact. And the fact you don't have to be a silversmith, you don't have to solder with this, you can literally just do a wrap loop with your, um, with your uh, 0.4, but also yeah. with your, what, 0.4 wire and what hair, feather weights. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, have a go with those, definitely, yeah. It's as simple as that. Tassels but at that, at that price, I would, I'd, I'd have a go at if you maybe if you haven't soldered. Yeah, why before, not? Have a, just have a go. Yeah. Because if you know you could, you know you can always if, if it goes horribly wrong, you can always just snip. Tie yeah, tiny bit off and then melt that bit down and be part of your you know if you're going to do granulation or something. At that price, yeah, Claire. Mm -hmm. Have a play with it. What about this next price? Because that's not where we closed. Mm. It's it's crazy. If these aren't a sellout come the end of today, I'll be absolutely flabbergasted. Um, yeah, we two hundred of these. Yeah, only the other day, literally with Mark, we, we melted the phone lines. If we had two thousand quantity, I, I, you know, I think they would have probably uh, would have sold a similar quantity as well. The price, the price per chain. And I'm sorry to keep mentioning price, but it is really important when, especially when we're talking about sterling silver. You know, that's the thing. If you go to any any uh, any jewelry uh, jewelry or maybe a, a bullion trader um, and you sort of say okay yeah but why is it that price they, they'll probably refer to the gram weight that's the thing it is price per gram and that's not negotiable it is what it is the price of sterling silver the price of the gold the price of platinum it is what it is and that's set on a daily basis in fact it changes on an hourly and even minutely basis I have just four uh, sorry 27 of these remaining now we're currently if you if you were to look at these as as, as chains that's the potential to make, did we say 10? 10 18 inch chains. A hundred and ninety five sold in one auction. I've got 24 of them left, 29.99. I mean, yeah, it, it's beating the price that H Samuels actually had for one 20 inch chain. You know, it's just mad. It's absolutely mad, the deal that we're actually offering you right now. Comes on the spool uh, like so, again, just so make sure that, to make sure that your chain is actually arriving um, in pristine, oh, here we go, in pristine condition. So it actually has a little, little, come on, use the weight of the sterling silver. So it arrives to it's you. It's fluid, isn't it? It's stunning. I mean, look at that. Literally, if I hold it against the back of my hand, look at that beautiful brightness. 
And you can also see those exposed links, uh, which is obviously what then you will um, attach with. The final 19, hello to you, Chris. Susanna, hello to you, Manchester, London, Audrey, Susan in Wiltshire. Um, new customer, Virginia, Janice, hello to you, Mill, hello to you, Maureen, Jackie, Linda, Sue, Carol, Angela, loads of you still in your basket. Hiya, Joe, saying uh, some of my customers like 16 inch or shorter, which are hard to get ready made. That's a really good point. Yeah, that's a really, really yeah. good point. Again, sort of, it's all different frames, isn't mm -hmm. it? And maybe you've got, I don't know, if you've got a, a particular outfit that's particularly high neck and you want to wear it even shorter, mm -hmm. um, then that all makes a difference. Sorry, Helen, hello to you and Merthyr Tidville, uh, who says, morning, ladies, what a great show. I bought this chain and the quality is fabulous. Uh, so I would buy it if you can afford it. Thank you, lovely, for texting in just nice a few seconds ago. Yeah. yeah, our recommendation is one thing, but to actually come from one yeah, of our lovely yeah, viewers. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's that means so much more. Um, so thank you, appreciate that, darling. Just ten of them remain now, um, and it's probably going to be about three months wait until we get these back into stock. That's what it normally is, unless Caroline has jumped ahead um, and already done that. Beautiful. Look at that pristine luster. Seven of them left. So how much is it now, Ross, per eighteen-inch chain? Three quid. And then you've got a big bit left over for something else. Three pounds, mm. Claire, for it's nine two five. Yeah. Madness, absolute madness. Well done, everybody. Stay on those phone lines and good luck to each and every single one of you. Now, coming up as your deal of the day, we have, again, last night, let me just explain. So when, I, when, when, when I'm working the show, um, you know, kids off to bed, and that's when I start doing my prep, literally on the comfort of my sofa, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll start prepping. But you know when you do a double take, um, Ethiopian Opal, when Levion have literally just backed it as the, tw uh, the gemstone of 2022, we should be expecting this, the price of this gemstone to be going up. And then I see the price on my star buy sheet that you're about to get the opportunity to grab it for. Genuine, natural, top quality Ethiopian Opal in different sizes and shapes. It's, it, it's mad. Honestly, you're going to be shocked as well. So if you are an Opal lover then make sure you are poised and ready um, to, uh, uh, to make your purchases. Don't leave them in your baskets because, listen, you, uh, compare with ourselves. Claire, go back four or five years ago, pri mm. average price of an Ethiopian opal strand. Oof. Remember four or five years ago? I'm going to say like probably about, what, 70, something like okay. that? Okay, yeah, I'd agree. I think there were more than that, but mm. let's say 70. Wait until you see this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's my birthday. And Jewelry Maker's my birthday present to you is going to be a show jam-packed full of amazing birthday treats. We're going to be taking loads of gorgeous items, some of your most luxurious, to brand new low prices, including master carvings of Type A Burmese Jadeite, including your beautiful, genuine gemstones, Van Cleef-inspired collections, and so much more. I hope you can tune in. That's this Thursday. Tune in bright and early at eight o'clock for my birthday show. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Uh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. I hope you're all well. My name's Elle, and I'm joined by the fabulous, the bombshell, that is Claire McDonald. Oh, thanks. You look lovely today. Thank you. Thank now, you. Oh, bless you. I feel very tired, not going to lie. Very, very tired, because my youngest was playing, well, shenanigans last night. You go oh. in, and she's kicking off, and you go, what's the matter? I sad. Oh. I sad. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was at half past two. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie, I'm tired. I know it's the stormy weather. Maybe. It's a bit funny, isn't it? At the moment, it's a bit unsettling, Maybe. and it's lovely, but it, it, it's hard to take Tiggy seriously though sometimes because she'll be like, "I sad," and then she'll go, "Hubby." <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? You give me mixed messages here. <laughs> anyway, like to keep you updated um, on gemstones, sort of, because they do fluctuate in the market, of course. Um, and Jake, I know Jake, your gem investor, has actually touched on it before um, in terms of uh, sort of availability and um, how that sort of influences the price per carat of gemstones. Obviously, uh, designer, uh, um, sort of the, the force of designers, you know big names how they can actually have an impact on the price tag as well um now if opal of course steeped in history has been around for over hundreds of years but levion um if you've never heard of levion really they are every year levion will announce lots of different categories so they'll announce a gemstone of the year They'll announce a feature of the year. They'll announce a design of the year and so on and so on. Um, 2022, and bearing in mind this is the first one that we've actually had for a while because obviously COVID, because um, they just rolled over during COVID. The gemstone that Levion is, uh, you know, has championed is an in particular Ethiopian opal. Not just opal, Ethiopian opal. How does that make a difference to you and I as gemstone collectors and jewellery makers? Well, it straight away immediately will affect, affect the price tag. Immediately. And I saw it firsthand when I was over at Tucson at the beginning of this year. So I went at the end of January into February um, this year. And bearing in mind that's wholesale, they were, listen, I'm not gonna say there wasn't Ethiopian opal. There was loads of Ethiopian opal, but there wasn't, there wasn't Australian opal. Um, but 
the prices were quite literally shocking. So expensive. And even when, you know, I asked you the question before the break there, Claire, like what prices were we selling mm. Opal at um, about four or five years ago? That's a steal. Mm. That's an absolute steal. So I think there was a VT that I showed you and I was quite discreetly phoning it, filming it with my mobile phone. Um, he was okay with it. I did say I was filming it. Um, and he actually said, he goes, just don't get me on camera. He was kind of a bit camera shy. So I'm sure filming some of his pieces and he had a handful, literally a handful of Ethiopian opal rondelles, not too similar from, uh, dissimilar from this here. And they were about, I think he said about $150 per carat. So astronomically expensive. And, you know, just to... We, we shouldn't ever lose sight of how fortunate we are, quite frankly, to be able to get hold of these high-end gemstones, um, uh, you know, at more affordable prices. So what is Ethiopian opal? Well, firstly, it's very new uh, to the gem world. Uh, Australia has been the dominant force in opal um, in the market for over 100 years. And during that time, as much as 95% of the worldwide opal production has been mined in Australia. Today, though, Ethiopia is on its way to becoming the second heavyweight in the opal market. And I have to correct that. When this article was written, it wasn't long after its discovery. It is, and I'm not going to say second, it is a heavyweight. Mm. It's Aust mm. Australia and Ethiopian opal. Those are the two powerhouses, if you like, in the, in the opal market. A small discovery um, in 1994 put Ethiopia on the worldwide opal map. This was followed by important discoveries in 2008 and 2013. And these are now producing precious, precious opals, fire opals and black opals with spe spectacular play of colour in a variety of patterns and body colours. So uh, another thing that's massively impacted um, Ethiopian opals worth um, and global demand is a certain film called Uncut Gems. Now, if you've ever watched it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it, it's it's good. It is good uh, with Adam Sandler. It gave me anxiety. I have to tell you, it made really stressed me out. Really, because uh, it is it is one of those stressful films, if you like. But it's it is good. Um, but the price on the back of that Adam Sandler film, the overnight almost. Same happened with Jurassic Park and uh, and uh, uh, Amber, of course, and Amalite when Kate Winslet did uh, sort of launch that film too. The price of Ethiopian opal went through the roof um but what is it about this beautiful gemstone it has to be beautiful we can't just be you know it can't just be driven solely on price um what is this amazing gemstone and why is it so bewitching well william shakespeare himself wrote about opal so called, referring to it as the queen of gems um this article this paragraph i'll continue reading ethiopian opals are not only beautiful but they are they generally cost less than uh, similar quality opals from australia again not anymore people now go to the stores looking for wellow opals or ethiopian opals they also use the internet and search the uh for these uh, opals by name this surge in public awareness has developed um, in just a few years without any major mining company or jewelry brand spending millions of dollars to promote them. That was until recently. Um, like I said, Levion literally could have picked any gemstone from the 4,000 different minerals that exist, chose Ethiopian opal. Like, they didn't pump millions of dollars in, in promoting it. They just said, it's Ethiopian opal. Mm. It's that simple. Um, moving on to the next. So the prices were once upon a time affordable, not so much anymore. Um, but for me, Ethiopian opal is my favourite. Out of all opal uh, uh, opportunities, I love the fact that you get this beautiful translucency, which means that you see the play of colour not just on the surface, um, you get them internally as well. So uh, beautiful, little, beautiful little sort of pops of reds, greens, yellows, blues even, that come from its amazing formation. So opal is uh, it doesn't essentially have a crystal structure because it's made up of silica um, and how those silica spheres are sort of arranged within the gemstone equates to how much play of color you'll actually get um, and it seems to be like a snow globe effect they'll mm. constantly constantly be moving around moving on strands like this are now very expensive very very expensive very similar to some of the strands that I'm about to bring you as part of your deal of the day. 
yeah blues one of the rarest colors reds absolutely the rarest color and that uh, denotes to the distance that the light has to travel from the opal to the observer but a uh, uh, gemologist i'm going to leave you with this last statement gemologists say that anything over 90 percent play of color determines that opal as exceptional if you just look pinpoint one millimeter one facet if you like on on any one of these beads do you see the color literally migrate almost swoop across the surface of each of those stones this is your deal of the day the start of your deal of the day and i'm bringing you beautiful beautiful faceted rondelles we've got rounds we've got fire opals to bring you as well all from this amazing location of source and i'll tell you again it is quite literally mind-boggling how we are about to bring you this opal opportunity at the price that we are i referenced the silica sphere so i'm just gonna oh sorry Silica spheres, the, the arrangement makes a difference. So silica, water, basically trapped between cracks and crevices of the host rock over millions and millions of years. When they're nice and organized, like diagram A, that's when you see play of color. When they're not organized, like diagram B, that's when you get none. You see the difference? See the difference in the opal in the center? Um, yeah, it's so no color um, itself. It literally looks, they, they call it potch opal, basically. Um, just looks like an opaque stone, doesn't it? Whereas diagram A is all about that beautiful aurora borealis display. You can almost imagine the northern lights captured within this gemstone. It's magical and it's beautiful. How many do I have available of these then, Ross? 50. That's not that many. I can cast my mind back to what certainly when we were part of immediate media and strands like this would have been about £129. Mm. Should we start there? Mm. And that was prior to Levion announcing it as the gemstone of 2022. Let's start here. Look at that colour performance. Our studio never does opal any favours, but to still be able to see that play of colour under floodlights effectively. Mm. An opal needs one single light source, which is normal in, in your usual day to day. You've got one light in the center of your living room. You've got uh, what we've got one light outside with the sun here in the studio. There are literally hundreds. Let's take it under a hundred pounds. Limited opportunity. It's so difficult to get hold um, of, uh, of Ethiopian at the moment. And yeah, Levion is absolutely to blame. Now I'm going to kind of shelter it ever so slightly. because that gives you a much more accurate description or visual of what the opal looks like. Mm. Still not entirely accurate. Actually, Adam's recording is much better. Same strand. Are you ready for your deal of the day price point? Oh, look at it. 39.99, Claire. For genuine. Oh, look. Look at that, look at that, but there, look, you've got almost like, like a full rainbow. A full rainbow. <gasps> See that red, orange, yellow? All captured in one stone. 39.99, Claire, That's for amazing. natural Ethiopian opal. This would have had a digit in front of it only about four or five years ago, wouldn't it? It's so lovely. It's, oh. They're absolutely flying out the door. They are limited. And again, that's we used to buy big quantities of Ethiopian opal. We sadly can't do that anymore because, like I said, the global demand for this gemstone has gone through the roof. Um, in speaking to an Australian opal miner not that long ago, um, uh, uh, I think it was, was it Jake? It might have been Dave, I don't know. But one of our um, gemstone buyers actually said, what opal should I be actually investing in, in terms of different varieties? And, and this is an Australian opal miner. Mm. And we were expecting him to say Lightning Ridge or something like that, or Cooper PD. Came back, he went, Ethiopian Opal. Gosh. He actually said that. Mm. Instead of championing his own, he actually went to uh, sort of a, a different, entirely different country. Now, I have the round. Anne and Sue have made some really beautiful jewellery, sort mm. of a classic graduated necklace here. Look at that. 
Amazing, absolutely amazing. So you've got that really beautiful, pure white body color with a wonderful translucency. And then with one single light source, obviously you'll get those flashes of reds, blues, yellows, and greens. All Anne and Sue have literally done here is separated it with, um, I think they're silver, silver uh, tubes, um, separating the opals, allowing them then really to uh, sort of be exposed to that light. You know, when they're shoulder to shoulder, um, <clears throat> each opal will be blocking the other one. Does that make sense? Yes. So yes. just that millimetre gap will... Separate them out and not introduce all that light, won't it? That's that galaxy. Look, it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it's it? amazing. It's like a snow globe. Yeah. In a gemstone. Yeah. How many do I have of these then, Ross? 150. Oh, big quantity. Under a hundred pounds. Okay, bigger carrot weight. Oh, Technically, these should be maybe a little bit more expensive, not just because of the size, but also they are rounds and they're big rounds. We have got a big quantity though, so we've matched that price point. Okay, let's ask, let's put a question out to our lovely viewers right now, Claire. How many of you, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, um, Poppy, our presenter on Lifestyle. She absolutely loves Opal absolutely loves it as a favorite one of her favorite gemstones if she was watching this right now she would absolutely be dialing through hmm. <clears throat> i'm going to make a promise to you how many of you aspire to own quality ethiopian opal but you know we're all watching the purse strings at the moment aren't we doesn't want to pay 39 pounds and 99 pence who wants to get 18 carats of Ethiopian opal, completely natural, for less than 29.99. And next month's birthday. Yes. You know. Have we ever, let's ask a separate question, never mind nuggets, have we ever done an Ethiopian opal strand for less than 29.99? How many did you say, Ross, there's 150? 150 opportunities and we're going to go lower but this is where you play your part you can all help each other out here the more of you are there the lower that our producer ross will go who wants this at po quite probably in our 12 years of broadcasting the lowest price that we've ever done ethiopian opal um in a strand i'm not talking nuggets that's different that's different you know they you know they're, they're literally sort of mined and they're not faceted they're not polished they're not drilled well, they are drilled, but you know, that may be we've gone lower, but not for perfect rounds like this. Who would like Ethiopian Opal? It's your deal of the day, it's got to live up to that status at the lowest price point that they can possibly imagine for this quality of Opal. <gasps> Has that ever been done before? For a long graduated strand round. Yep. Wow. Has that ever been done before? Do you know, we, we, did, we had earlier on in the show that white onyx, natural white onyx. Imagine opal with white onyx. Mm. Imagine this alongside some South Sea pearls. Imagine yes, that strand. Oh, yeah, that'd be stunning. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful, because you've got areas of that white, really lovely, ethereal, uh, pure, innocent, I suppose, uh, white body colour. And then, of course, when the light, exp oh, here we go, and it gets exposed to that single light source, that's when you see those captivating silica spheres. Make sure you check out your baskets. We've got collectors, probably fully fledged jewellers, actually getting involved right now. You know, jewellers will take this, they'll put it with gold, they'll put it on a, 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 I don't know, nine carat, 14 carat gold class, and they'll probably sell it for, I don't know. 150 200 pounds and i think that would be um that would be very very realistic i'm going to leave that one with you because i've got a lot to squeeze in within this hour and one of my i i i'm, I'm actually i've always been passionate about it but probably even more so now than ever because the quality of our fire opal mm. right now is off the chart and i wonder um ross can i just reference Thank you, lovely. What is fire opal? Because opal comes in lots of different varieties. You can get boulder opal, mosaic opal, dendritic opal, Ethiopian opal, Australian opal, lightning ridge opal. There's lots of different varieties of it. Fire opal kind of lives up to that personality and lives up to that name. It's got, it, it literally comes from heat. 
Um, so if you can imagine sort of vol volcanic activity and an opal forming around that, um, you get something as beautiful as this. Um, very, very, very popular. Lots of the big designers are actually working with it. And the jewellery editor actually wrote um, recently, um, fire opal jewellery glows with an inner fire saturated with every hue of red and orange. The fiery gemstone has in, uh, entranced. The Aztecs continues to captivate today with their uh, blood orange tones. Fire opal jewellery turns up the heat. And look, let's, show, let's read on. Let's show you a couple of those um, pieces that they describe. Fire opals are truly spectacular, sparkling with an inner fire saturated with every hue of red and orange on the spectrum. The cabochon fire opal in Tiffany's & Co. magnificent blue book collection ring burns bright on the finger, surrounded by intense red fire opals to accentuate its flaming orange colour. Um, and we can show you that very piece, actually. There it is. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Can I just ask a question, Ross? Where's this opal from, the fire opal from? Hmm. I asked the question because you think fire opal, most of us immediately think Mexico. Mexican fire opals, the red hot gemstone. Here it is. Uh, destined to outshine all others a fiery stone that is basking in the spotlight. Also, when it comes to fire opal, you're not just talking about the, it's not about play of color in a traditional sense. It's actually about translucency and a warmth. You do get play of color, but the body color really is what sort of drives uh, sort of demand for this. Unapologetic fiery glow. Mexican fire opals bask in the spotlight whenever they are set into a piece of jewelry. Literally born out of fire, the orangey red gemstone was formed millions of years ago Ago and water seeped into the silica, deposited into rock voids by the lava flowing from Mexico's ancient volcanoes. Um, it is no wonder the Mayans and Aztecs believed that fire opal had an inner flame created in the waters of paradise. We're at 149 pounds. Which one am I starting with right now? Um, okay. The larger carat weight first. You've got that beautiful translucency. There are only 50 available though. And all the colors from the pure whites, the wonderful yellows to those gorgeous sort of satsuma like oranges um, to those fiery light reds that you've just seen in that Tiffany's and Co piece. Now, I'm going to show you a price point again that you're not paying. Hello, Liz. And it's natural. Exactly. How stunning is that fire opal? You, you know, you imagine where gemstones are formed, don't you? If we think about uh, Larimar's the immediate one, I suppose, because it looks like the destination. You think about Mukite, it looks like the destination. You think fire opal, most of us think about volcanoes. It looks like that heat. Mm. We're at 20... Ross. It's not the price. There are only 50, though. I'd just restrand that, Claire. Where well, it I think that's as the thing, is. isn't it? With, I always think with fire opal, because it's done so, it's, it's stranded on so beautifully, isn't it? It's, it's about that colour matching is a work of art in itself. So you've got an, an incredible gemstone, and then, and then a, a real artist has come and, and stranded it, how, how they do in, the, in those tones which can really help you when you're, you know, when you're making jewellery, whether you like, you, like you say, whether you do a re-strand of it, whether you separate them out with, with spaces, but, you know, work with all that, that fabulous skill that's gone into creating that strand. Absolutely. As if we're going lower. Ross, we don't see fire opal very often, and when we do, it's always an, mm. a, a sellout. Again, just re-strand that. That's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but and do you remember? Do you remember years ago? Uh, my fav most favourite piece of jewellery ever was Linda's fire opal earrings. Do you remember? Those? Yes. Uh, I don't know whatever happened to them. They were wonderful, but it's working with that all the tones that are there. Amazing. Do you know? It's Ross is literally flicking through. Oh my word! Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That's crazy. And no disrespect, wonderful. but that's the price that we would expect to pay for cultured pearls. Pearls can be cultured. They can. It takes time and it, it, it takes a lot of money as well. You can't, you can't just say, oh, I want some more fire opal. Come on, Volcano. Can mm, you make sure mm. you produce some and millions of years and whatnot? 20 pounds. 
£20 for the rarity and the quality that comes from Mexican fire opal, and that's what you're getting. There was only 40 of them, so make sure you're quick on the um, off the mark and checking out those lovely baskets. Again, when it comes to fire opal, it's not just, it's not about play of colour so much. It is about the body colour and it is about the level of translucency. I mean, on your recording here, beautiful. On the neckline, amazing. Wait until you see it in natural sunlight. That's when fire opal really, really um, comes into its own. Now, I've got that other strand to bring you slightly smaller in their size so if you did want to create the perfect graduation again just to put into perspective the price point so again I know they're different cuts but never mind the cut never mind the gold and the accenting gems look at the opal at the bottom of these earrings yeah that wonderful glowing red with a little hint of sunset yellows at the top nine grand for those Nine grand. As you've mentioned, Linda's earrings. Mm. They were that. It was that, wasn't it? It was an inch. Yeah, yeah. And she bubble clustered. She yep. bubble clustered them going, sort of going down. And I'm really, you know, because I, I, I can't say enough. That's such skill to have, have put that strand together, isn't it? Yes. To get that fabulous flow of colour. We've got 50 available. Ross, no. I'm going to get some of these. I might have to re recreate that mm. earring. Yeah. You definitely do, because yeah. you do talk about it quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, I love them. I absolutely So do you have the ombre? She matched the ombre matched, as well, she, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she, she matched the ombre, and they were just, they were just done perfectly. They were, it was a gorgeous, they were gorgeous. What earrings. on earth is going on right now? How are we doing genuine, natural Mexican fire opal? Again, Mexico to, uh, um, to fire opal is like Colombia is to an emerald. Mexico to fire opal is like uh, um, Brazil is to Paraba. Mexico to fire opal is like, uh, give me another example, Burmese is to ruby. £19.99 pence only for natural Mexican fire opal, 15 carats off, brand new, premiered, never been on your screens before. We do not need to drop that price. Again, you can culture a pearl. 14 99 I mean, at that, uh, at that price, you would, and I would never normally say this with fire opal, but you, you could maybe put it with, if you've got the bracelets, you know, the, the, the slider bracelets earlier. Hmm? You could you could do some of those whereas before you know I would have always Normally, thought maybe put it precious, with your metal. precious metal yeah do you know you you find fire up my my next door neighbour from, from uh, my last house that I lived at she um, she's a lovely lady and I, I you know we used to chat all the time bless her heart and her and her uh, sadly she's passed away now but whenever I see fire opal I always always think of her because she had a fire opal as an engagement ring and she was only oh, little she's only a little dirt and she used to say literally it matches my personal personality <laughs> L you know I'm fiery and fiery. you don't want to mess with me and I love that about her it is that kind of gemstone it has this really 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 beautiful energy and passion about it mm. well done every single one of you now coming up after the break we have remember granted you're right in a showcase unbelievable prices remember as well that this is a gemstone that is not coming out of the ground anywhere on this planet planet we've also got type a jadeite carvings and also strands um, some which we've never ever seen before an unmissable masterclass as well This one. Oh, my goodness. Imagine this with a fire open. Wow. Look at the colours in there. Look at that. <gasps> you've got red jadeite in this as well. This with the fire opal that you've just seen, I think would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't it? Oh, my goodness me. That just needs to be... That's a restrand, isn't it? Or not that. Now, so, um, it's been on here once. Beg your pardon. We've got it back in stock. We were only able to get another 25. Um, and again, amazing price point coming your way. Close out deals, even on two of the world's rarest top 10 gemstones. Claire and I return again, beautiful master carvings uh, with your shell coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Don't go anywhere back after this. <laughs> Thank you.
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's my birthday and Jewelry Makers, my birthday present to you is going to be a show jam-packed full of amazing birthday treats. We're going to be taking loads of gorgeous items, some of your most luxurious, to brand new low prices, including master carvings of Type A Burmese Jadeite, including your beautiful genuine gemstones, Van Cleef inspired collections, and so much more. I hope you can tune in. That's this Thursday. Tune in bright and early at eight o'clock for my birthday show. Friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Oh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Um, still so much to bring you between what in, in just over two hours. We've got an amazing masterclass, an unmissable masterclass, with these beautiful carved shells coming up with our... Oh, yeah, they are. Sorry they are. No, no, that's fine. They're amazing. They are. And it will be a sellout kit for sure. For sure. Um, but also, showcase... Uh, and this is this is where I kind of I love jewelry maker. I really do. I'm so passionate and so so happy to be part of the jewelry maker family. But every so often I go, I can't call Grand Digirite a closeout deal. It is mad, absolutely mad. And I also understand. It makes me think. I get why lots of the jewelry houses don't like names. Don't like Gem like the, the Gemporia partnership. 
That's true, actually true. Not all of them, granted, but um, some of them don't like us because we, well, well they would say, in their eyes, we're devaluing the gemstone. And I, well, listen, I'll, I, where they would sell something for maybe, I don't know, the four-figure prices, that's the norm. We come on in there and go, oh, close that deal. And granted, you're right, this is a gemstone that's not been mined anymore. I get it. I totally get it. Don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I totally yeah. get that. Coming up, close out deals and grand did you right. But right now, a strand that I have launched, not myself, um, but we have launched, and it sold out. We managed to reorder, but only get a handful of them. All our jadeite is totally natural. Type A not type B, not type C. We're learning about jadeite, aren't we? And certain, not just us here at JM, but across the West, because it was a gemstone that was always kind of, if you like, squirreled and saved um, over in the East. But let's, for those people that are still new to this beautiful gemstone, what is jadeite? Um, well, jadeite is one of two types of jade. The other name is known as nephrite jade. Jadeite is much rarer than nephrite jade and has therefore considered to be uh, and, and is therefore considered to be significantly more precious and valuable. I agree with that and I don't because you can also in fact the most expensive piece of jade that sold at auction was actually nephrite, not jadeite. So they're both very valuable. There's a Chinese proverb that says gold has a price, but jade is priceless. There is nothing on this planet that they value more highly than jade. Nothing. And they actually don't, they don't distinguish between jadeite and nephrite. That's something that we, we tend to do over in the West. But a simple strand of rounds, you know, to get to access jade, most of us would, you wouldn't be able to find it on the high street or unlikely to find it on the high street, perhaps I should say more cautiously, unlikely. Um, I'd be very careful if you were looking to buy elsewhere online because there is much imitation when it's one of the most valuable commodities on this planet. As you can imagine, you, people will simulate it. We see it with gemstones like malachite, simulated malachite, um, and that's much more, more affordable than what jadeite is. So it tends to be establishments like Sotheby's, like Christie's, like Bonham's, the auction houses, um, where we get the opportunity to purchase this gemstone. So here here are two jadeite beaded necklaces, simple knotted necklaces, no clasp, not a single clasp, knotted with your cyan red silk. Do you want to know how much these were auctioned for? Um, granted, it was back in 2014. Again, that indicates the rarity. Two jadeite jade bead necklaces, each composed of a series of very coloured jades. Um, it doesn't have red, though, does it? Um, gives you the measurements uh, and the length, so slightly bigger, but there we go. Let's move on, um, because you'll see then the price. Look at the top. Estimate between 2,000 and 3,000, which they always underestimate pieces mm. just to get interest. And it sold for very affordable, actually, £2,250. Very affordable. And it actually quite surprised me um, in 2014. But since then, there has been a dramatic price increase in jadeite. It has gone up over 700% per carat. Kings the Jewelers uh, actually wrote about uh, jadeite. Most people who drool over jewellery, men and women alike, will tell you they dream of diamonds, envision emeralds and fancy rubies. But what about the gemstones that are so rare and so desired that to own one would be the equivalent cost of several cars or maybe a house or two? This is our list of the top five most valuable gemstones to date. Number one mm. is jadeite. Number one, this particular dense material is extremely resistant to breaking due to its hardness. Jade Knight comes at a hefty price of $3 million per carat. In 1997, a jadeite bead necklace known as the Doubly Fortunate was sold at Christie's Auction House in Hong Kong for a staggering $9.3 million. Now, obviously, what we're looking at right now is an imperial green color, which is ast astronomically expensive. But actually, when we've learned over recent months uh, from the likes of uh, um, well over in Tucson um, I've gone blank what's his name what's his name what's his name what's his name 
Run with that, thank you. Roland Schluso. Roland Schluso was saying that he actually predicts that black jade, lavender jade, um, or your red jades or your white jades may well actually overtake the price tag of imperial jade in the future because nobody stockpiled it. People stockpiled imperial jade like this. You know, there's it, it, that is available. That's not a challenge to buy. It's very expensive to buy, but people stockpiled it. Nobody stockpiled the skin colors. Um, look at this. Today, jade dye is mainly sourced um, in Myanmar and costs upwards of $30,000 per carat. Nobody can deny this is an expensive gemstone. And if you say, I, I've had this conversation uh, quite recently, uh, and somebody was like, I can buy jade for, for, for this price there. And I went, hmm, by all means do, I would not believe it was jade dye. Ours are all certified, laboratory tested, eight millimeter rounds. Check this out. You want the certificate when it comes to jade. You want the certificate. So if it doesn't come with a certificate saying it is genuine jadeite and it's natural like this, certified natural green jadeite, estate bead strand, five and a half thousand pounds. Yeah? Or maybe something like this. Art Deco Jade, three-strand necklace, English uh, in 1920, certified, untreated. Certified. You want the certificate. Susie speaks about it quite a lot on air. Susie's grown up around jade, and she quite openly says, I would never buy jade from anywhere else here in the UK um, other than jewellery maker or Gemporia because she just doesn't trust it. She doesn't trust the authenticity, if you like, elsewhere. She knows here at Jewelry Maker, it is certified, genuine jadeite. This isn't just the greens either. Those colors that Roland Schluso described that may well overtake moving forward the prices of the imperial green. The reality is these colors are rarer than imperial green because these form on the skin of the boulders. Look, you've got orange, you've got red, you've got that pure white. These prices that form with during the oxidization, the boulder skin has completely disappeared from the market as it's the only material that has never been stockpiled. This has resulted in the most drastic price jump that the jade market has ever seen. We strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record is held by a purple or red jade, which changes everything we have understood about jade. That was Roland Schluso's words, said in two, at Tucson, beginning of this very year. Look, just a restrand, you said, Claire. That mm. is beautiful, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Unfortunately, though, there's Roland Schluso, if you want to put a face to the name, alongside Dave and Jake at the beginning of the year. And just, if you look in the background... Look in the background, there's imperial, imperial jade. But can you also see the yellows and the reds and the purples? And what he actually said, Roland Schluso, that's his wife as well. Um, he was actually saying, once this jade is gone, bearing in mind that nobody is purchasing me, I'm, oh, sh we shouldn't be, ethically, purchasing direct new jade um, from, uh, from Burma. He said, once this is gone, he's going to have to diversify. And he actually mentioned spinel and tourmaline. This is old jade, by the way, old mine jade. So you can buy this with a complete, complete confidence that it is ethically sourced. Pillar and Stone say, for jadeite, we are now at the point of no return. Today, type A jade is exclusively a top tier investment gem. We have worked with this material for 30 years. And once this is gone, we can't afford to get back in. So we are diversi diversifying into tourmaline and spinel. Type A jade is the most expensive gemstone in the world. Those aren't my words. Those aren't Dave's words. Those aren't Jake's words. That's Ro Roland Schluso's words, who is really want like, almost like a governing body, I suppose, in jadeite. Unfortunately, though, this strand is limited. To have such pure, 
pure whites with that level of translucency to have that warm terracotta reds multiplied in this one strand to have those beautiful apple blossom greens remember again those of you that were able to tune into when Susie was with me uh, um, uh, what a couple of weeks ago and she brought some of her heritage pieces um, in and she said, you know, you know, they would have been fortunes. Very, very expensive pieces that her mum had actually saved up for or her grandmother had saved up for. This has been on air once in the past. There are 25 available now. Literally touched down and landed today. Eight millimetre sizes. Mm. Okay, what are we taking this to, Ross? I'd pay that for these two. I'd pay that for these two. Mm. I'd pay that for all of them. I'd pay that for any one of these. What am I talking about? They're all incredibly rare. The translucency, I'll show you in a few seconds. 25 of these available. So yeah, stick your elbows out and make sure you don't miss out on that opportunity. Uh, check out your baskets as soon as you possibly can. 110 carats of not type B, not type C, type A nat natural uh, jadeite well done 24 of these left the first one 22 second per, uh, person has just multi-bought on this opportunity we've also got a few of your carvings coming up so i mean can you imagine one of them just literally suspended from a chain like oh, yeah. uh, a, a beaded necklace like this yeah. the re you know those those, those uh, beaded necklaces that i showed you at sotheby's you know do you think do you think they're rarer or these which one do you think is actually rarer was it the green beaded necklace that we saw at Sotheby's earlier on that sold for over £2,000? Or do you think it's these? I think it's these because you've got your reds and they are intense red colours. Already collectors getting involved on this opportunity it is uber 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 limited we're not going to do all the uh, okay well we could start here and then we're going to chip our way down there's not enough to do that it's simply not enough 110 carats certified type a again certificate is so important if you were to buy a, a, a top quality diamond you'd, you'd want the certificate wouldn't you if you were spending i don't know thousands of pounds on a, on a diamond ring, you'd want that certificate, wouldn't you? You absolutely should get a certificate with your, with your jadeite. When it is something that is as valuable as jadeite is, remember, gold has value, jadeite is priceless, it opens itself up to imitation. This is not imitated. It is the real deal. And to be opening this auction at £149 is quite frankly crazy. Two collectors in London, well done. Bristol, Merthyr Tidful, Caroline in Manchester, Angela in Surrey. I only have 25, or rather I had 25 of these at the beginning of the auction. Susan and Brian, I can see you there. I'd be tempted, you know what, Claire, multi-buying on this and knotting it for an over-the-head necklace. That'd be stunning, wouldn't it? Absolutely stunning. Mm. Don't need to overcomplicate mm. jadeite, do you? No, no. And when when you've got when you've got a strand like that as well, and so you've got those those pops of the the colours in there. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And I'd even keep my my silk quite neutral. I think. Yeah. Whereas usually I, I you know maybe thought I'd go for um, uh, a bright colour. I don't think I would with that. No, one. I agree. I, it's, the, it's those, isn't it? It's the 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 five those five that are coming out at you. Look at this translucency. They don't block the light, do they? Mm, wow. They absorb the light. That's what translucency is all about with jadeite. Gosh, look at the hat. Glow. It does literally look like the sun, I agree. Look at that translucency. When it comes to jadeite, it's not the four C's. It is all about colour, texture, translucency, and obviously when it comes to your carving artistry, this has amazing translucency. And those necklaces at Christie's earlier on, oh, there's a clock on your screen. That's our first price crash. We're going even lower, even though there's only 25. Okay. Straight down to 16 though, says Ross. They're big stones as well. You know, more recently, uh, and again, this sounds entirely blasé, and I do apologise, but we've had much smaller varieties of jadeite, haven't we? Much, much smaller, say, your four mil or your six mil. These are eight millimetres in their size. Eight mil. So they're huge. 
individually, let alone an entire strand. That clock is ticking away though, only able to purchase, again, take all of these as sort of hints in terms of how the situation is um, in the jadeite world. We're not saying we will never bring you jadeite again. We're not. We're not saying that, but we have said it will probably be type, type B and type C. What we can get hold of um, is, uh, uh, you know, what we can purchase in type A variety. We'll buy as much as we possibly can. Ge look, 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 Gemporia has the budget. They have the budget to buy as much jadeite as they possibly, possibly can. In this case, there was 25. £129, multi buyers getting involved. London's multi bought, Sussex is multi bought one, and Surrey, another London, West Midlands, Bristol, uh, Merthyr Tidville, Caroline, uh, Angela, Weldon, Chew, Barbara. For the red alone, for the little, uh, for the collection of five natural red jadeites alone, mm. that's an amazing deal. Alone. £32.25 and 25 pence on four monthly split, split pays. Um, I can see you there as well, Joseph on the, uh, on the, uh, from West Midlands on the phone line. Um, and I can see uh, anonymous buyers on the phone line too. Beautiful. It's back in stock by very popular demand. Um, when we first launched this strand, it sold out. We were only able to buy back literally another 25 of them. Um, I don't know if it's going to actually see a second airing because, again, loads of you still have it in your basket. Make the most of your split pay as well, for, uh, uh, um, if you wish. 12 chances remain. Over half the stock is gone. Uh, do, Ross, really? He's playing, he's playing his cards very close to his chest is, today, isn't he? Isn't he? he is. Ross, that means everybody that's already confirmed, which there are many... We're going to go even lower. That means everybody that's already confirmed, you pay that final O2. Joseph, well done. Chris, well done. 11 remain. The last 10 in stock. We are taking this even lower. Sonia, who's got an amazing collection of jadeite. Well done, Sonia. Susan, I can see you there. In a minute's time, we'll do 60 seconds. If we, if we don't sell out before that 60 seconds is up, that is. It would go an even lower. What did you say? I asked the question. I didn't actually listen to what your answer was. What are you taking this to? Ross? What are you taking this to? Oh. If you're able to multi-buy, can you imagine this knotted in a full 360 necklace? No class needed. All jadeite, because remember, jadeite is more valuable than gold. More valuable. Imagine that knotted and a simple over the top, uh, you know, over the head necklace. And as you know, and we've talked about when you've got jadeite in the different colours. I would, I'd have it, take photos of it. So lay it out on your board. Mm. Have, a, have a look how, because it, it looks lovely like that, doesn't it? Have a look how it looks with with all of the red ones at the front. A, you know, asymmetric, you know, to the side. Because there's lots, lots you can do with that as well. Yeah, configurations. Those, those, yeah, the, 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 those five really, really do jump out. But they, you know, very different if they were maybe all together nice to you know it'd be lovely to work with as well as well as it being fabulous oh like i uh, saw your sketch with the jade out necklace it would be yeah do that enjoyable isn't it to, to to work with as well as well as it being a fantastic stone heirlooms these are heirlooms mm. these are these are the gemstones that we will pass on to future generations 99.99 Goodness me, and, and I'm going to literally steal something that Dave says on a regular basis. There are certain pieces, certain gemstones that we can do at that price point. We can bring you sky blue topaz. We can bring you London blue topaz. We can bring you, uh, let's have a little look, diamonds. We can do diamonds at 99.99. Jade is an entirely separate entity. So, so different because now that COVID has, like I said, it, it, the world has opened up post, uh, post COVID, you know, the Chinese market have said, right, okay, thank you very much. We want it back now. Give us our jadeite back now. You know, one of our suppliers, jadeite suppliers has actually said, oh, we'll buy everything that you've got back if you want. We've obviously declined that offer um, at a premium. Because he knows that he could buy, literally, strands like this, sell direct back into um, uh, the Eastern market, the Chinese market, whichever it might be, at significantly more. 
significantly more. Well done, the final two. Um, I'll leave them with you. I can see you there, Jeannie, uh, Maker, Bristol, Gloria, Caroline, Surrey, West Midlands, Durham, uh, Lancashire, Susan, Essex, London. Well done. Um, now, these are all very, very, very limited, these carvings. Some of them also are absolutely, uh, have never been on our screens before, which I'm excited about. Do you know, you seem like that. That's a, That's... It's like a gallery. That should, that's it's a gallery, isn't, isn't it? it? A work of art. I feel like they do. They need like, like an individual plinth. I yep. remember my first uh, job after my degree was in a, in a, it was a bronze foundry with a gallery. And you'd spend so much time, you know, it's displaying it. And they look lovely like that. And I wouldn't yep. separate them separate them out. That's what they are. They're works of art. Mm. I mean, somebody has literally hand carved mm. each and every single one of these. Hand carved. One of the hardest material. Yeah. Yes, yeah. totally. Um, can you imagine that? So say, imagine you're playing, we're, we're both holding a piece of steel. And someone says, okay, but it's much more valuable than steel. It's much rarer than steel. And they say, okay, can you carve it, please? <laughs> it, 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 it's mm. it's mind boggling. Mm. Can I, I'm gonna, yeah, thank you, Ross. This will really resonate. I've used it. I read it not so long ago, about a week or so ago, and I think it's always going to stick with me because for me, it perfectly describes the master carving opportunities that we offer you here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and at the very, can we go to the first slide of this article? Because uh, it says Sotheby's. It's written by Sotheby's themselves. Uh, for hundreds of years, jadeite has been a symbol of supreme status and extreme wealth. Yet within this world of jewels uh, and superlatives, jadeite has. Uh, a certain understated charisma. When light passes through the stone, the effect is a muted enigmatic glow that is both indescribable and can fill volumes. This allure has inspired mythologies and cultural relevance, uh, reverences, particularly in China that stretches back centuries. By virtue of its unique features, jade has been played um, a consequential role in history. From serving as a mysterious object of ritual to ador ador sorry, adorning the leaders of powerful empires. While term jade is frequently used interchangeably to describe both nephrite and jadeite, both are highly prized for different traditions. A gemstone of unsurpassed beauty that at its, at its finest may possess uh, inimitable green colour. Uh, jadeite is by far the rarer of the two and the focus of this guide on jewellery. We asked uh, when, how you, Sotheby's Hong Kong Deputy Chairman of Jewellery Asia, to share his expertise on understanding and collecting jadeite. Approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. You know, it's so easy to go, ah, oh, that diamond ring, um, it's got so many carrots, it's got that clarity, it's got that colour, and it's in that cut. Mm. That's easy. Mm. We've got mm. those kind of boundaries, haven't we? But within jadeite, it's not so, dis it's not so uh, um, black and white. With jadeite, like I said, you are looking at one of the world's rarest gemstones that has... Areas of different colours, different textures, different translucencies. And the artistry must also be considered. So this next top sentence, I think, really works. What experts look for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor, which may seem fr frustratingly imprecise for would-be collectors seeking a more concrete guidance. However, all of this makes sense when we approach jadeite jewellery, not as commodities, but rather as works of art, created by nature and shaped by human hands. I'm going to stop there. Because if we just consider it that way, and then I show you each and every single one of these, you'll, you'll agree with everything that we've just, uh, we've just read. Each of these are very limited. They are available on pre-orders and they are works of art. Created by Mother Nature, shaped by the finest pairs of hands. I'm going to start with <laughs> this computer's on a go slow. God, ah, oh, shall we? Yeah, we'll do the Goddess of Mercy first with nine dragons. That's Guan Ying, 
So you have nine dragons hand carved into, look at the wet, the wet surface area. It's not physically wet, mm. but can you see, should we count the dragons? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you see them. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's the pearl, by the way, which is good luck. And here is Guan Ying, the goddess of mercy. When we, I mean, single figure quantities of these available, um, natural type A, hand carving, the detail, look at the positioning of the hands, look at the tentacles mm -hmm. of the dragons. You know, the ferocity that you actually see um, in, their, in their amazing faces. Dragons, by the way, are very much a symbol of luck. I think, uh, I think we all know that within, um, within Chinese culture. And I know the number nine dragons in particular. Uh, Susie will be able to answer that question far uh, more. Uh, she's far more knowledgeable than I am. Now, are you ready? Um, they are drilled as well. So if I actually tilt it forward, you can see a very tr uh, clever drill hole position, which basically means that when you're actually looking at it from a bird's eye point of view um, it will actually disappear 290 carats of your goddess of mercy uh, guan ying again look at you can see that there's that translucency that we look for when it comes to your jadeite and then oh. if i draw the light back ever so slightly that's when you start really seeing the detail um, within this carving look at that it's just in uh, just incredible the robes look at the sash of a robe look at the eyelids Look at the tentacles of the dragon. Let's follow the light round. Again, there's your next dragon. And there's the large dragon which she's actually sat on. And then shall I flip it round? Bear with. I know it's, sorry, it's going to go dark a minute. There we go. Wow. Look at that. <gasps> Unbelievable. Oh, look. It's a huge carrot weight, all looking towards that lucky pearl, remember? We're under a thousand pounds. Look at the detailing of the scales of the nice dragon. As well, yeah. Just amazing, all hand carved. So again, just to go back to what uh, Sotheby's wrote, what experts look for in an ideal jadeite stone is a certain wow factor which may seem frustratingly imprecise for would-be collectors seeking a more concrete guide. However, all of this makes sense when we approach jadeite jewellery not as commodities, but rather as works of art created by nature and shaped by the human hand. These are absolute works of art. And they are rare. They are limited. We're going to take this under £500 for you all today. I say you all, it is certified again. You want that certificate of authenticity. I've only got single figure quantities remaining. Wow, £399. You know, we've had the, we've had the nine dragons before. We've had a single dragon. We've had Guan Ying, the, you know, the goddess of mercy separately. But to have all of that going on in one piece... Uh, it shows you the uh, shows you the scale of it, um, but all of that sentiment, all of that uh, mythological meaning and stories that go alongside every single one of your Type A Jadeite master carvings. Um, really? The, oh yes, I've just noticed there's a clock ticking away on your screen. That well, I love Jade. I, I, I know it was a gemstone that I have to say I grew to love. Mm. I always liked it, but it, that was it. I liked it. Now I love it. There's a big difference. Mm. Um, but you know, it, it, it's it's the story that goes behind every single one of your carvings. These works of art. You know, it is like a work of art. If you were to go to a gallery and there's a story behind each of those pictures, even if it's your interpretation, there are six left. No way near done. Should we half that price, Claire? Down to the last four. Gosh. 49 oh, wow. pounds and 99 pence only. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The detail. I'll, I'll, I'll never... This is one of the thickest as well that we've actually got, the biggest carrot weight. It's mesmerising, isn't it, the, the, the detail? You just, every time you look at it, you notice something else, something else. Just, and I can't get over the... I don't know how expressive... You know, there's a lot of the faces on the there, feet. aren't there? The feet. And they're all different. They're all, you know, they're 
their, their expressions are different. It's incredible. I've only just noticed that. You know, see, yeah, yeah they are, aren't they? Yeah. The scales yeah. and the skin and then the, the detail on the feet. Yeah. How awesome is that? How awesome. The, one of the, the luckiest, the most poignant symbol in Chinese culture is the dragon. And you have the nine of them in this piece, plus Guan Yin. There are, there's only one left. Oh my goodness me, sorry, I've just looked up and all of a sudden the quantity is gone. Make sure you do check out your basket. Obviously, this is not the kind of thing we'll go, ah, oh, yeah, can we have some more of those, please? They're all hand carved. So it's not something we can actually reorder. Now, um, uh, again, I love this next piece. It's absolutely beautiful and looks amazing under the torch, this one. Beautiful translucency. All these, available, uh, all these pieces are available on pre-order. Order. to have the phoenix and again the symbolism of the phoenix it's that uh, uh sort of journey if you like most of us have actually been through something through our lives and sort of come out the other side um so there are lots of uh, across different civilizations actually different meanings to the phoenix itself and then the dragon but to have the two of them perfectly and they're facing one another which i absolutely love look at that Beautiful translucency. Let me just bring the light back. The color of it as well. <gasps> Look at the ten, literally the tentacles. Just love this one. I have this one. Look, look, look. How, wow. The, bird, the, the feathers, or rather the wing of the phoenix, it's, it's not, I don't believe anyway, uh, on the surface raised. It's using the light and shade within the jadeite. It's amazing that that can be achieved. That's why we always put the torch behind it so you can actually see the artistry and skill to get that beautiful darkness, you know, and I'm looking at the bottom of the dragon right now, just so, you know, how his neck and then the snarl, if you like, um, at the top of his face and head. That's down to the light and shade, natural light and shade within your type A jade. It's a work of art. I only have a handful of these available, if we were to stop here, £499, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? It's not where we are stopping. How many do we have left of these? Nine. Oh, it's more than, well, I suppose, yeah, if they're single figures, at least it's the top, top number. Certified natural going straight down straight down to the deal don't forget you've also got jade uh, sorry grand digerite coming your way close out deals not too long to wait there's not a huge amount of those either given the fact that it is grand digerite you can get this home the symbolism of your beautiful phoenix and the dragon for a crazy 37 pounds and 25 pence you know if you go in and discuss i don't know a, a piece of impressionist art or um I'm not, I'm not great with my artists, but any of those uh, celebrated uh, uh, um, uh, artists that display their creations in a gallery, you're never going to go, I tell you, what, I'll give you 37 quid pounds today, and then can I pay you back like it over the, the course of the next four months? That's essentially what you're getting here. Artistry and also the value that goes alongside type A jadeite. The, the actual ca carving, I suppose, the actual image within, um, image is the wrong word, uh, the work of art within will speak to you. I do believe they choose mm. you. Have you got I a favourite? I, really, I love that. Um, I love that article. I really, I, I'm, I'm going to read that again because it's so... Accurate. Yeah, it is. It's um, so, so accurate. Mm. Which one? Uh, this means young love. Oh, I don't think I've seen I this, love this one. one. This is lovely. Some of you know that I have a jadeite carving that my mum actually bought when she was over in China. Um, and it's, I showed, showed Susie and it's got flowers at the one side and birds down the other side. And she said, oh, that's, uh, that's symbolic of love and in particular young love. I was like, I love it all the more now. <gasps> so you have the little bird, you oh, have the beautiful. peony flower. It is beautiful. Should make it even more beautiful. Yeah. Showing the translucency. Oh my word, look. There's the little bird. So the meaning behind this is love. A flower and a bird together. Stunning, look at the little droplet as well. Can you see that little droplet? Yeah. From the 
been perfectly fine. carved. That's how that is. And this area where the where the petal actually just here, I'm going to put my finger just there. Look, at the, look where the the, the petal actually mm. folds over. This detail is absolutely incredible. That work of art. I have single figure quantities. We're going to open the auction uh, and straight away, I'm going to show you the should be closing price. Should be closing price. £199. It's just madness. You wouldn't find jadeite at a triple figure price tag uh, in many places, anywhere near what we offer. And I'm not saying, I, I know I've shown you actually some master carvings. I think there was one, a, a, a sort of a, a black jadeite carving that was something like, uh, here it is, $830. It's a great price, I have to tell you. Type A, like yours, jadeite jade. Um, but we were actually saying, I can't decipher what's what on that carving, can you? Eight it's $830. We're at 199, but we are not even stopping there. I know precisely what this jade yeah, carving a finesse, is. It's a different style, isn't it? There's yep. a real finesse to this. It's still pretty. It's still pretty. I prefer the shape of this one as well. Look at this one. Black jade certified, like yours. 1,152 pounds. It's a dragon, but again, oh, I can see his head. I can see his head, it's in the middle. It's going towards the pearl on the side. I can. It's not 129 pounds though, that was two to 3,000 pounds. Sorry, how much was that, that, that one we showed? Sorry, 1,500 pounds. This one here that went to auction, granted it is from the Shang Dynasty. So this is very old. Two to 3,000 pounds. I mean, we make, we make type A jadeite carved by absolute master uh, artists, accessible, don't we, at £129. Mm -hmm. Well done to you, Middlesex, Suffolk. Well done to you, Worcestershire, London. I only had a single figure, uh, single figure quantity, so again, make sure you do check out those baskets to guarantee your success. Um, it's not something that we can go, oh, I liked that flower and bird carving, so we'll just get some more of mm -hmm. those. That's not how it works when it comes to jade eye. If you want a certain cut of a gemstone, yeah, we can do that. If you want a certain calibration, um, if you want a certain color I don't know of certain gems we can do that but we can't just go oh please can we have more um, of uh, you know this amazing design which incorporated the peony and the birds now um, next up we've got a beautiful rectangular like shape oh my goodness Claire look at this here <gasps> it's the detail it is it's absolutely mind-blowing I couldn't sketch that one. I don't think I could sketch it we're going to do it in what one price crash, did you say? There are only four. Look at that. Look at the detail here, just at the top there where I'm shining the torch, but I'll draw it back so you can see. Look at the scales. Again, look at the claws, the ferocity in his face. So let's go back to that type A jadeite dragon pendant that we just saw for $830. Can anybody else tell where the dragon is? Because I, I, you know, I generally don't know. You, can you see your dragon? Mm -hmm. Just two left. Under 100 pounds. Curls round. You know, even if you are, maybe, you know, the mythology and the stories, the history behind, uh, behind it doesn't interest you. A dragon tends to be one of those uh, creatures that literally bewitches us all. There is only one available. You can get this home again for £24.99 on your split pay. Um, love that. That one's got a real, uh, you know, a definite, it's definite amazing. ferocity behind it. Mm. Well done. Okay, one more type A master carving to bring you. Um, this is the tigress. The tiger is, well, solitary animal, and is also considered the, uh, the king of all beasts and the ultimate protector. So um, they are believed to sort of roam the mountains above and look after the communities below. Um, so in terms of, and that's not, again, not just Chinese culture, that's actually a few different cultures. Solitary animals, it is also the year of the tiger this year. 
This one is like literally the transparency on this one. It's oh it's so gemmy, unbelievable. The translucency. If I was to put my finger behind, look, oh you can see my gosh. finger. That's the translucency <gasps> of your jadeite. Look at that. There's the tiger literally perched on the side of the mountain. You've also got those flowers, can you see? On the side of another rock. This detail is absolutely unbelievable. Top quality type A jadeite here because you have that wonderful gemmy translucency. You know, and it does make a difference. So again, just to recap for those of you that have just tuned in, when it comes to jadeite, it's not the four C's of your diamonds or um, your colored stones. You look for uh, color, firstly. So um, green still is the most popular, although uh, history uh, moving forward, um, that might well be challenged. Uh, translucency, so that's why I'm showing you this. That's why we put the light behind um, to show off the actual translucency of the stone. Also the textures. Do you see how this almost looks like it's, it, it looks like ice, doesn't it? Literally looks like ice. So absolutely incredible, incredible quality. Um, and then of course the artistry um, in, this, in a sense of your sculptures and your It's carvings. absolutely genius, isn't it? Because you look at, when you look at that, if you feel like you're looking into that with such depth, like, and I know it's a bit, it's a big piece, but it looks like it's, it should just go on and on and on. Like yeah. The carving is incredible. It's not just a flat sketch, is it? It, it no. literally is two dimensional. Even if we were to stop here, that is an amazing deal. The prowess, the muscle definition, the ferocity, the meaning captured within your tiger, 499 pounds. Do you want this under a hundred pounds? How many do we have? Oh, this one, we've actually got 14 of. I've just noticed on the recording, you've got that little speck at the bottom by his paw. I've just got, yeah, it was surface. Yeah, I've just literally brushed it away. It was totally, surface. that's why I'm holding it at an angle there, Claire. So you can actually see the depth mm. and the detail within how high it actually stands within the carving. These aren't machine cut, these are literally done by hand. So every one will be ever so slightly different. Under a hundred pounds. Great gift maybe to somebody that you consider maybe the protector of your family. Mm. Um, I love it. You might want to incorporate this into something as, I, I, I know we're talking about one of the most valuable commodities on this planet, but how about on a key ring? It's, it's jadeite, so it's incredibly, incredibly durable. The final few, we had 14, but straight away Middlesex. Hello, Pauline, I can see you on the phone lines. New customer on the phone lines. Janet on the phone lines, and also Bristol and Jane. Um, well done. I love this. I mean, uh, you know, big, big, big carrot weight. Great way of actually sort of offering jadeite, I think, to, uh, not, well, not just the gents in our lives, but that's what I see. That's what I think of when I actually see this. I'd give this to Tom. You know, this is the kind of thing I would imagine he would love. Be like that. And that's, that would be his response. He'd be like, that's cool. That's really, really mm. cool. Hand carved. The bottom of his jawline. I mean, Claire, look at that. I, know, I can't yeah. sketch a tiger. Mm. It's They're really difficult to sketch. Mm. And then, and then when you're looking at it, that it, you know, it, it, you're getting all that movement, aren't you? You're getting that power from, from it. Look here. It's, uh, it is. It's mind-blowingly talented. It really is. Can you see how it almost looks like ice that's melting? Mm. That's yeah. top quality. Mm. It should literally look physically wet, Jade. Uh, or oh, jade out jade it should look like it has moisture on the surface well done jane pauline janet rupal you've got yours i've got london maker jane in suffolk you just got yours jane well done uh pauline you've got yours new customer janet in merseyside um i can see you on uh, you've got yours as well well done to you bristol i only had stay where you are london and you will be successful i only had 14 um yeah that's all we had. So there is still chances for you to get involved, uh, but it is very, very, very limited. The meaning behind the tiger itself, it is the year of the tiger. 
Um, Elegy Janice, I have this piece. It's so realistic and it's stunning. It is, isn't it? A real talking point. You know, when I, I had friends over a couple of weeks ago and I showed them a few of the jadeite carvings. And firstly, you know, they were they much like us all. We're learning about jadeite mm -hmm. as we go, aren't we? And uh, sort of like we then, but we were all sort of like googling different meanings behind the tiger, not just in Chinese culture, but actually across many different cultures. Um, thank you for your message, Jane. It is stunning, and congratulations to you, Dorothy and Durham. You've got yours well done. Uh, stay where you are on those phone lines. I've literally got one left. Literally one left. We won't see this one again. You can't just reorder them. That's not how it works. It's not how it works. We can't just go, can I have some more of the tiger? That's, no. Because they're literally created by hand. Well done. Now, I've got one. Have I not got it here? Okay. <gasps> 60 carats. Two things, firstly. It's the high oh. goo. Should we do a closeout deal? Because there's only eight. Wow. And the flowers. The flowers of love. Mm. What a nice wedding gift this would that be. That is stunning, isn't or it? Or anniversary. Yeah, yeah. You can easily set a gemstone in the centre. We're going to do this in one price crash. I'm not going to bother referring to the high goos on PowerPoints that we've seen before, or I'm not going to bother going to Roland Schlusso's stall where he had high goos for however many, you know, fortunes, literally fortunes. You know that 49.99 is ridiculous. One price crash, gone straight down to it. 60 carats of Taipei. You know, high goos, uh, it, again, the meanings of the high goo. Uh, Jade translates to heaven in Chinese. That's what it means. The high goo is that uh, continuation of life after death. So um, in, in Chinese culture, what they used to do is place the high goo on the chest and waist of deceased loved ones. And they believe that gave them that uh, continued an Im immortality, if you like, and also uh, kept you connected, kept you uh, connected to the people uh, still on earth. So loads of meaning behind the haigu. And then to have the carving of your flowers inside as well. Um, so symbolic. Well, like I said, I, I, I could show you all the car PowerPoints. We all know 49.99 is not a price that we should ever be seeing for any, any even a small cabochon or a, si a single bead. Mm. Well done, Lucy, Zoe, Cumbria, Michelle. Hello to you, Stirlingshire, Tracy, Lincolnshire. Uh, Celia, you're there, new customer, you're there. I didn't have many of these, so well done to those of you that have been successful. Still to come. <clears throat> oh, my voice went funny then. Still to come, we have got close out deals on Grand Digirite. A sentence that should never be constructed, both with Jedi and Grand Digirite, quite frankly. Because, you know, the King's the Jewelers article that I showed you just there that said, you know, jadeite, most expensive gemstone, number one. Grand Digirite is another that absolutely firmly slots in the top 10 rarest gemstones. Also, the most expensive gemstones on this planet. Shall I bring those over? Will that help you out? So here's a gemstone that only ever forms in very, very, very small pockets, I suppose. Um, unlike uh, jadeite that you just saw, which generally forms in boulders, grand digirite forms in tiny little clusters. Um, it was discovered at the early of the 19th century and named after French mi mineralogist and explorer Alfred Grandidier. I can literally refer to my book for the time being. Here we go. Um, yes, here we go. What is Grand Digirite? Because I'm, I'm very well aware that, yes, we've got regular viewers who know a lot about gemstones, but not everybody does. Um, and it's really important that we sort of share this knowledge that we all have. So what is Grand Digirite? Firstly, no, you won't find it on the high street. Highly, highly, highly unlikely. And you're very unlikely to actually find it um, either at auction houses. This is, there are 4,000 minerals on this planet. This is one of the top 10 rarest. Um, Grand Digirite, so meaning, values, and facts about this rare gemstone. This was written in 2020, so relatively recent. An exotic gemstone with a rich history, Grand Digirite, may not be a name that you're familiar with, but you should be, they say. I like, the, I like how direct they are in this article. 
Grand Didierite stones were first discovered in 1902 in the southern parts of Madagascar. The stone comprises of rare minerals as, and is named after uh, Alfred Grandier, Grandadier. Sorry. Uh, Grandadier was a French explorer well known for his work and studies uh, of the natural history of Madagascar. So it's a fitting tribute. Can you imagine that, having one of the world's rarest gemstones named after you? Yeah, a very fitting tribute. Um, but what is it? So it's not only a gemstone, it's also one of the rarest minerals on planet. The original discovery of Grand Digerite stones happened in a small uh, pegmatite outcrop in the cliffs of Andra Homana in Madagascar. However, since its initial discovery, it's also been found in small batches in various parts of the world throughout different continents. However, don't let that mislead you. Small is the key word. Very, very, very small pockets. Um, Grand did you write that's of high enough gem quality? Oh, that's been cut out from the previous paragraph, sorry. Um, the more iron these stones contain, the bluer they appear in colour. There are also, uh, they are also known for displaying strong, strong triachroic pleochroism. This means that they have the ability to reflect three colors depending on the angle that they are viewed. I think most of us understand what triachroism is. Uh, tans light is heavily triachroic, so it's not just blue. You will see different flashes of colors uh, blending through as well. What's it made of? Now this is where it starts to get a little bit too gemmy, but let me just, let me just put it in simple terms. Grand Digerite's makeup, if you like, uh, is, is all uh, about elements that really ever form together. So magnesium, uh, aluminium, uh, bor oh, I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Borosilicate, which makes its hardness compar comparable to that of your garnet, uh, to garnets. These are elements that really ever form together. Add to that chromium, which intensifies the colour. That's why Grand Digerite is very rarely ever formed. And it is quite literally a miracle of nature. It's thought that Grand Digerite gemstones are formed and found in pegmatite rocks. These rocks are formed by molten rock or magma bubbling up from below the Earth's crust to the surface. While southern Madagascar is the world's main source of Grand Digerite, it's proven to be almost impossible to find stones that are in other areas of the world. Madagascar just take this in a minute, remains the only location that has produced Grand Digerite of gemstone quality. Does it still remain the only location to produce Grand Digerite of quality? No, because Madagascar isn't unearthing this gemstone anymore. It is completely mined out across the entirety of the world. So since this article was written in 2020, all Madagascan mines are closed. And yet we're about to bring you a very limited, very special, very collectible uh, showcase of different cuts. You're not necessarily looking for the perfect eye clean. If they were eye clean, you'd, you'd have to part with a few million pounds. Um, it is a gemstone that is expected to have a level of opacity. We have the most amazing showcase to bring you in rounds, ovals, uh, and, and also these beautiful drops. I, uh, briolettes, let's be honest, these are briolette cards. You know, it, it's, it's not just a flat drop, they're actually 360 degrees. Again, expect there to be a level of, uh, of opacity to them. But again, that quality of blue is what ultimately drives the price per carat upwards. Nowhere else on this planet we can actually get Grand, grand Digerite from. It was once upon a time, little different pockets, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying ever, you never know, you might stumble across uh, um, not us personally, but um, ex gem hunters might stumble across little pockets where that geological condition has actually happened. But right now, there is no particular Grand Digerite mine. We are going to do close out deals from the country of discovery and the last remaining mine. Prices like you have never, ever, ever seen. Look at the quality of that Grand Digerite. Can, when Ross said it's, uh, the colour is amazing, I completely agree. I mean, it's a gorgeous cut, isn't it, as well? But the, the colour on that strand is incredible. Yeah, I want this strand. It's lovely. Claire, you brought some um, beautiful ju Grand Digerite jewellery in. Can you imagine if you could, see so with the rounds, but then if you put the, um, if you put one of the drops at the bottom, yes, that would be 
just one. Just finish it off, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Bubble style, yes. Forty nine yeah. ninety nine. <sighs> yeah. Ross, Ross, you've got to prepare me for prices like that. When we launched Grand Didierite, wasn't it about five hundred pounds? Way more. What? How? You've got to warn me with forty nine ninety nine mm -hmm. now. That's mad. There's one left. There is one left. That's how quickly the quantity has gone. Well done, collectors. Now, uh, that design, mm. Briolette drops, two millimetres. When you've got, again, when you've got the content, the, uh, the, the quality of Grand Digirite, it doesn't matter. Two, two to three millimetres in most gemstones, it might, or not most, some gemstones, it might lose that intensity. Not with Grand Didierite. Look how amazing they are together. Two millimetres in their size, completely and utterly natural. Do you know, I, I can't remember, it was a round, brilliant cutter, a Grand Didierite of, um, of transparency that sold, wasn't it for something, well, it was millions. One of the most expensive pieces that's ever been uh, auctioned, 2.7, uh, 0.27 carats. Wow. So we're talking tiny, mm. tiny, tiny carat weights for absolute fortunes. Again, you can get hold of this today. Close out deals. This one's sold out, I think. It's gone. It's got that ombre. Oh. It's perfect. Oh. It's an absolute perfection. You don't have to take my word for it. Look here. eBay. Get high-end gemstones on eBay. Grand Digirite, beautiful colour. It's a bit, it's a bit too green, to be honest. Most people would prefer it towards the blue. One thousand six hundred and forty-nine dollars. That's not bad. It's in silver, though. We have never, clearly, never, ever, ever been as low as twenty-nine ninety-nine. Look at the range of colour there. That's so wonderful, isn't it? That tone. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. That would be the chain to actually hold. Mm. At these kind of prices, that could, you could have a full three. I think, yeah, like this one here, chain. isn't it? Look at that, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it's yes, that, yeah, it is, it is that, that strand, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, Anne and Sue strike again. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Gorgeous. A full grand digirite beaded necklace. Can you imagine that? Next, faceted rondelles in grand digirite. <gasps> Gonna go up to the neckline. Look at that. Look at that colour, even from a distance. Totally natural. We should expect there to be uh, um, opacity, as I said. You can get completely transparent grandid, right? You can, really. Um, but you're gonna have to part with a few million pounds. Clo I can't say close out deals. I feel, frankly, I, I feel like it's insulting grandid, right? <laughs> Here's a gemstone that was always in the top 10 rarest and also top 10 most expensive. What do you think it's going to be now? Wasn't it number four on the Forbes list? But it's gone up. It must have gone up because the mining's closed. The carat weight on this, 28 carats. I love jewelry maker, but sometimes I'm like, this is just wrong. Just wrong. Number three on the Forbes list. There you go. Price per carat. That's the most expensive, as in price per carat gemstones, the top 10 most expensive. Grand Digirite, number three, $20,000 per carat. Is that gemstone or is that photograph perfectly eye clean? No, not at all. Still worth $20,000 per carat. £29.99. And I don't know, I will do this actually a little bit. Rarity number four um, um, on the list. I, again, I think that's changed though, Ross. It's got to have changed. Because, do you know, I need, I'm kicking myself for not looking actually. Um, because like I said, that Madagascan deposit is now gone. Discovered in 2014. We're in, what, 2022. Gone. It's gone. You can get 9 99 I don't know what else to do other than laugh at that. Nine ninety nine, and it's something so beautiful as well, it's isn't so it? It's a it, you know without even really knowing what it is, the, the colour is like nothing else. Yeah, I totally agree. It is really unique. Well, you think let's talk about teal as a whole, mm. Mm. teal gemstones yeah. as a whole. There's very few natural teal gemstones out there. London blue topaz treated, still lovely. Don't get me wrong. Indicolite. 
Yeah, very expensive. Can you think of another indic uh, another uh, another gemstone that's got this colour? Yeah, Paraba maybe. Look at the prices that they are per carat. You do struggle, yeah. It's one of the rarest colours. I love this next one. Oh, I l there's something about a smooth rondelle. Mm. Wow. That intensity of colour. Yeah, that's amazing. look at this one just here. Can you see? Look at that amazing translucency. That's incredible. <gasps> 28 carats. Look at that clarity that you're getting. Wow. Not a single facet <gasps> to hide any flaws. And we didn't need them. You've got that quality of colour. How many do I have available of these? 40 available. Should we take it to a brand new low price? Maybe you've looked at Grand Digerite in the past and you've always thought, love it, but unfortunately maybe it's not within budget. Hopefully we can change that for you today. This is a big carrot weight. It's a long strand. You know, the days of us bringing Grand Digerite and, and Praeba, I remember us do, first doing Praeba, there was like literally a few different rough wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Pieces, slices yeah. that yeah. were probably about a couple of inches in Whereas there. Whereas these, isn't it? Different techniques, with the, you know, maybe you're going to use them um, with, with spacers or you could maybe not if it's on a fine uh, fine silk. You know, you've got like full full necklaces, haven't you? It's depending on what, what sort of style you're going to do, you know, suites of jewellery as well. £14.99 pence only. It's a lowest ever price tag for you all. I didn't have many of them. Lots of collectors getting involved. To say that, I mean, I've bought Grand Didgerite. I've done absolutely nothing with it, Claire. It's, it, 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 you know, it's in... The idea is that when... I might make something moving mm. forward, but it's there for my girls to mm. actually own because they they're not going to be able to purchase grand digerite at 29.99 we shouldn't be able to purchase grand digerite at 29.99 uh, this is the only smooth rondelle strand that we actually have um, available. You've got that really beautiful uh, ombre effect. Great to go alongside some of the drop strands that I've got coming up as well. Um, but again, limited. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, next. Oh, the only tumbles. I can't believe we described that. It's so it's so it's so it's, JM, it's, isn't it? Let's look at the sizes of them as well, though, isn't it? They're grand, did you right? Tumbles. Tumbles. <laughs> <laughs> Only a jewelry maker, don't you think? Can you imagine, like Bonhams or Christie's going? Oh, it's, yeah, one of the world's rarest gemstones. So, and you've got a lovely teal-like colour. Um, each of them really standalone solitaires. Let's call them tumbles. Just wouldn't happen. Um, how many do I have? Got a big quantity. They have been on uh, on air once, sold out. Uh, we managed to reorder them, but that's it. And by the way, when we say reorder them, this was hap this happened a while ago because I know also a conversation with uh, Wayne. He actually said none of these are on reorder, right? He can't get hold of Grand Digerite right, right now. <gasps> Nil poi. I knew you were in the gallery. Oh, I'm just really, <laughs> really drawn to that. that You're drawn one. to that one? Oh, yeah. I would ta I'd take that out. I would take that um, and work with... Um, well, gallery wire, and, okay. Yeah, gallery wire or your bezel strip. And, yeah, that is, is incredible. Literally it's just use the one on, on, on gallery wire. That's a massive mm, Grand Digerite mm. stone. Yeah. Again, go back to that piece of jewellery that we, we saw on eBay, didn't we? And that was like a cabochon, wasn't it? One single stone set in 925 sterling silver, which is actually very unusual when it comes to... Uh, there it is there, um, in Grand Digerite. So seven carats, natural Grand Digerite, in 925 sterling silver, and then it's USA sizes. $1,649. I, I, I don't know what the current conversion rate is, but look, it's got opacity. It's got that really beautiful teal colour. Now, let me just do this for for you all and imagine that one stone as a solitaire yeah it's really beautiful absolutely beautiful it is isn't it yeah beautiful 49.99 or you can buy the ring with sterling silver very simply set for 1600 pounds on ebay look at that oh <gasps> The next price point is not even where we are closing. I don't get it. I don't get it. 
actually, do you know, I, and I feel uncomfortable with this that's going on because we can't get, we, we've been very transparent. We can't get hold of Grand Digirite. It is completely mined out, unless, of course, very small pockets actually pop up here, there, and ever, uh, there, here, there, or anywhere, which is very highly, highly unlikely. We shouldn't be in a double figure price tag. This is the auction, says Ross. If ever you've wanted to own Grand Digirite, that's crazy. And with a... I know. I, this actually makes me feel uncomfortable. Mm. Wayne? He's gone. Okay. We asked Wayne, actually. Have you got any Grand Digirite on order? No. Can't get it. Well, no, correction, he can get it, it's just too expensive. So we're priced out. That is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Is this your favourite strand? I think it is, actually, yeah. Because you're seeing so much of the colour. Claire, the fact that we've got split pay on this, you mm. know that we shouldn't mm. have split pay for anything less than £50. This is a strand that should always be three figures. If you want one grand digirite opportunity for you to get involved with... Ross is saying this is the one because it's going even lower. If you've ever aspired to own this beautiful gemstone, but it's been out of budget. $24.99. It actually makes me nervous. It's in the top 10 rarest gemstones. And they're big, you know, aren't they? Even if, even if you took, even if you took the smallest. Yeah. And you had that, I mean, I'd, I'd turn it portrait as a ring, but that, you know... Use your gallery wire. You could use your gallery wire, you could, you could prong set, but I mean, you've got a drill hole, so, you know, if you're a, if you're a wire worker, mm -hmm. you know, you, you can absolutely do that, but that's, that's the smallest. Again, Claire, Claire, going back to what we said earlier on, and I, I'm kicking myself now for not actually uh, sort of taking it, um, including it in the, in the PowerPoint. Ross, there was it's 0.27 carat eye clean grand digirite that was sold and purchased at auction. And I just want to share the price that it was. It was eye clean, okay, completely and utterly eye clean, but also 0.27 carats. Um, and ugh, it was astronomically expensive. £24.99. Do you know, it makes me nervous because also I have to come, I have to step out of this studio. I have to literally go, go and see my colleagues on Gemporia. I have to sort of, I, I'll see the MDs. I'll see, I'll see Scott and I'll see Colin. And I know that this TV screen's on behind their desks right now. Do you think I can justify £24.99 <laughs> for Grand Digirite? You know, they, 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 they know their gemstones. Ross, have you got authority to do this? Yes. <laughs> That's incredible. I mean, look at you take. And there's more on to the, come. He says pin, on the head pin and yep. earrings. I mean, look, you've got a perfect matching pair there. Yes. I mean, that's you know, sizable a sizable stone, isn't it? You're not even looking madness. At the, you know, the biggest ones on the strand. There's more to come. Oh my goodness, faceted drops. Oh I, my goodness, have I got this? Things are about to get crazy, says Ross, as if it's not crazy already, as if it's not. <laughs> Dial in early, if you, I've got faceted drops, I've got smooth drops still to bring you, I have got round, look at that color, even from that distance. One of the world's rarest colors oh, in any lovely. gemstone is teal. And actually of mother nature, you know. Um, they're beautiful and they're huge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen solitaires. That's stunning. I just, I take if you've got any of the rondelle strands, I'd take the, and take out the spaces and then just have it so it'd be all wear it like that. Yeah, yeah, because you've got that incredible graduation, haven't you? It just again, looks so lovely on the. You're going to wear it because you're your best advertisement, and someone will say, Oh, I love your mm, necklace. Mm. What gemstone's that? Oh, it's Grand Digirite. Chances are they won't know what Grand Digirite is, and you can go, Well, actually, this is one of the world's rarest gemstones that exist. But my dad, years ago, I can remember him, I was talking about Parade Batormley in actual fact, and, and he actually went, Yeah, but it's not one of the rarest, is it? Most valuable. And I was like, Pardon? I was really surprised because my dad was, he's, you know, he's a, he was educated on the gemstones and things like that, but um, he was like, well, no, the big five are the rarest and most valuable. I was like, no, definitely not. 
Not the case, that's all marketing. Mm. This is one of the world's rarest and certainly one of the most valuable. And here we are at 24 pounds and 99 pence. How many did I count? Should I count them again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 solitaires. It's just over a pound each. It really does, it just draws you in, doesn't it? Like a now, or like a, that is that large one in the, in the middle. I don't know, look at that. Mm, Small. Mm. But then, then I'm looking at this, this one here, yeah. I don't agree with this showcase. Gosh, because there's so, I love that we bring our customers the best possible deals, I really do. But then we take it just that little step too far, don't mm. we? We're like that, that really excitable child that just takes it that little bit too far. Gran, did you write under 20 pounds? Uh, you don't have to take my word for it. Have a look, research. Most the rarest gemstones on this planet. I wonder if we can do that live. It, Grand Digirite will be literally in the top 10. Under 20 pounds. Madness, madness, madness. Smooth drops coming up next. Don't worry, your masterclass is coming. Um, oh, it's actually that. one big kit, one big kit, and then we've got Claire with all the demonstrations. So is there a piece of jewelry? I think that's that one, isn't it? So lovely. Oh, that is good. I love a smooth dress. Mm. I like, I, with Grand Digi right in particular, I really like it without facets. I think it looks really beautiful. Again, look at the kind of creations that you can make, like our lovely Anne and Sue. Beautiful graduation. No, are they literally just spaced? Yeah. Yeah. Few of your precious metal spacer beads dotted in between. Should we just say it? How many do we have? Got quantity. Should we just say it fast and hope that's it? <laughs> I hope that makes us feel a little bit better. It's going to go under what? Twenty pounds. Just again for the benefit, just for the benefit of people that maybe have just tuned in. Do you think Grand Digirite has just popped up somewhere else on this planet? Do you think it's been found another another location like Madagascar? No, the, and that mine is closed. There is no Madagascar. There is no Grand Digirite coming out of the ground as we speak. And then we just kind of ignore all of that and say twenty pounds or, or I tell you what, a tenner on split pay. I have quantity. If you want to recreate um, the amazing Anne and Sue's beautiful graduated necklace, um, then here's your chance. I love the, the, the wonderful little worlds, the areas mm. and stories that you see within Grand Digirite. Um, it is a little bit like, you know, when you look into the, uh, a window opal and you've got yes, almost like takes, dimensions. It transports you, doesn't it? Yeah, somewhere, completely somewhere else. That one there yeah. literally looks like you, you could almost dive mm. into your Grand Digirite. Under 20 pounds, well done. I have one more strand to bring you. Is that right? One more strand. This is the only Grand Digirite rounds that we have in the business. Graduated. And I'm guaranteeing it to you under 20 pounds. I don't know how we're doing it. I, I, I don't know. Again, it just makes sense to me why lots of the big, the big names don't like us that much. Yeah. Not all of them, granted. You wouldn't buy, I wouldn't expect to pay Grand Digirite, uh, 20 pounds for a Grand Digirite single nugget. This, the rounds I think would look lovely and um, I'd maybe be thinking about putting them with some, you know, when we do the lovely round pearls. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, no, 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 Ross, no. Can I just, hang on a second. It's the last strand that we have in Grand Digirite. You didn't tell me this, did you? No? Do you see anywhere? Do you see anywhere on that sheet? I want to show you just because it lets the cat out of the bag for the next hour. But yeah, do you see anywhere on that sheet anything less than what's on your screens right now? No. It's just doing its own thing, isn't it? Ross? Ross? He says it's only a little crash, but it's a crash all the same. 
It's grand, did you right though? It could have zeros at the in end rounds. of that. In rounds. In rounds, yeah, exactly. I don't know what to say other than we'd be absolutely mad not to get involved. You've got beautiful translucency. You've got completely and utterly natural colour. Gorgeous graduation. So usable as a jewellery maker. Mm. So you said alongside pearls? Yes, yeah, yeah. And I was thinking with all the others, I'd just leave, I'd, I'd leave it, you know, I don't think I'd necessarily put them with something else, but I think with the rounds I would. That's lovely, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, get some of your, your, your fine quality pearls and, and just... I don't know, reconfigure it. Use them as little spaces, decorative spaces in between your fine quality Beautiful. pearls. Your yeah. Akoyas yeah. or the South Sea. Yeah, the South, yeah, the strand that we had earlier would be lovely, wouldn't it? Beautiful. £17.99 pence only. What? I don't, madness, I know. It's one of those things that later on this evening we'll go to, what do we do? What, what, did we just take Grand Digerite to literally £20? It's, it's just crazy, I know. And I don't think it will ever sink in with me. Make sure you are checking out those baskets, everybody. Um, I have one solitaire to bring you that is going to blow oh your mind. Blow your mind. Certified, round, brilliant cut. I know. Okay, I'm going to show you because <gasps> I know. It's madness, this is. Can I put it in the tweezers a second? Because this is unbelievable. It's that perfect teal colour, comes with a certificate of authenticity, which will obviously say that it's natural, completely, non-enhanced, from the original location of discovery, Madagascar, no longer actually unearthing uh, Grand Digerite. Oh so firstly, word. what are you taking this to, Ross? Just so I can, pardon? Amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you the certificate first. Here it is. 6.4 carats of a 12 millimeter grand digerite. You know, we always say, I have to be careful what words I use, but I buy gemstones for my girls because I know that, look, they'll be able to get diamonds. They'll be able to get mm. sapphires, mm. Yeah. certain varieties of sapphires. They'll be able to get all the gemstones out there. What I know they won't be able to get, or highly unlikely anyway, is a oh. grand digerite of that size. It is a giant. In fact, it's the biggest that I have ever, ever, ever seen. And I'm gonna hold it on the back of the hand so you can imagine it in a solitaire stone. Oh my gosh. Six of these are available. What? Six? Wow, look at that. What's the average carat weight of Grand Digerite, just out of curiosity? I don't actually know. I mean, it's going to be tiny, I should imagine. That's amazing, isn't it? I knew you'd love this one. Again, there's the round, brilliant cut. There's a pavilion, you can see. It's an absolutely huge solitaire. Six and a half carats, really. Certified natural. Six and a half carats. There's five left. Have you ever seen a Madagascar of this, uh, uh, sorry, Grand Digerite of this size? Never. Can you imagine that? Look, we're about three meters apart right now. Can you see the, can you see the incredible hot rock that I'm holding against the hand right now? Which do you think is more valuable on, on my hand right now? Is it the diamonds or is it the Grand Digerite? Well, diamonds aren't in the top 10 most expensive gemstone price per carat. Grand Digerite is. You can get this home on split pay. 6.4 carats, natural certified Grand Digerite from the original location of source. We have got Lincolnshire, Argyll and Butte and Cumbria there. And we're still no way near. Split pay is going to be ridiculous. It's all been ridiculous, frankly. This whole, this whole showcase has been ridiculous. I don't know how to describe it other than ridiculous. Oh. Ah. Uh, 149 pounds. 149 pounds. I can't take my eyes off it. 
It's absolutely huge. We've all worked in with gemstones for many years, many, many years. Claire, have you ever seen over, uh, over six carats in a grand digerite? Never, never. No, no, no. Ross, how long have you worked with gemstones? 10 years. Have you ever seen a six carat grand digerite in one solitaire? Adam? Never. No, I haven't either. We have three of them left now. You can get this home for just £74.50 on your two monthly split pays, £149 for that one big statement solitaire. Um, now I have one final, is this our final grand digerite? The last grand digerite and then we'll be stepping into your masterclass. There is only one kit in this masterclass, so don't you worry. And then uh, literally, all eyes on you, Claire. All eyes on you. Now this is, oh, can we go back to that picture, the Forbes one? You know, the Forbes, only because it's the same cut. It's an octagon cut. And whilst there might be a variation on colour, it also shows, here we go. Oh, my goodness me. Also, the, that is unbelievable. I want this. Absolutely um what's it going to, Ross? Have we got quantity? I mean that's a daft question. That's me I should tell myself off for that question. It's grand, did you right? Of course we've not got quantity. Are you ready? This would be uh, this would be like a, a Lorique piece of jewellery on our sister channel. A one of a kind piece of oh. jewellery. And if straight away you're thinking like, like I would, well, that's me priced out then. No, because we're actually going to make this perfect three carat octagon grand digerite. Ah, you're oh recording, Adam. That's now look at Forbes. Look at this one. Look at Adam's recording of the one I'm holding here in the studio. It's actually better. There's no big black mark. Yeah, you've got patterning within. That should be expected of Grand Digerite. Now look at Forbes. Now look at ours. Or yours, I should say. This is madness. I want to join you on this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And it'll literally just go into uh, um, under lock and key. I have no idea what wow. I'm doing with it. Do you ever think that you were going to regret a decision? I think, I think that uh, this has got to be something that we will regret at some point. <laughs> there has to be consequences, and that is one of those consequences. Look at the quality of the colour that you are getting here with this Grand Digerite solid. More to the fact that it is literally three carrots on the nose. Three carats on the nose. So, for example, if you look at a one carat diamond and say a 90 point diamond, you would barely see the difference, if at all. Um, you pay a massive premium for a one carat diamond because it is a carat. Same with two carats, same with three carats. If it's on the nose, we pay a premium for it. 39 pounds and 99 pence only. For certified natural, Grand Digerite, could just again, can we show you the Forbes Grand Digerite, the one they photographed as, you know, number Look three on the most <sighs> expensive gemstones out there. Again, you know, if ever you thought we brought inferior stones and made comparisons, because I've had, I've actually had someone say this to me before, and, I, and it was literally me, so I'm, I'm okay with sharing this. Somebody said, right, okay, yeah, but Elle, you're making comparisons to gemstones that are far better than the ones you have here at Jewelry Maker, are we? Are we actually? Because I actually think ours is better mm, than the Grand mm. than the Forbes. Mm. I had uh, not enough to go around. There's loads of you there. Keep That's dialing amazing. through. Keep yeah. dialing through. Okay, coming up, the most amazing masterclass with Claire. Uh, these kits guaranteed will sell out. Beautiful carvings, Claire. Yes, they are. Um, they absolutely really are. love these. So all about lovely shell um, and wire work. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you check out your baskets. We'll be back after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? 
Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. <music> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's my birthday and Jewelry Makers, my birthday present to you is going to be a show jam-packed full of amazing birthday treats. We're going to be taking loads of gorgeous items, some of your most luxurious, to brand new low prices, including master carvings of Type A Burmese Jadeite, including your beautiful, genuine gemstones, Van Cleef inspired collections, and so much more. I hope you can tune in. That's this Thursday. Tune in bright and early at eight o'clock for my birthday show. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. you <laughs> i need to focus now yes Ooh. i know claire focus <laughs> this kit is absolutely beautiful oh it's lovely i it, love it i feel it. like it's it's like um old school jewelry maker it but is. with improvements if that makes sense yes yeah totally we're gonna put the graphics live because i know loads of you will have already been uh, you know captivated by the wonderful wonderful jewelry um and i know that there's Oh, no. There's only 78. Oh, gosh. I thought there was like 178, but there's, there's not. So you don't just get one of those carved flyer, uh, flowers, petals, whatever. You actually get five of them. Um, or they're like, uh, they're described as a maple leaf shape. Look at how beautiful these are. They're amazing, aren't oh, they? I can't get my head around how... Right, shell is brittle, right? 
We know that, don't we? It's very fragile. So then to actually be able to polish it and, uh, and carve details into mm. a shell, probably above other gemstones, I find even more fascinating. Five of these beautiful yeah, hand-carved shells, which do have the drill holes as well. So you could wear them as literally individual pendants. They are stunning. And even on the underside, look at that. Beautiful mother of pearl iridescence. This is the kind of material that you see on Rolex watches. Rolex use shell. Because it's, I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. I and mean, when you look at it, and it's the colours that you're getting in there, and the and, and it's it, the kit has been put together so beautifully because you've got, you know, in the in the in the rounds that you've got, those are the colours that almost that ombre effect oh. going through going through the larger shell. It's absolutely beautiful, this kit. I wish I had more. I really do. I imagine Stunning, it's these it? carvings that have made it a little bit more limited. And mm. they are, they're, there is slightly different sizes. Plus, then you're getting these... What, are they described as curled or something like that? So you've got these wonderful, almost like petals. They're like little petals, aren't they? Um, of iridescence. So they're described as fancy. Okay, um, but they're like little, little little petals that kind of curl. Beautiful. I prefer that description. You've actually got sort of mother of pearl uh, iridescence petal pearls. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I've the... used them as. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I've oh. Sort of layered out the um, with the larger ones. So you, yeah, I've used used them as both. I know. I know. <laughs> Nobody mentioned there was a meter. Yeah. I think this is actually maybe one of the biggest biggest kits I've had times two yeah two meters and I agree Claire it's like they've perfectly perfectly picked out the colors that are in within those, yeah within those petals yeah. I'm gonna lay them across the top as well oh this kit is beautiful it's lovely isn't it look at that absolutely <sighs> beautiful and of course, you need your wire. That is silver plated, silver plated wire um, in a 0.4 millimeters. Um, anybody that has any questions, and you've probably be, you've all probably seen the pieces that Claire uploaded to social media. As soon as I saw it, I was like, "Ooh, that's beautiful." Under fifty pounds. We're not stopping there. One of those carvings should be fifty pounds. Mm, lovely. But again, yeah, all the work that's in there. Yeah. Look at that, literally curled to actually incorporate, cutting something that is naturally curved mm. in 50 seconds. Remember, I've only got 78 of these available. So um, dial through as soon as you possibly can. Claire, that's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. And it's nice to see you going back to wire work as well. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I love, I love wire work and there's, all, there's a lot you can do with it. Um, absolutely a lot you can do with it. We, how we've missed your wire work. Ah, beautiful weaving. Thank you. Going it's just—it's a lovely. It's a lovely. Um, uh, yeah, weaving, weaving, and wire work is a lovely. Is a lovely way of, of, of making jewelry. It really is. Well, is really that really what really. started you on your jewelry making journey? Wire work. Yes. Was it? Yes. Uh, do you remember I used to do um, not so much the weaving. I used to do more sculpt little tiny um, men. <laughs> do you remember the little tiny, <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny men? <laughs> Uh, and then I thought, yeah, uh, went to wire I don't, work. I don't know what <laughs> I mean. you mean. <laughs> what, little wire work men? Were they little wire work men? They were men? little wire work men. Okay. They were tiny wire work men. Okay. I have made Why them did they the have to be tiny? I like <laughs> tiny things. <laughs> uh, I actually I filmed myself making a, a tiny man and, that, and sent, sent it in. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. And that's how you became a guest designer? Yeah, so I filmed myself, so I'd made a group of <laughs> tiny men here. She's good. Look at this lady. Look at her. Look at her. Tiny men here <laughs> and one tiny man here. I and didn't, I put, how have I learned in this story now? And I put, um, I put like, that. this was jewellery maker and this was me. And then I put me into jewellery maker. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. In particular, tiny men, though. Yeah. 34.99. This kit's super duper duper limited, and it comes with five of those beautiful, beautiful shell um, curved shells. They are very much. If I just put it down for one second, if we look at this, is one of the smallest of the um, of the petals. Look, you've got 
like a natural maple leaf or something like that, you've got that really beautiful thickness and how it undulates, the it, fragility. It's the, it's the ombre as well, isn't it? Can I, can I, if I just bring this one in? So you're seeing there, so just to give you an idea of how much you're getting, because I've obviously folded this over. Mm. So this is, this is really, really long oh, just amazing. to get that. So you can absolutely double that. Double that up. Sorry if I hold it against there. Sorry, I'm not making that very clear. Um, but you can see just how much you're getting there. Gosh, masterclass that keeps on giving. So, well, so many, so many pieces you're going to get out of that. You, know, you could just literally put that on a chain, yes, couldn't you? Yeah, and we had yeah, that yeah. five metre length earlier on, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Claire, Stunning. what are you going to demonstrate? So, I thought I'd show you a couple of things. I'd show you, um, I'll, I'll show you how to, if you're going to, if you want to do maybe. Um, you can use the drill hole, absolutely, and you can get your, your wire or your thread through. Um, but I thought if you maybe you wanted to have a go at um, so using some of your wire, if you've got some structural wire as well. Oh, yeah. And you wanted to maybe um, have a feature, but maybe have them all the way around so you can prong set. And you can absolutely, because we're going to follow quite an irregular shape, um, you can do the same techniques with, um, you know, any of the, uh, the stones that you're working with or cabochons, faceted stones. So we'll do that prong, that prong setting. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, perfect. Prong setting, Ruth. How beautiful. So let's have a look. I mean, they could be just like a brooch, couldn't they? Well, yeah, I thought so, because they are they're a beautiful shape, aren't they? So if you, you know, if you wanted to, um, it just it just gives you the option there. OK, so if I show you the, the stages that we're, we're going to um, we're going to make and then and then we'll go through um, each one. So what we're going to do is going to make um, uh, the setting ourselves so that we can then turn the prongs and secure um, uh, whatever it is that we want. So this, the, you know, I'm using the leaf now, um, the shell leaf. We, we could absolutely do this with, with cabochons or uh, faceted stones as well, but it might be quite nice so, so you can see how we're going to follow um, different shapes. And we're also going to make it so that um, we have this as a, as a connector. So that if you're looking at the um, you're looking at the piece itself, um, what what I wanted to have was I wanted to have the the setting for um, for the shell, and then I wanted the connector. So all in one, and we're going to create the uh, create the wire work for it. Okay, so my starting point um, is going to be, and I'm going to use uh, my chain nose pliers, uh, round nose pliers, my cutters, um, and I might actually use, depending on um, the shape of the piece, we might actually use uh, mandrels to form some of the, the curves. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so you can, you can either work with um, any structural wire that, that you have, so uh, a 1 mil or a 0.8, and we're going to follow, um, follow the shape. So if I just move that out of the way first. OK, so I'm going to take, I'm going to work with um, a one mil. So it's going to be slightly thicker. I'm going to take definitely probably about, for something this size, probably got about 30 to 40 centimetres there. Just move all these bits out of the way. OK, so we know that we want the prong setting and we also know that we want to have it... Um, that it's a connector so that we can connect our jump rings and then um, our, our threaded uh, shell uh, going off. So I'm going to think about um, where I want the connectors. So I'm going to have the connectors so that they're going to sit, so that the piece will sit and it's going to flow really nicely in, into, the, um, into the necklace itself. You could absolutely do this as well if you wanted to. Um, uh, maybe as a, as a bracelet, something like that. So you might be thinking about rather than having your connectors at this point, you might decide that you want to have them here. It doesn't really matter. It, same technique, it's just wherever you think that your connectors are going to be best. I think with the flow of the piece, I'm going to have them coming uh, like this. So I'm going to work from the back. I'm going to start with, my, uh, with the connector itself. So either with your round nose pliers or your bail makers, if you've got them, we're going to make that connector. So I'm going to just into, um, into my pliers there. I'm going to start and just, I'm going to do actually, so that it's nice and strong, I'm going to make it a closed loop. So I'm going to actually double up. So I've almost got that. So it's looking like a, a, a split ring there. Okay, and then I'm going to just, put a little bit of an angle in here. So I know now I've got a connecting point. So if I pop that on, let's have a look where we're starting to go. So we know we've got the connector there. Now I want to have the prongs so they're coming 
Uh, I'm going to have them on the outside of. If we look at um, if we look at the shape, and when you're work, when you're working with um, uh, a cabochon, uh, something a slightly more regular shape, you, you you know you wouldn't necessarily be thinking about this. You may be looking at either doing it by eye, measuring it out, and having um, maybe I don't know, like you could have um, uh, sort of coming off. You were looking at your clock, maybe your uh, two o'clock, uh, ten o'clock, and go along like that four and seven so alternate and, and a regular um spaces for your uh for your prongs but with this one what we're going to do it doesn't have to be as regular but we want to look at the bumps that are coming in on the outline so i'm going to have aim to get one prong coming out here i'm going to go straight straight line of wire and then another prong coming out here we're going to have uh, our other connector at this point and then next prong here plain wire and then next prong there and then going up to that that first connector if you just wanted uh, maybe you were just going to have it on um just prong set onto uh, a chain you'd only want that one connector there but we're having it so that we want it as, as a double so i'm going to start and use a mixture of my pliers now so i'm going to come along and i'm just going to hold this here so i'm just going to so it's you i'm using this thumb here just sort of like mark out whereabouts I want that first prong. So I'm just going to transfer that over and get that into my chain nose pliers. So I'm going to use chain nose pliers now because I've got that nice surface area. So I'm looking now, the bit I want to have a look at, so we know we've got that length. So now I want to have a look at is the depth of, of, of what we want to um, secure into, into the prong. So I'm just going to put that first angle in Okay, so if we come out here, and I've, I've, every time, basically, with, with prong setting or um, if you're working with wire and um, uh, you want to set something, every time that we want to, um, we wanna, uh, we're going to make a change in the wire shape, we then put it back onto the stone or the cabochon, the different, um, the component. So let's have a look. So we've got this is coming over. We want to look at the depth here. So I would say that we've got enough depth. This is, a, this is the chunkiest part of the, of the shell. So we want to make sure that it's going all the way over. So if we get to roll that back, so we want to sit like this, it's then going to come over. And you can see, so from the top of the, the shell there up to where the end of my nail is, we've got more than enough to then fold over and come over the front and secure it. So I'm then going to go take my pliers. So into my pliers and I come all the way back and I'm going to give that a squeeze so that's coming in now like this and we've still got a gap there so I'm going to open my pliers up and I'm, I'm working in this part of my pliers now where I've got big big surface area hopefully I won't have to squeeze too much so I just want it to sit I don't want it to cross over I just want it to sit next to each other now doing that as well what that's going to do is that will harden this this area of wire so this this part of the wire now where that prong is going to be much tougher than this this bit here because i've worked it with my um my pliers and that'll be good for holding the the prong in shape so i'm going to pop it back in the pliers i'm not squeezing too hard and i'm just going to come out like that so now i've, I've done, made quite a few quite a few uh, shapes with the with my pliers and the wire. So I'm gonna pop that back on. So let's see where we are and that's looking all right. So now I need to get that curve and I, I don't want it to be a straight line. I wanna try and get a curve that follows the shape of the shell. So I'm gonna hold here. So I'm just holding, gripping across. And this is where you either use, depending on you know how strong your fingers are. Mine are quite strong. If you feel like they're not, you know, it just bring a mandrel in and you just want to you're getting a little bit of a curve on there so you see i'm not pushing it too much just a slight curve around there and let's pop that back on so as we're going around and we now can see that we're sort of following around and you can also so the, the other thing to look at is i want to make sure so this this line this wire the line of wire here is going to stop. So yes, it's supporting the uh, the prongs that are going to hold it in at the front. But we also want to make sure that we've got a good distance between the edge of, of the shape that we're doing and this wire. We don't want it to be 
really, really close like that. We want it to have it, so it basically acts as a nice seat for it to sit on. So I've made that curve there. So we're gonna go for the next prong, just checking where that connector is. And I'm gonna just, where, so where my nails are there, just let that drop. And again, we're gonna take the chain nose pliers and we put that right angle in. And again, pick it up. Just check again. And again, we're looking at, so remember we, we had a big depth here. Now this one we can see we haven't got, it's much, much thinner here. So we probably don't need this one to be as long. So I'm just gonna drop that down a little bit and we can have this coming here. So making this one slightly shorter. And always remember when you're, um, when you're doing the, the, uh, the, the prong, always take into account that wherever your pliers are, so you see I put my pliers here, but the prong actually will come out um, probably even maybe a millimetre or so uh, longer than you've, than you've thought because of it, you need to allow for this bend at the top. So see above the, above the pliers. So I'm going to bring that down. And again, we're going to work, open up the pliers, the chain nose pliers, drop that piece of the piece of wire in there and squeeze it together. And again, bring that angle. So it's holding it there and that's going to carry on like that. So we're going to go all the way around keep following so I can already see I need to bring that in just a little bit more there and I can sit that wire work in here so the next connect the, the next one we need to do is the other connector I want to try and get it in line with that that point there so I'm going to hold here again let's just grip and I'm going to have the connector there. So again, nice and secure. So I'm going to go round once and twice. So I know I've got really, really strong connecting loops there. And that's going to sit on. So a bit of troubleshooting. If you, if you find that maybe that loop has um, gone a little bit too far, there's nothing to stop you from. You can just sort of like, at this point, because we haven't gone on to the next prong, you can just, if you need to shorten that length, you can just roll it, roll that loop back towards that prong. And again, let's pop that on. So you can see, so you go along and then you carry on and you do your prong, two prongs the other side, which is then going to give me this one here. So all I've done is I've continued. So if we have a look and I just continued going all the way around. So if I just bring that in here. Okay, so I'd gone all the way around and done both sides. So now what I want to do, that's it, sorry, if it's like that. So I'd, I'd gone along and made those prongs in exactly the same way. So then I've still got quite a bit of wire left. So what I want to have is I want to have a, another supporting layer. If you think about it in layers, we've done that, we've done the prong layer and that's going to go next to the, the shell. I now just want to have a very, very simple framework of wire. So I've done my last prong, as we've done, and then I'm going to go to this point here where the first connector is. So if I just hold it like that, and I've got my pliers in there to make that, that uh, angle here. Now, forming this bit is going to be a lot easier because I can just follow the outline of the, the prong layer. So I'm going to go all the way around. Again, let's just check against the piece. And I'm going to do exactly the same and follow that way around. So holding it here, getting my pliers in, and you're almost doing like a, with this one, it's almost like an eye shape, isn't it? And bring that round. Okay. So I've got that now. So what I'm going to do now, I want to bring those. So when I talk about layers, you can see, so if I hold it like that, you've got that, the layer of the prongs, then you've got that framework. I'm not going to cut it yet because as I'm bind it, going to bind it together now, I, might, I could maybe get rid of some of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to bind. So I'm going to take some of my 0 0.4 and I'm going to start and bind here. So what I want to do, I want to make sure this is really, really strong. So I'm going to bind from the, where I started on the structural wire work and work my way around here. So I'm going to anchor on, and so I'm anchoring the two layers together. So if I just hold that there. So 
So I'm going to anchor, first of all, a couple of times onto the two to get the strength so that this, this wire doesn't move around. I'm then just going to go and just wrap a couple of times around a single, that single bit of the wire, and I can snip off there. So what we, what we want to do now is we're looking for, to have it so that it's neat, but we want to bind these two pieces of wire together. So depending on how much 0.4 you want to use will depend on um, the sort of binding that you do, and I can show you both ways. So I've got a couple of um, wraps going over the two wires, so I'm going to bring this through. The main part that we want to um, we want to bind together and give strength to is around these prongs, because these are, it's the prongs that are um, going to be doing most of the work that we want to really, really to hold in place. So we want to get lots of strength there. So I'm going to wrap a couple of times there, and then I'm going to come over at an angle and come closer to the prong here. And I'm going to wrap a couple of times all the way around this prong. And I can already see I have actually got a kink in this wire, which I'm going to get out in a minute. So I'm going to really, really then closely wrap and bind the two wires. I might actually have to do it now because it's catching. So if you get this and you get that little kink... It happens to the it professionals. Does, it, happen, it happens all the time because you're working with... Lots of different, you know, different wires of different shapes, so it will, it will catch. But you just want to get rid of that. You don't want to keep pulling on that stressed bit of wire because it mm. will snap. So I'm going really, really closely. So if we look on the other side of the prong now, I'm going to come up and over really, really closely, and I'm pulling really firmly. If you see the imprint on my, my finger, I'm pulling real good tension there to bind those two wires together. And again, closely bind the two together. Now, if, you, if you're happy to use lots of your 0.4, you can continue that all the way around the framework. If you don't want to, this is where you, you'd sort of maybe do a couple of just more of an angle. So I'm going to go across the still trying to get good tension. And I'm going to go all the way around. So you can see I've, uh, the wrap is more open up until I get to the next prong. And then I would continue doing those those closer binds around the prongs. So I'm going to repeat that. Shall I carry on doing doing that? Is yeah, that yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's for perfect. speed. Um, yeah, no, all good. Because we've you. got another kit that we can actually show you. Now, these are last of stock. Amazing kits that will work, all, uh, you know, incredibly alongside uh, um, Claire's beautiful masterclass. Now, um, a metre, Claire, of your ombre. I mean, look at that. You could literally yeah. just restrand that. Gorgeous, as this, aren't you? they? Absolutely gorgeous. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, these are, let me just double check, eight to nine millimetres. Oh my goodness me. I actually thought these were shell pearl. Um, but they're not. They're actually culture pearls. You can see why, can't you? Because they've got a really beautiful spherical shape. Um, no, not shell pearl. Cultured pearls, literally formed within those mollusks themselves. And you're getting a full metre off from your dusky pinks to your beautiful apricot colours to these beautiful whites. Still not done, though, because look at these components. Oh, my goodness. So you've actually got, what, six of your um, the cubic zirconia spacer beads. So, uh, And I've tried to sort of position them in different directions so you can make them out um, you've actually got that sort of seat that you can uh they house perfectly between uh, between your gemstones and pearls also you've got your little bead caps or tassel tops oh they're lovely aren't they really i love yeah that. beautiful absolutely beautiful um and you've got this amazing double row it is night these are all 925 sterling silver by the way um, you've got, what, 360 degrees, if I just literally roll it That's between my hands. Look at that. that. Cubic cool. zirconia. And then if I flip it that way, can you see how you've got those little con uh, cave areas? That gives you the ability to basically multi-row necklaces if you wanted to. Or um, I know that you're all talented jewellery makers. But, yeah, if you wanted to have maybe quite a, uh, a traditional multi-row necklace. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And they'll sort of gather them together. Now, £33 on your split pay or £99 for the entire kit. It's a metre of beautiful, beautiful coloured cultured pearls. Not shell pearl that I actually thought at, at, at first glance. How many do we have of these then, Ross? 29. That's a lot of precious metal just here. That's a lot of precious metal. And they're all luxury components. 99.99 full meter long length of all your culture pearls from your papaya pinks to your uh, to your peaches 
Um, the Strand, on its own, closed at 69.99 in the past. Okay. Well, that makes sense then. How about we take the whole kit? Are you, are you, shall we do the whole kit for £69? Which basically means you're buying your cultured pearls a metre long length from your peaches to your pinks to your whites and you're getting all of that sterling silver for free. That's incredible, isn't it? There are only 29, though. Such Brent, a pretty colour. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your split pay, too. Mm. Brenda, London. Well, if you want to, that is. Alison, Nancy. £23.33. You're basically purchasing the metre-long length of, of cultured pearls. Not shell, not imitation, not reconstituted. Genuine cultured pearls. Hello, Caroline, my lovely. Hello to you, Bristol, as well. Um... And you're getting all of that sterling silver, even if you don't put the two components together. Can no, you? no, absolutely. You can, you can, yeah. That's up to you, isn't it? When you're making your jewellery. That's the joy. Yeah, that's that the is. joy. You make the rules. Yeah, you do. Um, how are you getting on? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Right, yeah. Back to you. Okay, so all I've done there um, is so I've, I've probably not as neat as, as as you would do it, but you can see. So I've just gone all the way around and all the binding so that that. The layers that we talked about with the structural wire are now uh, just basically like one. And I now can um, get rid of this little bit. So to get some final strength in there, so I've got round nose pliers, and this is back at the very start. So I'm just gonna do a very, very small loop. And we can snip that off. Let's get rid of that, turn that in. And then we can, again, we're using what's left of that um, the 0 0.4, like a needle and thread. So I'm going through, through the framework and that's just getting, it will get rid of now that 0 0.4. And it has tidied up the structural wire. So we've now got the setting. So let's pop that on here. Just check that we've got it the right way. Okay, so then I'm gonna to start to, so I've got my round nose pliers now. I'm gonna bend the, it's all flat, you can see. So we've got, I'm gonna start and just bring these in. So I'm curving them up. So I'm holding onto the, the structure and curving those up. And I'm gonna do that without the, the shell in place at the moment, because remember how I said we'd work by, by forming the shape of the prong, we've work hardened it. So this bit is, it's a little bit tougher, which is what we want um, in that prong. We want it to be you know, because the whole point is it's going to hold and secure that lovely, really, really shiny shell. So now, if I turn it over, let's start to have a look at how this is. So, and again, I'm going to use, I actually might start a little bit with my chain nose pliers. I'm going to bring it over. Now, I've used my prong, so if I show you from the, so that there is a bit of a gap here, but we want to make sure that these are really sort of, and I'm turning the end, edge in so that it's not gonna catch on anything. So although we've got that gap here, you can see the gap there, I'm really turning in the edge, that end of that, so that it's not gonna catch on anything. So it's almost like curled right in. And, cause and it's, it's a case. Cause it, cause it's bent, it's not sharp yeah, either. Yes, it? it's not, no, it won't be, it won't be sharp. And it's just a case now of you're working around and you'll be able to you'll be able to feel it as you start to tighten these. These would be lovely stop in the moving. hair as well, wouldn't they? Be nice, yes, lovely, lovely. Ideal for holidays. See that now is starting to secure. Obviously, you want to be testing that, making sure that that framework is pushed really close at the end. But you can see I probably actually wouldn't do very much more of that. Maybe I can move that one a little bit on the thicker point there. And we can move those around. But that is actually looking pretty secure now. So now we've got, I would actually, I could move that over a little bit. But now you've got your... Amazing. And then you can add, add that into, well, it can be any, any a beaded design, couldn't it? You could have uh, on a long chain, you could have a nice tassel here. Like I say, if you didn't want it, if you just wanted the one end, uh, and so not a double connector, just have a bail, you just do the one loop at the top, you wouldn't do that, that, that bottom one there. But you can see how that, that then fits, fits there. So you can see how it works with the, the smaller shell. 
Love it. it. Oh my goodness me, Claire, that's so beautiful. And that literally becomes the main feature, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, yeah. Just beautiful. using one of them. But that, at least that shows you how, you know, you, you do that with cabochons, but that hopefully that's showing you how you would then follow the, the outline mm. if it's an unusual shape. And then this one at the top here where you've got that big almost garland of them. You've done yes. that wonderful wire, uh, wire weave flower on yes, top. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Look at so that. that's yeah, but that's that it, that one is using the um, utilizing the drill hole. Okay. That one of, of yeah. the because that's the beautiful thing with the shells that they've got them. Oh, Claire, you're absolutely amazing. You Thank really you. are. You Thanks really are. very much. And um, we've got another little kit that maybe we can put on alongside because it will go beautifully alongside your uh, oh. your masterclass. There are only twenty five though, so it's quite limited. Again. <gasps> Look at that. Natural colours. Can I borrow one of those beautiful pearls? Sorry, uh, shells. That's perfect. Lit <gasps> it is the perfect colourway, isn't it? Picks out the peaches, the golds, the pinks. So that's what Claire has literally just been demonstrating with. Uh, this is uh, pearl section. Um, and these are your rice bead shapes, which we rarely ever see. Some of these will obviously be perfect drops. I mean, look at that one just there by the top of my, uh, by my fingernails. Perfect, La Peregrina-esque drops. Not just bringing you that though, because uh, you also have um, some really lovely, lovely multi-strand connectors. And I'll hold them up with a pair of tweezers in a few moments time. Uh, they are 925 sterling silver. I mean, you could just literally restrand that, couldn't you? Yeah, I think that's exactly what I do, because look at all that work that's... Gone into, it's gone into those colour. They, that, that's incredible, isn't it? That's lovely. Ah, oh, that photograph as well. You've got the apricots on your. Uh, wow. <gasps> Look at that. Yellows. Beautiful yellow price. pearls. Oh my word! Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Just. Uh, Plus, you've got the two little sterling silver components. Mm. But, you know, even if you don't use those together, um, again, these will look fabulous alongside your masterclass because mm. you have got those really lovely, yeah. well, every colour that I'm seeing right now. Yes, yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, if you've got, uh, you got the masterclass kit, then you can, uh, uh, you can stretch for an additional £24.99. pence. Then do it. It is per in perfect harmony. Um, but they're limited, remember. Nicolette, well done to you, Manchester. Liz, Helen, new buyers, congratulations to you also. Hello, Hilda, I can see you there also. Make sure you check out those baskets, everybody there. Limited, limited, limited. Um, two to one connector. But it doesn't have to be two. Well, no, because I'm looking at those. I mean, you could... Um, they'd work very well, wouldn't they, with, mo with more strands as well, because you've got a big, nice big space yeah. in between. But that's a, love that's a lovely... More kit, strands, you say? Yeah, why not? This is the last auction of the day. How about these? Mm. Yeah. So we've gone from the colours to pure, beautiful white. Uh, yeah. I'll never get used to the term, term potato for pearl. Um, but it does describe these lovely little ovals. You are getting both of those strands. That's £15 each. Fifteen pounds, genuine culture pearls, not faux, not similar, not glass, not plastic. I mean, we've said this loads of times on air before, but you know, uh, you go along to say, I don't know, Marks and Spencers, Debenhams, mm. any of those places, you can pick up imitation pearls, can't you? Twenty nine ninety nine for imitation pearls. You could. That's you. That, that's the kind of price you could pay for imitation pearls. How about real pearls? Of that great size, that's incredible, isn't it? Seven pound fifty a strand. That's madness, isn't it? Mm. You could go all out Chanel with these, couldn't you? Remember, every yeah, every, exactly every right. woman deserves drapes and drapes or ropes and ropes of pearls. At this kind of price point, we really can. You know, you, we absolutely can. You can have your pearls in these beautiful 1920s long line and twists um, and ropes, cords. Twists. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can throw yeah. them over your shoulder yeah. like, uh, like, like, like Coco Chanel. Not literally, but I meant wear worn over your shoulder, obviously. Um, at that kind of price point, <laughs> indulge, indulge yourself in your beautiful uh, cultured pearls. Um, hopefully, you've got enough of these to go around. Now, um, also, FYI, for the rest of the day. 
You can get 20% uh, off items on the web. Uh, just type in the code WEB20 to get that discount, which is pretty amazing. It's not a small amount, is it? 20% off. Tomorrow, um, yeah, it's my birthday show, so I, th I hope you can pop along and join me. I promise that there's going to be lots and lots and lots of amazing oh, birthday deals. That. Right. Yeah, you get to a point that you don't bother mentioning it, do you? But it's only because Alan pounced on me and said, Al. <laughs> I wish. I so wish. Try doubling it and then. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, you've got white jade coming up. Also, you have your Van Cleef designs, which I'm really, really oh. excited. Uh, I'm really lovely. excited about. So when are you back with us, beautiful? Uh, I think I'm Monday. Back Monday. Monday, yes. Well, I'll see you in a couple of weeks then. Oh, have a great time. Love you. Oh. love you, love you, love you, lady. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everybody. But again, yeah, remember Web20 uh, for 20% off. Um, big day coming up. Who's that? Oh. <laughs> Adam, he's been in my ear for the last five hours. <laughs> see you in the morning. <laughs> Enjoy the party. Enjoy, everyone. We'll see you soon.